Troy Sound Shark Stream. And join us on the Shark Stream. Join us on the Shark Stream. Join me on the Shark Stream. Join us on the Shark Stream. You've always been able to find anything you need with a smartphone. Now you can use it to find a game of pool with the Salado app. Anywhere, anytime. You can even host a game, tournament, or lesson, and make money. See where you stack up against all the other players worldwide in the Salado ranking system. All right, everybody, this is Brian Brennan in the booth, coming to you finally live on the Shark Stream at Yale Billiards in Wallingford, Connecticut. Seemed like there was a strenuous negotiation taking place for the last hour and change, so apologies for being late, but, you know, on pool players' time, sometimes these things happen. And eventually, after all the discussions of the different uh, amounts in the middle and race and weight, we landed on exactly what was uh, in the flyer in the first place. So we're playing a race to 27 tonight, 10 ball. Uh, Wama getting two on the wire, as you see on the screen there. And I believe it's for the exact same weight. And I'm being joined in the booth. It sounds strange. Oh, it's hot in here. It's a little warm, but unfortunately, I, I had the uh, door closed, but I think we can get away with it because that table shut down. So we can leave it open for a little while and see what happens. Bye, thank you. So, uh, yeah, Bobby's joining me in the booth. So this is Brian, not the kick and share. Not the check Bobby. <laughs> and we'll be covering the match today and seeing, you know, giving you whatever insights we got. Hopefully it won't be a super late night, but we're here. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to stay till this one. No, I figure that this would probably over. be the case, but I appreciate the company. It's hard to do this by yourself sometimes. Yeah, well, that's why I... Uh, hi, Chicken, if you're out there. He's been sick. Oh, I hope you get well soon then, Chicken. I'm, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's been sick for a few weeks now. Well, it's nothing serious. Uh, with, Just him, a... with him, it's always serious. So. <laughs> I hear you. Brian, you mind if I turn the mic down a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and change it wherever you like. A little bit less. Well, I, this is the first rack, I think, right? This is. They just got started. This is uh, the fir very first rack. They told me they were starting at 7. So they told everyone they were starting at 7. So over here at seven. <laughs> I, I knew better. I actually took my son home from swim practice to get the booth ready because I thought it was going to be you and Chicken tonight. So I got the booth ready, and then uh, Bobby's like, well, Chicken's still not feeling good. I talked to him earlier, and he thought he was going to try to come over for a while. Okay. Then Brian Merrick spoke to him, and he, he wasn't good. He didn't have a good afternoon, I guess. Oh, okay. And he loves this, so uh, he would have been Oh, this is fantastic. Cool, but, you know, these guys are... They, they 
I, I actually had to bail on a broadcast a couple weeks ago when they were here till 2.30 and then extended the race. I'm like, oh, I can't do this anymore. I think that was the night when I went home before you got me. That might have been. Yeah, because I, I waited four hours. <laughs> Those days are over. No, I. It... But Lucas got himself in a spot here. Well, he's just probably going to play but safe. Safe, I assume. Oh, he went. He went for it. No. You know, he banks so well. That it's hard for him not to go for a shot. Yeah, that is a tempting shot. Because he, he really, I thought he'd bank it cross side. I thought he'd leave the cue on the badge and the and the it, pen on the counters, you know? Cross, yeah, if he banked it cross side, that would have been it. Uh, but, and they're playing a 25, a 27 25. 27 25. Guama just got his third game because of that. Did we, did we pay him up front? Oh, you got up there. Yep. Okay. So we're just, uh, this is, as far as the booth is concerned, that Luke, Wama's up three with the two game spot. Uh, Todd Peterson asked if these are Mr. Sun tables. No, they're Brunswick gold crowns. <clears throat> yeah, at Del Yale, we got all gold crowns for the nine footers, and then we have two seven foot diamonds in the party room. Yeah. I want to say they're seven footers. They're seven footers. They're beautiful tables. Oh, they're gorgeous. Uh, Tyler Beaton says he's been waiting on another stream of Lucas. I don't really know what that means. Yeah, uh, you think it's just been a while since we're, all the tournaments and everything that have been uh, oh, running in, yeah. in September and or into October. I think it's just been, it's been a lot of pool. not a lot of pool. We had a couple of list matches. I think we had Ashley on it last week. Yeah, so there was a couple of good matches. She's a good player. Oh, I love watching her. She's more serious about this game than most people. Oh, for sure. So, yeah, we're back. This is my fourth time broadcasting Lucas and Guama. Again, I, hopefully it doesn't go too, too late, but... Yeah. Uh, I talked to Lucas yesterday, and uh, he, he seems pretty fired up, and he's ready to, you know, hopefully we'll get his best game tonight. Well, wow. oh, he escaped that one. Yeah, that was... Uh, he butchered that and got away with it. That's the thing. The last few, guys, <laughs> the last few times they've played each other, uh, it's been Guama's playing excellent defense, and Lucas kind of struggling to get out, so... I think... We'll see what happens today. I don't think uh, Lucas's uh, strength is defense. He's been getting better since he's, he's been better. hanging out with Jonas and Alberto, and I've been playing one pocket. I think he's upped his game there, but he's still a little impatient. He's got so much firepower. Oh, yeah. You don't want to ever. Oh, he clipped the nine ball. and yeah. a ball in hand. But you don't. I, I play with a little one pocket with him sometimes. Mm -hmm. He would come over to my house, and he would tell me how he, about moving, and I. And he, Lucas, you, you don't want to give up your firepower. I mean, certainly it's good to move, but he, he shoots so straight that you know he, he, I don't like when I see him duck when the, when he can get out because he, he and he banks well. He's a shooter for sure. Oh, he certainly is. But most young people are. Well, that's that's the way I was when I was his age too. You just get up, you get in the zone, and you just just start popping balls down. When I was young, I used to play one pocket, and I, I beat some bookies for a bunch of money. I thought I was really good. And as I got older and I really learned how to play one pocket, mm -hmm. I realized I didn't know what I was doing when I was young. But Absolutely when not. When you shoot so straight, it, you know, it just yeah. makes it work. Whoa. Uh, let me see if I can clarify a couple of things. Uh, the last three matches, Wama won the first two, and then Lucas won the third one. So Lucas has defeated with the, even, I think that was... Even the third match, they played yeah. heads up. The first two, uh, Wama got two on the wire. Maybe it was a race to two, or maybe it was three on the three wire on the first one, and then two on the wire second time. So that's the you know, that's the expectation. And then, of course, yeah, Kevin's correct. Uh, he, he won at the expo against Guama. That's how they started playing like this. <laughs> they started playing for big money, yeah. So, I, I as far as I know. I think Lucas, I think they're about dead even in terms of how much money has changed hands in the last two months, since the Expo, anyway. Yeah, I didn't know what happened at the Expo. I know when they played here, Lucas was stuck pretty good. On the, yeah, he was He was, he was, he was down 13 at one point. 13, and he, yeah, they dropped a bet on the one time he won. Mm -hmm. but, they dropped the bet back to yeah. five. Yep, Dominic, I think you're absolutely right. There were two, I think they're two and two since playing at the, including the Expo. Including. 
it's just, you know, even today, it was an hour and 46 minutes from the scheduled broadcast okay. time of going back and forth on, oh, let's play a shorter race for less money. Let's play this. Let's do that. And then they finally landed on exactly what the Flyers said on this morning's Facebook post. I mean, it's just, that is so funny. But that's how pool is. Sure, sure. No, I mean, you got to negotiate. And you're, you're always trying to get the best of it. I know when we were when we were traveling, we were younger. I would tell people I'd be there at nine and you wouldn't get there till midnight because the other guy stands there hitting balls for three hours. We kind of ice them. I see Dominic Dunn is, uh, hey, George, how are you? Dominic Dunn said two or two since, yeah. Dominic, uh, my name's Bobby. I enjoy the stuff you put on on uh, Facebook all the time. I see it every day. And I just want to say hello. And as far as the table being gaffy, it's it better than it was. Before they redid it, it was a tough table to play good on. I'm not sure. I, I've heard the term gaffy. Gaffy means phony. Uh -huh. it, it, like the top rail, not just the short top rail where you break from. It, the ball used to hit the rail and bounce up in the air. Really? And, yeah. So and I never noticed and that. Some of the rail, well, they fixed it when Bobby redid it. Right. It, and it, the different rails had different speeds coming off the rail before. Yeah. I think so he, it was tough to play good on this table. I think he uh, he mentioned that they had the rails, the cloth, yeah, and just it's, a it's, complete tear down. I watched him do the live stream of the the teardown and that was kind of interesting but i didn't know that rail was that one top rail was a little wacky yeah you're right but that right side it was just they weren't they're better than it was yeah i could i, I could have swore bobby said that he got all the cushions replaced and all the you know definitely yeah. new cloth it's a, a little let's see Try to keep up with what's going on. Yeah, I know there's 260 people already tuned in, so the comments are going to be flying. We hit 483 as a peak last time. I think I was here. You know, it's funny. The next day, I Obama just got another one. You go back and check the day or two from now. How many people watch it afterwards? Oh yeah, thousands more than when we did. For sure, and uh, I think Bobby had said in passing that we had eight million unique visitors to the channel over the last month. Oh. That's a, that's worldwide. That's an a, that's not just repeat views. That's eight million unique visitors. So that's a, the shark stream is definitely out there. I like when we people tell us where they're from and they're from all over the world. Oh, that's the best. We had a couple from Italy. We had a few from yeah. Japan. It was that's definitely worldwide. And these two guys, man, they they have a kind of a story to tell here, just between their four matches and now this fifth one tonight. Like Mama broke dry. It looks like. I like the fact there's a little action in Connecticut. Connecticut back in the seventies and eighties, it was a great state for pool action. Oh man, that's when and, I started playing. Yeah, and then it died in mid eighties. Then like in the two thousands, after Chicago Billiards died, mm. it's just it's pretty much nothing. This is the place to be now, though. That's for hey, sure. Patty, how are you? Hey, Pat. Yeah, I'm glad it started too. I'm now I'm looking forward to when it ends. Hopefully, it wouldn't be a runaway here with Guama already up two games. Well, four games now. Brian, do you know um, what Guama's real name is? I have. Because somebody I, had the question. I here. do know, but I don't know if it's something he wants shared. Okay. I took a screenshot yes, the last time I was here because someone actually did post his name in the comments. Five, section. Thank you. Chicken's not feeling well. This is better than the That's match room. room. <laughs> I love it. I, I gotta say, um, Upstate Al does a fantastic job with the last few of uh, matchroom events. Yeah, I like that. So he's he's a good guy, and that there's been some interesting. That was a nice shot, Lucas came with. Hey, Bobby. So oh, heck. that is Guama's name. Okay. So according to yeah. Andrew McMahon from the last live stream, okay. but I like I said, I think he this is a yeah, name he likes to keep on social so. media. So I I will respect that. When I was younger, playing pool, and I traveled a lot, we always had different names. Mm. But nowadays, as soon as you show up, they, they can find a way. They know exactly. They can look you up on Fargo, right? Yeah, they can you, look you up on APA. You, they can look you up pretty much anywhere. You can't sneak up on people. No, like, it's hard. Like we once did. Nah, it would be. There was a time you walk into a pool hall and uh, absolutely nobody knew your name and you know heard anything about you. And then nowadays, it's just oh, everybody knows everything. Yeah. <laughs> I used to like to, Dominic, I used to like to check at the counter when strangers came in because one of the pool rooms here, they made you leave your license just just because of that stuff. 
You know, it's funny. I haven't traveled in 25 years, but I still check all the license plates in the parking lot. When, Is that right? When I pull in, yeah, to see who, <laughs> who might be sneaking around. And I know that my days are over, but old habits. Oh, for sure. I mean, it, it's one of those things you pull into a Connecticut pool, huh? And you see a Georgia license plate. Oh, so like, yeah. be, beware. And, and back, you know, like the Milford Breck days, the 70s, mm -hmm. and 80s, there were always strangers coming through. Oh, for sure. It's just not like that anymore. Nah. I, mean, I used to like the way they come in dresses like a painter, but always some kind of gimmick you know, mm -hmm. they had. Uh... Yeah, the color of money is uh, not very far off when it comes to that yeah. touring hustler kind of mentality where you're just like, all right, they'll never see you coming. And that was, you know, even back before Yale Billiards existed, I was playing out of uh, Q Stick Billiards over on Old Colony in Meriden. Oh, my God. Ed, Ed? Ed Shattis' place, yeah. Ed threw me out once. Oh, he threw me out many times. Oh. He threw me out. I was playing Kenny Wellman, and I, I only needed a couple balls to win, and I had my hip on the table. He threw me out, and I needed like three. Mm -hmm. Kenny started laughing and laughing because he wouldn't let me finish the game. And then a couple of years later, I'd become a pretty good player, and all of a sudden, they'd like me now. Oh, for sure. But he told me one time he didn't want my kind in there. I, I, I loved it. But he seemed nice I, when I got to know him. I seemed, Once you got to know Ed you know, better and Herbert, nah, he used to work there all the time. And his father, Vinny, used to hang around. And quite right. frankly, I've told this story a couple of times on the Shark Stream, but Vinny was one of the guys that sort of taught me a lot about pool to see you know, old, his old man that was sitting in the chair next to the table three. Oh, yeah. And he, he, one of the reasons I make comments about popping up and people standing up is because I swear to God, one of the reasons I stay down until at least a few seconds after is because if I didn't, Vinny, which Vinny Shadis would smack me in the back of the head with a pool cue. It's like, don't get up until your shot's done. You know, the, oh man, I still remember that to this day. That I got a, bumped. That, that was a nice of a pool room. It was neat. It had nine tables, and it was, uh, that many? it was nine. It was uh, three by three. I had heard when Ed started, his total investment was $600. Is that right? And by the time he closed, he owned the plaza. He did. He did well. He, he sure did. did. And he had a couple apartments, and there's a couple, you know, they had that whole so bar. Yeah. Little pool room. That's amazing. There's a lot of action in that room back then. There was a lot of other things in that room back then, but. They used to have a Tuesday night tournament for years. Let's see. Better get back to this. Yeah, I mean, so at some point we should probably talk about pool. But yeah, yeah there's only two on the wire. Guam won the first two. So right now we're at four. It's always toughest to win that first rack. I mean, if it, that's that's the kind of a game changer when you're giving weight because I mean, even though they're racing to 27, there's still plenty of pool to play. You want to, you know, your first goal is to just erase that spot. Yeah, you got to try. Yeah, <laughs> you got to check the PTZ. Oh my God, Bobby Dargis. Oh, there you go. Kenny Carlos. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, Dabby. I recognize at least two of those names. As you see those names, Bobby, three of them still owe me money, and they've all they passed on. Uh oh, robbed you of the debt. Looks like Lucas is about to get his first game, and I'm hoping yeah. it's not a commentary. Kate her curse. He was shooting really well last night. Practice. Oh my goodness. What was that? I don't know. Well, he made it tough on us. He sure did. I thought, I thought I, if he scratched on that, I was just going to be like, all right, and that's it tonight, guys. We're going to go ahead and shut it down. I thought he would go forward anyhow. I thought for sure. Uh, well, all right. He pocket so well. Yeah. You, you cursed him. I totally commentator cursed him. Well, all right. Well, he, he recovered. Came, he came with a nice shot. All right. Lucas is on the board. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the PTZ to make sure yet yeah, we didn't miss anything while we were waxing nostalgic. <laughs> Pat's yelling at me. And that's one of the other things that everybody does is call me brain. Hey, Dominic, you feel like talk too much? It's, I start telling stories and I can't stop. Oh, there's just an endless. I, I, I That's one of the reasons I enjoy listening to you and Brian in here, because you got so much to history in this game. Did you see Brian and I did some uh, videos a couple of years ago on, on YouTube? I don't believe so. Oh, on here on the Shark Stream or on something no, else? on YouTube. Oh, okay. You would just go in and put my name. Your name and, and, story, uh, and chicken. And, and the word, no, just Bobby Hunt, storyteller. Uh, chicken was the interviewer. It's pretty cool. I'll, I'll probably look that up. I told pool stories and, uh, and my memories of the players back in those early days. For sure. Most of them are gone by now. <clears throat> 
Yeah, I started going, let's see, I was born in 72. I started going to Key State when I was 13 and 85. And then I, you know, I stuck with it until about 92, went off to school, got married. For about seven years, though, I was just sort of like a reflection of Lucas here. He was a young, cocky shooter. That's when the game is great when you have to mm -hmm. Now I'm old and afraid of a long shot. <laughs> Dominic's asking, who's the two in the booth? <laughs> well, my name's Bobby Hunt, and this is Brian, Brian Brennan. Brennan. Not the ch chicken. Chicken not feeling well today, so I'm, sw I'm swapped in tonight. Is when did you realize you got good at pool? Is he asking me? Uh, he's asking one of us. I'm sure. Well, let's, let's both answer. Well, I got good very fast. It was like eighth grade. I picked it up. By ninth grade, I had won my first tournament in Guilford, my town. And I was already, the older guys were taking me to New Haven to gamble. And they would give me like a dollar an hour. And they kept all the money, but I didn't care. I was in action. Who's there? And then I went to California in 1966. And I got around real pool players mm. and real action, and I was hooked for for the last sixty years. <laughs> I think that it has been sixty years. Too. This is really been. Yeah. Wow. By fast. Yeah, I'm fifty now, but when I started playing down there, and I once I got my driver's license and started going to other pool halls, started making money. I, I didn't have a job in high school. I was my job was my night shift. <laughs> go into you know different pool halls and. Scaring up some action. There was so much pool back in those mm -hmm. days. When my friends, I'm going back down to the 60s, they were all getting jobs. I couldn't, they're making a dollar and a half an hour stuck in shelves. I couldn't go to work for a dollar an hour. I was already playing like 50 a game. Yeah, exactly. It makes, it makes nothing. So I just couldn't, my father always mad that I didn't get a job. You're doing well. But yeah, the Bobby's still, he, Bobby's around, but I think he's uh, sticking close by. Place was packed up. Oh, it is jamming tonight. Your cars park, parked in the road up and down the street. Yeah. All right, Mama just took another one down. Hey, Jim, how are you? I think there's a requirement now to have at least one Brian in the booth at this. <laughs> We've got a few of them. We got like four. <laughs> and you just had Brian Merrick play the last Brian one. Brian Merrick, Brian Charlton, we got Brian and me. Yeah. I was making, well, that's just the way I, I we have a different voice yeah. range, and unfortunately, I can't set the gain individually. I don't know how to anyway. And I talk kind of quiet. That's true. I'll try to I'll try to tone it down so that every we we sound a little better together. Thank you, Patty. Oh, my stroke it was very nice. Oh, yeah, very nice. Yeah, Swan Lake. That's a hell of a compliment. When Patty started coming around pool, early twenties, she got hooked on it pretty quick too. This game is addicting quickly. That was a really nice break. That was a slamming break. Nine drops in the corner. Got a shot at the one, but he's not happy with that seven eight. He's just he just pointed at it. Other than that, it's not a bad table to run out. Looking at the two to the one to the two is a little trouble. You're right. The seven and eight are the real problem. I think he goes across the table twice to get on the two here. Yeah, I'm wondering how he's going to get to that seven. What kind of do we know? What kind of cue he plays with? I honestly do not. It's pretty, it's pretty fancy. Whatever it is. Somebody in the uh, comment section might not have a clue. We're up to almost 330 people. Usually, usually chicken is out. Go gets goes against this logistics. I, yeah. He fixed the problem. Oh, he fixed the seven. All right. Yeah, you got unfortunate. That's a nice try. Last double check. Yeah, we didn't miss anything. So Lucas has ball in hand on the three ball. I just say, I'm looking at the butt of that cue. I don't think that's a predator. You can see the blue shoes there. I thought maybe it was a mute sheet. It was so fancy, but, mm. but I, I don't know. <laughs> Brandon Steele thinks I sound like Bobby Hilton. No, this is <laughs> this is not Bobby Boom Hilton. This is Brian Brennan. Oh, the Predator Shaft. I gotcha. I I don't know what kind of. Uh, Rafael Molina says it's Dustin. You were born. You were born. Okay. 
not familiar with the good Kingmaker. All right, Lucas has seemed to be stroking pretty good here. He's run very nicely with ball in hand so far. I won't say anything else. There you go, Lucas. Deed it up real nice there. He sure does, man. <laughs> Tyler. What else am I going to do in the booth, Tyler? These guys are playing so quickly, and we might actually get out of here tonight. Well, I will. <laughs> Good point. I was thinking about running a quick spot, but they rack and run right right away, so I'm just going to sort of stick with it. I like it. The match before them was kind of slow. Oh, yeah. Anthony, once in a while, you sound like Bobby Hilton. I don't know. We both have fairly deep voices. I'm not grant you that. Lucas has a great break. Oh, he's got a sled. He's got yeah, wait, yeah. Well, it depends. Like he he can he generally hits that one right in the side. Absolutely. Almost, almost. All right. Well, I think he's dry. Nope. Two two gave him a little luck. Let's see if he can get. Uh... <laughs> All right, Patricia, I may take your advice. Once we're down to three balls, we'll start waxing poetic again about the good old days of pool. <laughs> pool was, I didn't think it was a better game back in those days. I played straight pool. I can't get anyone to play me in straight pool anymore. That was my game of choice. And then that nine was... ball started getting super popular. Eight ball wasn't even a thing. When I started, straight pool was the game of choice. Oh, yeah. But the hustle would come out. You know, oh yeah, for sure. Everyone yeah. wanted to be Jackie Gleason, and yeah, so that was a big game. And that's so I played a lot of that until I started going on the road. Mm -hmm. I realized you couldn't make money as a straight ball. rotation is the only game you had to play nine ball. Mm -hmm. back then. And then I learned one pocket when I got older. Did Lucas get by that? Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's like, take a look at the overhand. Must be close because he's old. Yeah, I think his six has got a piece of him. He doesn't have any problem with the jump cue though, so. This is Ames, Mister Junior Brennan. Okay. <laughs> there were some great lines in that movie. I still, when I do watch it, which is I watch it at least once a year. If if it comes on, I'll watch it. Just I like to watch it where I can fast forward through the love scene. Uh, yeah, I just like to pool play. But you know, that's absolutely right. I have a Blu-ray, and it's it's fantastic. You just put it up in and yeah, then, watch it at your leisure. Those are some great lines. <laughs> Yeah, he's lining up the jumper. He's pretty good with this jump cue, so. Oh, just you only needed about a half an inch to get over that six ball. And these jump cues are so good. Oh, they they make it. I, I I picked one up for the first time two weeks ago. I was like, this is, this I used to jump cues or with a with a full yeah, stick. That's the way we'd had to do it. And now it's just you just tap it with a jump cue and it flies off the table. Looking nice and comfortable right now. Yeah, I think, you know, when, like I said, I was talking to him a little bit yesterday when he was warming up, you know, practicing. He was here for about six hours yesterday practicing. And he did seem like he was, you know, like he was shooting like himself again. I, I was really like, man, just go ahead and shoot like this and you'll have no problem tomorrow. So hopefully we'll, you listen to me and we'll, uh, we'll see, you know, the, the classic Lucas we know and love from Yale Billiards. I think that being young, you're going to be here for the next four hours. Yeah, there's that. Nice ball speed. I actually like that shot. He's off the rail. Yep. Yeah. Just a touch of forward lens with a little left. Got great position on the ten again. Trish is gonna yell at you for saying that. <laughs> for saying five three before oh, the ten's down. Oh, for, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, five three. We're back to the original spot. So that both players have uh, successfully pocketed three racks. guama has got the two game wait spot. So we'll see what happens now. Still a race to twenty seven. So there's a ton of pool left. Yeah. I don't see any one of these guys just get catching a gear and ripping like a ten pack. Thanks, <laughs> Lucas. I can see him put racks together quick. Sure. I don't think there's a ten pack in that, but. He does put games together fast. Uh, did you see that Ko Ping Chung from uh, pocketing all 99 balls? I, 
unbelievable. If I was a pool player now, instead of 40 years ago, I'd have to get a job. <laughs> For sure. When I was young, no ones were played with Americans. You know, we didn't even have the Filipinos hadn't showed up yet. Mm. So I mean, now the whole world plays. The whole world plays, as yeah. you can see by they're in Qatar, they're in Vietnam, they're in Hanoi, they're, yeah. you know, it's, it's wild. I spent a little time in Vietnam a long time ago. I don't think I would, I would probably have gone back. No? Yeah. No, I'm not thinking so. It wasn't. My first year, it wasn't enjoyable. No. Hey, Hector, how's it going? Uh, yeah, he's still spotting too, but there was a lot of discussion from 7 o'clock to 8.46 <laughs> when we went live about what the race would be, how much the spot would be. and They settled on where, where they started. They settled exactly where the game was projected for today. So an hour and 46 minutes of jabbering for no movement in either direction. This could be a little tricky. Uh, it's yeah, it's, it's a, a big seven ball. Well, I'm a pocket. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, never got out of his chair. That's just that that was they, they did a super cut on uh master. What is it? Uh, what is, uh, match pool. They oh, basically sure. show match room, the uh, match room pool. They did a super cut. It's like three minutes. It's such a great video. I think it's on YouTube, but it's literally all 99 balls cut together. It's like pop, 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 pop. It's so oh, great to watch. Yeah. Though. Yeah, no, Tyler, definitely. I saw a bunch of coverage with, you know, Fedor and a few of the other uh, big names posting out of there. What a beautiful venue that was over in uh, Vietnam. Well, <laughs> my memories aren't that good. Of Again, <laughs> you have a slightly different experience. Yeah. <laughs> I remember it was hot and it rained for months. Oh, for sure. When I was still a toddler at that point. <laughs> I'm talking about pool room with 74 tables. The, oh, you know, huge. When I was, the place is huge. In the 60s, when I started coming out, seven, there were pool rooms, 50, 60 tables everywhere. Is that right? Going to New York City. Uh, I mean, when, uh, the, when the Queens Boulevard had that 50, 60 tables in Connecticut. We didn't have anything like that. I was to say, not in Connecticut. Nothing big in Connecticut. I think the, the 18. like town would have like I, well, a couple of them had maybe twelve. Sometimes I mean sixteen to twenty was on hard. Like I was a huge one for me. New London was the best pool room in, in New England, in the East actually for a bunch of years in the seventies, and they only had about eighteen tables. Mm. But there was always something going on. He always had tournaments and. I got to see people like Miserac and wow. Arthur Lasseter and uh, uh, just every old timers because he was a the owner was a pool freak. So hey, Steve Miserac, wasn't he the one that did the stand in for uh, Jackie? You know, for not Jackie, for Paul Newman. I read that somewhere. Miserac was, or, or was it Color and Money? I forget. One yeah, of, he did this. He did one of the two. Of Siegel, Siegel might have did something. Siegel might have. Yes. Miserac was kind of husky. He would have had trouble. Uh, to a stand it so because Jackie did most of his own work. Jackie they said he was own. a heck of a pool player. You saw him yeah. in the honeymooners, you saw him in in Moscow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was I mean, pretty good. Yeah, he's he's he, he could shoot. Moscone, um, I think was the he was a technical person behind the hustler. In fact, if you watched the show, the mm. the movie, he's the rat boy with the white hair. Is that right? Not the rat, the man holding me up money. You're right, right. Big, but um he, I got to see him twice a year for like for ten years. He would come to New London. <laughs> That's almost exactly. I'm sorry. I'm looking at Alex. Uh, Alex's comment. He says you should check out Aki Stats on YouTube. Last night they posted Zuglin running 148 on Ray Martin. It was the second in the second inning. It's some great old time 14.1. And the reason I find that fascinating is because I had a. I was down here maybe a month, six weeks ago. Lucas was just playing 14-1 as a warm-up, you know, just as an exercise. And I told him I had run, my biggest run was 78 or something like that. <laughs> and it's a pretty good run. And uh, he said his race, his biggest one to that day was probably something like, I forget, it was like 71. It was just short. And I was like, wow, I've run more balls in straight pool than Lucas. And then he turned around and ran exactly, I think, 148 later that night after I left. He did? He did. 
I played I played Miserec one time, and he broke, and I got ahead of him a few balls. I had this easy. I ran eighteen. I had this real easy throw shot, and my mind froze, and I did it the wrong way, and uh, he got up and ran a hundred and something twenty five an hour. Wow. When he got to about seventy five, I was pulling for him. <laughs> I don't want to get. Back. I don't want to get back and try to dig out of that no, uh, deep hole. But he, I, he was the best straight pool player, in my opinion, that I ever saw. Oh yeah, for sure. He, he really. I mean, Larry Biscotti had to beat him twice in the finals, mm. uh, and I don't think any. I didn't think anyone could beat Miserec twice in the finals. Miserec was great. A legend. Oh, uh, you know what? The Hector, I'll give you a quick plug. Yeah, you're absolutely right. There's the underdog coming up on October 28th here at Yale Billiards. It's a five and under tournament uh, hosted by Hector and I think Pat. And uh, he says he's got two spots open. Definitely message Hector M. Sanchez Sr. if you want to get in on that. Don't know what the entry fee is, but it's I've covered it a couple times and it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it was 148. I, I, I want to say it was exactly that. That's what kind of made me laugh. It was, I did a little bit of a, if you look at our YouTube channel, I, I covered him and told the exact same story, by the way, uh, doing just warming. It just, I think it's titled Lucas warming up and it was <clears throat> Kevin agrees. It was one for <clears throat> And he just, he was just straight and straight pull. First, as soon as I went home, that's when he strung the one forty eight. <laughs> Hector says it's a $40 entry fee for the underdog, number seven, I think. Again, October 28th. Two more spots. He got a little funny in this one. Now he's got to be a little concerned with the, the 10 ball. Yeah, he got to be worried about the the 10 getting in the way of the nine. I would wonder, does he, can he bump the 10? I don't know. It's good he, it's good. he could. Nah, I don't, if he goes forward, he's got to worry about it. Oh, he's jacking up a little bit. Makes a shot. Like he might be drawing it over here. Makes shot. That's a lot to ask on that shot. Well, we're up to almost 400 viewers right now, but uh, I almost feel like I'd, if I don't say it, I'm missing something. Like, share, subscribe, let your friends know that we're online tonight. Going to be a lot of pool tonight, I have a feeling. So here you go. Uh, well done. Playing nice right now. He's got good ball speed, nice confident stroke. All right, Lucas tie, you know, brings it, well, ties it up at four to four, but the two game wait. You're welcome, John. We like giving the stream. No, for you know, it's this is for me. It's a fantastic way to spend the evening. I could sit and I could be sitting on my PJs on my sofa and watching TV, or I could be coming down and watching some really great pool. It's not a hard choice. Tough to get me out of the house these days. I find excuses to stay home. <laughs> yeah, I don't play as much as I used to or as well as I used to, obviously, but it's, I'm getting the bug back. I'm starting to play a little oh, bit more and I hang think, out. I think we all come back. Mm. People disappear for years, but eventually everybody comes back. You know, my kids are you know, in college, and maybe it's time to pick up the cue again and see. Because I could bring out, I actually have one of the very first Predator cues that Predator ever made back in 1998. It's my go to, and it's an LE6. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, I bought it from them during a trip to Vegas, the very first trip out of Yale Billiards to Vegas. They had a little booth there, and I knew they were selling 314s, but I saw that they had you know, butts for sale. And I was like, what's that all about? You guys are making cute, full cues now. And sure enough, yeah, that's that's that was my go-to cue until I somewhat retired in uh, or mid early two thousands. Where'd you go to school? Uh, I went to school at uh, WPI in Mass Worcester, Mass. Are you from here? I, I'm a Wallingford townie. Oh, been here all my life. You know Bobby all your life. I've known Bobby since he opened Yale Billiards with Terry. I, I met him when they first opened. Yeah, you know, over on Yale Avenue. Yeah, yeah. We we heard about this new fancy pants pool table because we all you know cue sticks a not hole in the wall with nine tables. This this guy is opening up this new fancy table you know billiard parlor over in Wallingford. Let's check it out, and that's where I met Bobby. A lot of guys, a lot of lifelong friends I met there. So happy that he did take a chance on it. Hey, he did well.
Michael, we I'm not sure the final amount, but the last I heard is that there's ten in the middle. Yeah, I thought, that, I thought they wanted it. They wanted to, they were shifting back and forth. It was, was gonna it was, it was supposed to be sixteen, it was supposed to be twenty, it was supposed to be five. They it went back and forth so many times I lost track, but the last I heard was five five aside. <laughs> Bobby just confirmed. <laughs> Happy, if there's any way you could put the air on, <laughs> and this booth heats up so fast. Oh, we got a player onto the diamond yeah. table just outside the door, so I'll have to sweat it for a little bit. I assume he rolls this in the side. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Just just play a little forward for the four ball. Hit about as good as you would hope. Nice shot. He plays at a different speed than Lucas. Lucas with running around. The Lucas is, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, my style is a little similar to Guama. I, I tend to, you know, minimize or minimize ball movement if I can. I don't want to, you know, fly it around the table, but Lucas has the stroke and the speed for it. So, you know, yeah, he, can, he can bounce it around quite a bit. Someday he's going to realize running around the table isn't the best way. Sometimes it change, change the odds for you. Because he's always. As good as he plays, he's always bumping into balls. Right. And th that should never happen. But his style works around here. He's beating everybody. But you start playing the top players, you can't do that. Yeah, when you're watching, you know, the OP US Open, you're watching some of these other tournaments, it's, it's a very tactical game. There's not a lot of, there's a lot of defense and there's not a lot of movement. He got a little funny. I guess he got up far enough. I think he's got a plenty of room yeah, on the nine to get over to the ten. Every time Lucas gets the spot back, Wama Claws one more. Yeah, it happened exactly the same way. The last three times we did the shark stream, they they get to you know sometimes they'd get to tied sometimes, but it was rare to see Lucas in the lead up until their third try. Uh, Del Sim is asking, do you know Wama's Fargo? I have it. Like I said, I have the screenshot on my computer or on my phone rather with his name and according to our comments last time he's a 734 fargo with 70 games in the system so it's not super robust i mean i could put up uh fargo's on the on the screen here yeah all right bobby read my mind yes i'll put the fargo's up bobby well, he knows his name i know his name <laughs> I know his name. At least one of the commenters seems to have known their name, so I'm going with uh, with that. But let me look up Lucas's current Fargo on Fargo Raid. Did I update the score? Yeah, I did. Search for player ranking. Search for players. Not many Lucases, so I don't want Whoa, to... that was a Something you never want to do at this level is knock the ball off the table on the break. That's pretty rare, actually. All right, Lucas for Casa Werner, Wallingford, 739. We'll just go ahead and put that up. Kwama. Like Cher and Adele has just the single moniker. I'm going to go with that commenter's reading. I could probably look it up by his real name again. Let's see if I can pull up the same record. He's playing the three. Yeah, I don't understand why I played it that way. He's going to have a little trouble getting to the four. I'm not a fan of playing for a side pocket very often. Unless you're forced to. Uh oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, the, the commenter I had last time had 734. So we're just going to go with that. Uh, Hector, I just looked it up on Fargo Rate and it said 739 for Lucas. <laughs> well, Kevin, that is the name of the game. And Kevin said, Guam will tell you he's a 350. If you've never met him before and want to get a little big money, I'll walk up to you and tell you I'm a 220 to, to your face. I'm not in the system because it's been so long. So, I mean, 
That's the way it goes. This C has to be a little careful. That six is it's gonna move. I found it. To go ahead. All right. Officially, the the at least the name I have from the last stream. Right now, it says seven oh four robustus one oh nine. So, however, that if if that's meaningful to you, I'm not gonna share his name. I I I, I don't think he wants that on social media, so I'm not going to say it, Jake. That's the, they, I, he goes by Guama. People always call him Guama. It's just, you know, like I said, he, he's like Sharon Adele and Madonna. You got the, the name, that's all you get. <laughs> yeah, so that, I was able to find the record from the commenter in the, in the last... And it does say it does say seven oh four right now, so I'm not sure if he's had more entries into the system, but we'll leave it at seven thirty four because it sounds better and it looks better on TV. <laughs> Likes. <laughs> oh, it's not that big a secret. I thought for sure it was kind of a secret, but yeah, Alex, you can see in the comments there that uh, that's the name, the exact name I had. By the way, you might have been actually been the commenter that shared it with me. Nope, it was uh, Andrew McMahon last time. All right, well, there you go. Gregorio Sanchez. Out of North Carolina. That's where he's from? Uh, according to Fargo. He's from Dominican, and he was born in Venezuela, I want to say. He did spend a lot of time in Dominican. I spent a lot of time in North Carolina back in the 70s and 80s. Is that right? Yeah, that was a lot of pool down there. Sure. Nice weather, too. It's better than this. <laughs> I remember we had snow one time down there when I was we were in a motel room. I don't think it was more than two inches, and it shut the city down for like two days. Oh, my mom lives. It moved to Georgia in two thousand, or not Georgia, Tennessee. Right on the Tennessee Georgia border. Literally, they had tra had to fit, choose whether to buy a house in the Tennessee section or the Georgia section because my little brother was going to college, and they wanted in state rates. So right down outside of Chattanooga is where they are, and you're absolutely right. You get a dusting of snow down there. They're not prepared. The, the entire area shuts down. It's it, it's it's funny because as New Englanders, they're like, what's the freak, what's the big deal? <laughs> I am happy with the winters we seem to be having lately. We don't get snowstorms very often. Oh yeah, well last year was mild. Wasn't that was amazing. It? It was, I only had to shovel out twice, maybe three times. That's always great. But this year, I think we're getting whomped. Oh, oh, my mom's in Ulua. Right there on the Tennessee border. All right, Lucas with a nice snap. Made the wing ball right over in the nice. side pocket. Oh, this be a careful here. <laughs> Wow, Tennessee representing tonight. <laughs> Knoxville, we got Chattanooga. My mom might even be watching, so we can say Ulua. Looks a little bit uh, tough on himself here. Yeah. I actually don't mind this angle because you want to pop out of there to get to yeah. the three ball. Is he gonna? How, how much is he gonna hit of that five? That's. I think he knocks off the five with a short little bit of speed. Lands himself right around here if he does it right. Oops, I don't have the projector up. Yeah, right around the spot, actually. You can just literally bang, zoom. Oh, you got a lot of the five, but it's not going to hurt him. Lucas plays with a, a Paul Drexler cue. Um, Bailey. But the shaft is a... Uh, oh, I forgot. I don't know. What, what, is, what does Bart play with out there when he represents? Oh, wait. Uh, so Kenny says it's a Paul Drexler. Hey, Kenny, do you happen to know what kind of shaft he's using? Jacoby Ultra Pro? Yeah, that's Jacoby. I couldn't think of it. All right, there it is. Yeah, Jacoby. <laughs> we have consensus. Oh, I think he overran that seven a little more than he wanted. Tougher than he wanted. 
Does this go by? Must be, but it doesn't look like it. It sure doesn't. No, it doesn't, but he played for it. He's got a half a pocket, maybe. It must have he played for it. Very nice. Bobby, I told you the the booth was working great, and I meant it. <laughs> he ain't had plenty of room. But it sure didn't look like it. Not from our angles. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> You want to just get in here and push buttons, Bobby? I can let you do that. <laughs> was that a break and run? I was, I was sort of off in my own little I world think, there. I think, it, was, I think yeah. it might have been. All right. Let's see. Lucas gets to 6-7 now, I believe. First time he's actually ahead on yeah. physical matches. A lot of booms. <laughs> All right, we still got to reach the 20 at least. Yeah. <laughs> I, I cringe when I say that. Although, now that I know I have a fan in the office, Bobby, bring me a beer. <laughs> LFG Lucas. All right, I think that means looking good. You know what that means? Uh, LFG and uh, gamers yeah. like me, uh -huh. it means looking for group. So I'm pretty sure that's not what he's going for there. Looking. F good. Lucas is a Wallingford Tommy too, Gary. And Vinny, uh, Lucas given two on the twenty six. There's two on the wire. They're already on the scoreboard. So right now Lucas is up six five in terms of actual wins, but the score is seven six. LFG is let's F go. <laughs> All right, there you go. Now the more you know. Oh, oh, you made the 10 ball. I don't think they get that, though. Wild. No. No, Let's take a peek. Nice I think he's got to spot it. Yeah, he's I don't know. Sometimes they do a variation where you can't make the 10 ball in the in the rack side corners. But if the, if it goes what random up in the sides or the opposite side of the table, then it counts. But I don't think that's how they're playing. I think if, if it drops, it's, it's, it's spot. Yeah, Kevin, I agree. I'm a gamer. So LFG, I always think looking for group. Oh, Dave. You know I can ban people from the stream, right, Dave? <laughs> Actually, I can't, I don't think. But I don't know. It sounds funny. I don't know how to do any of this. I'll tell you what, Kevin, I'll date myself. LFG was a game or a term we used back in the college days, and it was in what they called MUDs or multi user dimensions. We played on a terminal and it was text only, but it was multiplayer, so we could actually play, you know, talk to each other. And that, that went on to EverQuest, on to Dark Age of Camelot, and so on. <laughs> so that's back in 1993 when I was playing multi user games online. Boy, seems to have gotten away with that one. Sure does. The night, and this was happening uh, the other way, actually. It was happening a lot where, you know, the shot just rolled and left nothing. I sold my account on EverQuest for $3,000 back in 1995. It was crazy. We went to Vegas and had a great time, though. <laughs> I played Eve and a couple other games, but yeah, oh, chat is active. We got 496 viewers right now. Come on, let's make a 500. That would be amazing. I don't think I've ever done 500. The last time I did this uh, match with Lucas and Gu uh, Guama was 483, I think, the peak. So 498. We're almost there. Milestone time. Well, I assume he's to me like he must be thinking about playing that five ball. And let you queue, uh, one ball. I would say so. I mean, carry him off the one, play the purple five there in the corner. I don't know where that board's going to go. Oh, <laughs> it's stuck. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it froze off the seven. It didn't go. I'm shocked. It go. <laughs> you got to be careful here on this safe because you got that 
that 10 ball. So you don't want to leave any. We might actually have a look at the past the six. He just called it. Called it just in case, maybe. Yeah. Well, there's a thing, Cliff. Cliff says, I hope they're able to finish the set in time. I hope they're able to finish the set in time. <laughs> Eric, how are you? Good hearing from you. Still at 498. Come on, guys. Grab your other phone and to log in. <laughs> what if Lucas is going to try that same shot again? Not really much different. He actually, I, I wouldn't be at all surprised if he does exactly that. Oh, I'm sorry. Did somebody ask what the pocket size? They're four, and I have it on some authority, one sixteenth of an inch last time someone measured. That's four, one sixteenth. So just over four, a hair. Oh, this time he no, he just went ahead and tried to, oh, he's going to lock it up behind the two, maybe. Safe search, probably. Shouldn't be like yeah, I think he's got a piece of, uh, or Guama has a piece of the uh, one ball, if not the entire way to get it in the corner. 517, well, some of, somebody shared. We went zooming by 500. That's awesome. Oh, well, my son's mind that I was talking to 500 people here tonight. He wants to be a YouTuber someday, as all 12-year-olds do, so it really messed his mind up when I, I showed him the booth. About a week ago, yeah. I brought him down. I'm like, you want to see how YouTube's made? This is how YouTube's made. Matthew says, why can't I see the screen? I'm not sure what you're referring to, Matthew. So you're going to try to carry me on five in now? Well, he made it this time. Sure did. Oh, he got a nice roll. Oh, wow. Time. The one kick. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I think Gary's got the right response for Matthew. Yeah. Why can't I see the screen? Open your eyes. Well, he's going to have a trouble getting on two. Yeah, two's kind of in a scary plot spot, but and it's a long way to the one. He's going to have to play it off the short rail, and he's going to be all ball speed at that point if he wants to get on the side pot. Ooh. Oh, we got a lucky roll here, I think. It looks like. Screen is stuck on the sponsors? We haven't shown sponsors. I haven't shown any sponsors. Are you, let me log into my phone real quick and verify. Is anybody having any issues on YouTube or Facebook? Yeah, we haven't shown sponsors yet. Yeah, we're going to have to get to that at some point. Looks like Facebook's fine. Let me bust open YouTube real quick. I'm going to try the jump shot. I hate, I hate jumping when it's that close to the pocket. So often that they both go off the table. Um, as far as I can tell, YouTube is live and running well. So I think that's a you issue. Well, Matthew said that he can uh, let him in now. We can hear you. Oh, all right. Ashley, I believe you had a birthday recently. Happy birthday. Oh, really? Okay. Well, happy birthday, Ashley. Yeah, as far as I can tell, we're... Uh, Streaming well on both platforms. I just checked on my phone. So I'm glad to hear the confirmation from the people that are watching. And we are up to 566 live viewers. Awesome sauce. Keep sharing. I'd love to set a new Shark Stream record today. How old were you, Ashley? You don't ask women their age. Well, I thought you can when they're young. <laughs> when they're still very, very young. And yes. Oh, okay. Saying the screenshot is the sponsors. Uh, no, when I opened up my YouTube on my phone, it was showing the live stream, so I'm not sure. As long as everybody's able to tune in and watch, I'm happy. All right, Lucas. Getting, he's pretty comfortable. I think he's kind of dialing it in here, so that's pretty awesome. But the other hand, hasn't started missing yet either, though. Right now, they sort of go Lucas's way. Ashley says she's on her way back from Rax now. I just won my match there. She's now number seven. Awesome. Congratulations, Ashley. Congratulations. She works hard at pool. Uh, you know what? When you're in that, you know, you're trying to get to that level, you got to put in the time and the hours. And nice. And from what I've seen, she absolutely does. So all the best.
I'm not going to say what I'm thinking until it makes it until <laughs> I get yelled at by Pat. Very nice. All right, seven to seven. We're in a race to 20. I think maybe I'll give a sponsor a little bit of time here. playing so quick we have to come back to the live action but uh that is a good thing for us <laughs> for everybody wow two balls already three ten ball included <laughs> what a break ten comes back up but he's still got three down he can't see the one i don't think he he can see it i don't think he can pocket it anywhere no cliff bobby didn't go back for six <laughs> There was cake? Hmm? There was cake up? Uh, birthday cake. Darn it. Uh, I don't know whose birthday it was. I know I had to buy him a drink for a piece of cake. Oh, there you go. But it was, it was really good ice cream. It's like Lucas is just going to push out here. Yeah. It was Lucas. I would have told the guy to sit down before I did that. Yeah, it was a little distracting, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But it was... Even though, even though I was kind of commenting on that the last couple of streams because you know they they had both had an entourage so there was just guys standing around yeah. but from what I, the commenters were saying that's a completely common thing especially in Dominican Republic and you know like other places that for me it's just I don't know. see the Filipinos mm -hmm. oh yeah Filipinos. they're standing right next to you hanging on the table and then <laughs> you hear the rooster in the background <laughs> that was a nice one uh, a few months ago I saw on Facebook. Two guys were gambling in the Philippines, and the water was up to their knees. Is that right? Yeah, I thought that was great. Holy cow. That's dedication. I, I don't even want to put a worn-out chalk. <laughs> These guys are playing perfect in those conditions. That's awesome. No idea what the bottom one means. Which one? Hand pink weaving? I don't know. It's, a, it's an emoji of some sort, but it's not supported by YouTube, apparently. We'll just go with high. <laughs> yeah. I think Guam's kind of locked up here. Yeah, he's calling it back here. I'm wondering how he's. Three of them. Well, he hit that about as good as he could. Well, Hector's saying in the Philippines, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico, they all play with the table surrounded. Well, you know what? That's the way it is. That's the way it is. <laughs> Kevin, when I was starting out playing pool, the pool rooms didn't have air conditioning yet. But, you know, being young, it never seemed to bother any of us. But it was always hot and humid in the summertime. Mm. We didn't even have carpet because I remember how many times you'd slip on stretching for a ball and Do smack water? the table. <laughs> you know, you have to focus when you're playing with live chickens running around the room. Yeah, yeah I suspect that's the yeah. case. You you learn focus in a big hurry. I believe the Filipinos are the best in the world. Mm, they they yeah. definitely have been representing very well lately, especially for money. This is uh, it's kind of free stroke in here. <laughs> Kenny, I got a lot of stories, but I don't really think people want to hear that many of them. <laughs> but I have. You got to save them up for various different broadcasts. Well, that's why. Oh, oh Ooh, that's, uncharacteristic. That's first, oh, you got away with it. He did. Bit of a lucky roll there, but bruised my chin once getting yeah. a bridge. Yeah, that'll do it. I was slipping on that floor. I bruised different parts of my body. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but we were young. People didn't wear sneakers yet. We all had leather shoes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got everybody wearing Crocs. <laughs> Plastic shoes. Mom is not happy with the situation. Just sort of pacing around the table a little bit. Yeah. I think he's looking at making the 810, but that's like the 9. The same. The same. Uh, Fran Villanueva, he misses the Philippines. I had a friend of mine <laughs> when I was in Vietnam, he got sent to the Philippines. And Efren was a young boy at the oh boy. Whoa, wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the first thing I've seen out of him. I have not seen what that emotion, emotion in quite oh, some him. time. Wow, I'm Lucas. I take a break right now and let him think about let what him, he just did. Let him ponder it. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. he just knocked a cue over too. <laughs> Lucas was cute. Wow. Yes. Yeah. I'm shocked. A little emotion there. Especially too, too early in the set to be getting upset. No, you definitely but that'll take you right out of your game for sure. But Lucas takes it. No, not Luquana. Lucas. Uh yeah. <laughs> a little mad. Bill. I'm really surprised. How come no call safe? I don't know. I think they're just doing call shot. Yeah, that was something to see right there. I've never yeah. Seen, yeah. the last three times I've covered Guama and the only three times that we've seen him here at Yale Billiards, never saw an outburst or any yeah. kind of emotion like that. So that's rare. That's what I yeah. Well. Comment sections lighten up. It's hard to keep. <laughs> up to five thirty six. So keep sharing. Yes, Roxanne, we really appreciate being here. That was a, a highlight of real for some, but. Just got to keep Lucas focused, and I think I agree Bobby, with Bobby right now. It's just like this might be a time to take a little player break and just let him stew on it. Let him think about what he did. I don't think Lucas does that kind of stuff. Yet. My hunch is, yeah, he he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't do the kind of gamesmanship that we used to do, and all the time back, you know, like you said in the sixties, seventies, eighties. Yeah, well, right. and that's about as bad as you could be after. After the guy dogged it like that. Mm-hmm. Now you give him a ball in here to get started with. Now we can. Yeah, regroup rather, a little bit. I'm about kicking at this shot. Yeah, I would have had to go to the bathroom real quick Something. on that one. Well, let's look at this one, too. I think you're really good on that, too, to get perfect on the four. Could be a problem. Is he, is he gonna, oh, trying to? Let's see, is he, is he trying to play safe? Is he trying to get on that? No, I guess he's gonna try to get on that two four. This is tough. There's not much room for error. That six and ten are huge. All right. I got the four ten. There is a shortcut there, and do I wonder they, if he's contemplating it. Do they win 10 out of order? You call the 10 out of order, you can win. That's what I'm, I mean. Oh, he's yeah, set up for the carom more than the combo. If he yeah. is going that way, if not, he's probably going to bank the four cross side. No, he's lining up the combo. Call the 10. I would have rather. I thought maybe when he started with a one. This might be a little bit of host, you know, like anger. After you know, after that little outburst, uh, he might be just like, I'm just going to whack this 10 in. Yes, Anthony, it's his first set. First know. and only set tonight, by the way. I'm not covering set two if there is. Oh, you believe that? Wama's got to be fuming. 
Because you see exactly where Lucas's head is at. He's looking at shooting the 410 right back at him. <laughs> Comments are funny. This is like him. He should really upset him if he makes this. If he makes this combo right now to go ahead too. I don't know mentally if I'm coming back, but there's still a lot of pool to play, so you gotta sort of just splash some water on your face, whatever. Even his, they saying it was a foul. I don't know. Yeah, Lucas grabbing his shirt. They're discussing something, as if he called a foul on Lucas. Oh, is he trying to say that the, he might have nicked the five ball? I, I think so. Yeah, he's uh, look, he's talking to himself. Oh, I haven't seen this side of him before. You see him waving his hands around? Mm. Oh, Lucas missed it anyway. That way with it again. this. The 10 snuck right back in the way. Yes. It's, it's too early to be getting this upset. Yeah, well, sometimes when it happens, it happens. Wow, Wama's good. Oh, he's trying to slide it back on. All right, did we get a rail? No. Did not. <laughs> Ball breaker in me right now is just channeling my inner Brian Merrick and calling the 410 right now again. <laughs> Look what he's doing. Well, he is on two. Okay, Kenny, thanks for filling us in. That was two. Yeah, uh, I think you're right. So he's going to try and freeze him up on the 10. Did he give him enough room to get to that long rail? I think, I think he did. I think he did, too. One thing, though, he's is not his front one. You got to be careful that if he hits the left side, it's going really close to that corner. And he's on two. Are you looking at the scratch? Yeah, I don't think he's got enough. Well, he might. I don't know. Depends on how much he can spin on. Oh, boy. Just outside. See how they handle this. Wait a minute. Oh. Looks like that might have. Either they don't know that they're on two or they're not on two. Oh. But now, at, at, at any rate, Mama's on two now, that's for sure. Yeah, saying in the player's chair. Nobody. Okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, uh, not sure what's going on. <laughs> Jake's looking to get the winner. Drive on down, talk to Bobby, see what happens. That was an interesting position play. <laughs> Snuck down under the six instead. Hey, Lance. Oh, we got Lance on. Yeah. Look, so good, he's going to go for the four foul win. I'm not sure what's going on with that foul rule. They they got him playing three fouls, right? Oh, perfect speed. He's just gonna stop it right there. Hi, <laughs> Lance. Yeah, no, absolutely. I wasn't planning to. It was supposed to be the other Brian, Brian, the kicking chicken, but he's under the weather today, so I'm filling in. I spent a lot of time with Lance's father back in those oh, Larry. early days. Yeah. Great pool player. Oh, <laughs> another legend. Oh, he is a legend. All right. Well, I was taking a break. Yeah, I think he needs one. I he might need to. Can he take break when it's Lucas's turn? I guess. Well, I think when you gamble, he, he just dropped his cue on the table around. and said, I'm, he's taking a little walk around. That's the case. I think I'm going to take a little break and walk over to the bar real quick. Do you want anything? No, I'm fine. I got water. I got water? Okay. I'm going to hit the sun. Want to hit the what? You know, it says bigger break or something. Oh.
All right, we're back. Oh, I'm back. My partner will be back in a moment. Well, he's got a great break. I don't think he got rewarded that time. <laughs> this is a tricky getting on the one to the two. This is going to be tough with the nine. Well, obviously. <laughs> All right, Bobby Hilton here joining Bobby Hunt for a few minutes. We got an exciting match going on here, Bobby, huh? Yeah, I'm surprised to see. Uh, how does he pronounce his name? Guama? 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 Yeah. I was surprised to see him get, get that upset this early in the match. I mean, I know the roles were going against him, but it, I think it's still got two or three hours left. I've always believed he's taking upset. He, he's emotions, lose up energy. I mean, oh, this is the first good. time I, I think I actually seen Lucas actually play really well played, and get a couple of roles. Yeah, like you're, right, you're right. He's yeah. played well and he hit the wrong way. So, Mama's been playing. I mean, really good here. Um, but he's been getting a couple of roles as well. And if you yeah. go back to the previous streams, you will see. So I think it's just the frustration. Right? Well, and uh, I never seen him like that either, Bob. I know. I mean, even after and after he finished, after he threw, banged the cue and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my phone. After he banged the cue like that, then the Lucas was shooting, and he was standing near the pocket waving his arms. If I was Lucas, I would have stalled until he finished his antics. Yep, exactly. But I'm, I'm still in it. And there's another good lead that Lucas has got. Very fortunate. Yeah, very fortunate. Oh, no, you can't ask. Yes, my coat has no cigarettes in it. <laughs> All right, Guaman with a good hit. But he's going to lead for Lucas a good opportunity three, here. Two, three. You think maybe make this inside for the I safety? Think he will. But he's going to be able to have a problem getting on a three, I think. He can play the three nine, possibly, but he's got to be careful not to hit the nine, right? And then nine with these tight side pockets. Gotta hit it really good. <laughs> Reyes Gomez. I want Lucas to break <laughs> break his arms and both legs. Uh that's funny. Reyes Gomez is a great player. He actually took Lucas out of the oh, Pennsylvania that. Matt. Nice safe. That was really nice. I like what he did there. I thought he would go for the shot, but well, that was really nice. And it was tough. He actually missed a couple of ten and nine ball. He could possibly be up like like 11 5, wow. right? Early on. He's playing really strong. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Guama setting up this for the tie the six up, but he might leave him a 6 10 here. Looks close. But these pockets are a little snug. So yeah. you really got to get good on if you're going to play that 6 10. And that's what Lucas is looking at here. He's looking at playing the six into the nine or off the just, nine just side, the, maybe, right? Just, yeah, because he's the six is in a bad spot. Two, three. And uh, Reyes Gomez again is uh, listening. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he's had a lot of battles with Lucas. He, he beat him a couple times yeah. in Steinway, lost a couple times. They had some really, really good battles. Lucas trying to put him on two, huh? But I don't think there is a three. I don't think they're playing on three oh, here, Bobby. It, it, you're right, because before we thought he was on two. And yeah, I should have asked while I was out there. I forgot about it. He was trying to actually hit that six ball, oh, popping out there. I think. Yeah, that would have been that would have been great. Yeah, but he still saved him pretty good. So yeah, he did. I don't know if he can, you know, I don't know if he can get to the long rail. It doesn't look like it. So that's the long rail on the on the right side. Why would you have to get in to hit that ball? All right, guys, you got Bobby Hilton and Bobby Hunt in the booth. If you can please share the stream, let's get it out there. We got a lot of people watching, uh, well over five hundred, and nobody can get to a thousand. Because who doesn't want to watch this match, Bobby? I know, it's a good match. And, uh, Lucas playing really nice. All right, so that's a jump, but he hit the four. Okay, so is that and, two he's on? Uh, yeah, if, but I don't, I don't think they're playing three. Yeah. But he's wide open now. He got, he got the six and the nine out of there. <laughs> Brian, bring back Brian. <laughs> I just need a couple racks, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pick up on that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go soon to play with Lucas in Connecticut. All right, very nice. 
We would love to have you back on the stream, uh, Reyes. We haven't had you in a long time. Yeah, it's got to be at least a year, not more than that. <laughs> Funny story about uh, Reyes. Uh, he came down and Lucas actually beat him, but then Lucas played uh, some one pocket or last pocket. Or yeah, I was in on that. It was, yeah, that was ugly. Yeah, he lost. He lost most of his money back on that. <laughs> yes. Lucas is a nice shot right there, Bobby. How's he getting on this five ball, though? I said to Lucas after that, I said, well, why would you give him, change the game? You got him stuck, $8,000. And Lucas said, well, he was going to leave. I said, I know, good, leave. right? We're ahead $8,000. Yeah. And the guy went to make a little profit yeah. after it was over. Yeah. Um, actually, actually, I'm playing uh, Oscar. Oscar played Jamie. Jamie won, so I'm playing Oscar. I'll be playing uh, this week for sure. And a happy birthday, Ashley. Yeah. I see them say Bobby. I thought you were talking to me, and I didn't know what she was talking about. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. She's talking to me because I got to play. Yeah. A, she's trying to get me. I, I gave her lessons two years ago. I, I put my heart and soul to this young lady. I said, listen, you're going to go into the uh, the expo, and you're going to win it. She, she came in second. She didn't win. Oh, uh, there's a role for Mama. Yeah. Um, But I'm putting my heart and soul, and now she's trying to come after me, Bob. What do you think of that? That's how it works. <laughs> I told her, I said, if you catch me, I'm just going to retire off the list. <laughs> That's it. But no, she's playing fantastic. She's a good player. She just came out to, um, she came out the racks, came in seventh. She's in seventh in their list as well. I believe someone's calling you out, Bob. I'm playing Oscar. Oscar. Yeah, Oscar's giving me, he beat me last time. And, uh, I thought he and, was Yeah, I've been playing, actually, I've been playing a little bit more. So I'll, hopefully I'll be ready this time. Hopefully, uh, takes it easy on me this time. Either way, she gets the top 10 spot. If you win, yeah, you got to play the loser of me and Oscar for your chance to play in the top 10. How about that? We have a, could have a female that a top 10. That's awesome. Luke is a very respectful player. My respect for Luca. Thanks, Ray. Is the uh, same to you as well. Like I said, you came down here and uh, you lost. Didn't say anything and then just took your money back. <laughs> yeah. That's a big game for him to win that game. Yeah, he had a chance to get up by three. Yeah. And uh you gotta keep him down. He's got one fancy cue. I was looking at him. Really fancy stick. Yep. But uh we got a good one here. It's a race to twenty seven. Lucas is up nine to eight. And uh yeah, Bobby Hunt and Bobby Hilton in the booth for Bobby Hilton's gonna be a couple more racks and then uh Ryan will be coming back in. And uh they were they were talking about some some uh some of your stories, Bobby. Did you ever play in Tennessee? I was in once. I remember playing a guy named Frank Fisher. And that's gotta be back in the seventies. And if I recall he beat me. He uh played pretty good. He beat I was I was coming up still at that point when I finally got Play a little better. He didn't want to play yeah. a couple of years later. But there was so much pool in that area in the country back in the 70s and 80s. All right, Guam, I'm breaking. Greg Hoagland, how are you? I'm fine. That guy right here, Greg Hoagland? Yeah. If he was still playing, he'd be one of the best players in Connecticut. I, I remember he actually played at my pool at Yale Billiards way yeah. back, I think 25 years ago. He was a really good player. I took him a few spots. We went, I took him down south, and he really could play. And uh, then I, you know, he got married, had kids, and kind of disappeared. I'm, I'm happy to see he's at least paying attention. I think if it's the same Greg, I'm thinking about Greg can actually probably answer this. But if he played at Yale Bears, he came down on our weekly tournaments when Tommy uh, Junior was winning everything, and uh, Tommy was spot like, you know, the twelve and the eight to the whole field. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And Greg just came in and 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 smoked everybody, beat Tommy well, and everybody. Now he plays golf. Hey, <laughs> now he plays. Was that you, Greg? Did you come down to Yale Billiards and do that back in the day? Talking about ninety five, ninety six, maybe. I've known Greg since he was barely out of his teens. So it was it was Greg. So that's the Greg I'm thinking yeah. about. I mean, we couldn't figure it out because, like you said, he was a real good player. Tommy really was good. amazing player, and Greg just took him out. Greg had a top speed that was just great. He banged well. He shot everything. I thought maybe he, he could have played a few more saves, 
but sometimes I think I play too many. But he's a good he, shot by Glama, and he has a shot on the three ball as well. Can he get to the oh, he's right handed? He's got to go opposite handed here, maybe. He's no, he can reach it. Well, I couldn't reach that shot. This is tough. He's got to get for that five, uh, the four ball, too. So, well, if he can reach it to, enough to hit a little, you can hold it for the uh, four, or it'll be just above the 10. He sure is stretching. What amazes me, Robert Paul. There it is. Yeah, um, such a tough shot yeah. right there. You know what amazes me on that shot? I watch these Filipinos that are five foot tall. They stretch across the table like it's nothing. Right. And, and they they just play so good like that. Yeah, well, even um, Ko Ping Chung, who won. Uh, five foot tall, too. Yeah, he won the opening. He's, he's five foot tall. Uh, he's, he couldn't tell. You know, he couldn't uh, tell. I use a bridge from the spot nowadays, and these guys. I played Efren a couple times, and one time he stretched for a ball. I couldn't believe he. All the way across the table, like it was a hanger. <laughs> I don't know how he could do it. And he's not much younger than I am. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's pretty funny. But like uh, I saw a couple of comments earlier, you know, when you play uh, in the Philippines, you got chickens yeah, running just, around and there's people around, you know, you just, you don't even think about that stuff. You just no, do it. You just play. You just do it, you know. How about this lead by Lucas? Not bad, can not bad get, at all. Can he get to the bottom rail? I think he can get to the bottom rail and put some spin on it. It looks like he called uh, something, too. He, he, I don't know what he was calling. He aimed for the side, I thought. He didn't get a rail yet. There he did. Right. That was a pretty good shot, too. Lucas is going to safety him here, right? He's going to try to snook him, hit the five, if, four behind hit, the eight ball. Can he get the edge of it? I, I think so. Well, Let's go to the top yeah, camera. If he get the edge of it. Like it looks that. like he can definitely get the top of it. Well, it's all about the speed now. Is this Rafael Martinez, who was a top player like 15 years ago? I, I probably I don't know, but uh, Rafael Martinez is our uh, is that you the gentleman uh, used to be a top uh, world a, beater back in what was it two thousand five yeah two thousand two I played him one night in Bristol billiards all night long one pocket there you go but Rafael did you play just, uh, Bobby Hunt he didn't he never spoke to me the whole seven hours he never even said never said a word I, never said a word even when we paid the table time we never <laughs> so I didn't even know if he spoke English. But uh, we played all night, okay. <laughs> and I tried to talk when I played. He didn't say anything. He shot everything in the center of the pocket. I played wow. one pocket. That was tough. All right, tough but, leave here, Bobby. But Nice shot by Lucas. I'm trying to see where I can get to that ball. Can you see the edge, edge of that? Can he? Well, I mean, he has a kick at it, but it's not good. He could do two kicks, two rails out of the corner. Martinez is one of the straight shooters yeah. I've ever seen on tape. Let's say Alex, when I, when I played him, um, he didn't move at all, but he shot everything in. I don't know about this one. This is going to be close. Yeah, I can't tell. I just think he can hit it. Well, I'm really taking his time wow. here. Yeah. That was big. Not sure. Not sure what to do here. Uh -huh. <laughs> While this is happening, what do you think about um, the shot clock when on the game? I mean, it, it really, like, he couldn't do this with a shot clock. No, he couldn't. I, I think for tournaments, shot clock's good. I think when you're gambling, do whatever you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I never, actually, you know, it's funny how, how quick Lucas plays. I'd rather play a guy who plays too slow. But I remember playing people that play really fast, and they would put racks together so quick. When they get a gear, right? Oh, my God. They, yeah. they, they run three racks, and it's time it takes me to, so he was able he to get it. I think he played the 10 ball there, actually. Look at this here. Going for the combo, Bob. Yeah, Merrick would. 
pretty straightforward, right? Just got to. Yeah, but I wouldn't hit it easy. I want to, because if it, I don't make it, I don't want to leave anywhere near the pocket. <laughs> All right, Lucas uh, trying to go up two racks here. He's up nine to eight, race to 27. Guam already has his two racks, race to 27. Oh boy, I need to do this. You missed it. And uh, look at this leaf here. I was talking about playing fast. Fastest guy I ever saw was uh, was Luke Salvas. I played him out of Canada. We flipped the coin, and in six four minutes, he was six nothing ahead of me. I never seen anything like it. And, <laughs> and when they came up, that that they used to play uh, on ESPN Speed Pool. He yeah, won, yeah, won, they won. had they actually had it last week. Oh, I didn't know they still did it, but he won everything. Uh, oh, look at that shot right there. That's that boom worthy. That was a really good shot. I don't forget to replay it again, but look at this breakup I'll be up here up top. That was perfect. I mean, he yeah. Had a real nice little fortune in his grass, but great shot. Fun. I was wondering if that Martinez was the same one, but he never responded to us. Are you playing this for the side here? Yeah, now he's got about to have a little trouble. A six in the side, right? Six and the is going away. Yeah, I Maybe don't like where it's going. going. Your corner pocket. You look at the long view. I mean, he's got a. I, I guess you could. Going here. Yeah, but made it tough on himself. So is he going to hit the eight? And if he does. He'll be shooting an, an eight-foot shot. That's what he's looking at right now. He didn't want to be on that rail. Be, oh, boy. I wouldn't want to shoot this. All right, guys. We've got 600 people watching. You know, Bobby Hilton, Bobby Hunt in the booth. Continue to share that stream. You got an excellent match. It's got to be really and fortunate. Oh, boy. This is not going to be good here. But if that hangs up, it'll be all right. No. So oh, that's he's stumping good. himself. Yeah, and the 10 balls. And he's, he feels like everything's going against him now. All right, guys, we need everybody this year. One time, let's get it over 600. We're at 595. What do you do here, Bob? I, mean, well, I think the only thing, I mean, obviously, he has to hit it. Um, try to play. He might be able to cut can, it, is what he he's hit, looking yeah, at. If he, can he hit? Oh, yeah. He must have a shot then. Yeah, this is really, really difficult, right? <laughs> but if he makes, he's going to have a shot here on this ball. Yeah, but what a, Dominic good. Dunn, the man. Thank you very much for sharing. Appreciate it. I'm sure you got some action on it. He was Watch this. Oh boy, he's gotta wow. be thinking the whole world's against him. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like I said, if you watched the previous couple of matches, Bobby, um, Lucas was not getting any rolls. Just, no, just the what, long, the long, you know, yeah. and then they may, they may turn before this sets over. I'm not saying he's gonna get him for the rest of the, but eventually you're gonna get caught up and you're gonna get him back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, usually they do. Yeah. Uh, Alex. Uh, you know, when I was playing Alex, before the Filipinos got here, there weren't any foreign pool players. The Europeans hadn't started coming over yet. I played six different Filipinos, and I'd like to say I had a winning record, but I can't. But um, we didn't even hear about the Europeans yet until 15, 20 years ago. Well, you, that, that, that might be fortunate. Luke has got a little fortune with that role. He didn't want it to... Play this in the side. He wanted to play that in the corner. Yeah. He's lucky he came out of it with a shot. Uh, but this is a great stream. We got a lot of people sharing. You yeah. got Dominic Dunn in Florida. Yeah. Win so. Windows open is sharing our stream. I mean, a lot of big things happening uh, in the world of pool. You know, what's he do here? Cut this in, Bob? I you know, shoot. I would hit like low right and right, center right. Just try to come back right where he Just is. Just anywhere's up there to the middle. Cause... Oh, he hit that a little firm. Wow. It worked out nice. Let's go to long view. You can actually look at what he's looking at here. Nice shot. What, what a great shot. That's nice a big shot, shot right there. Yeah, that was big. I mean, he's like, he is a great player. He really is. He's so young and talented. Um, but I got two things to talk to you about. Let's talk about the two biggest things in the world of pool. We haven't even mentioned it yet. Let's talk about this American pool player that's just got announced on the Moscone Cup. 
Mr. Fedor Gors. What's your opinion on that? And before you uh, go on, Bobby Hunt, just so you know, is a, a lifelong hustler. He had a two-year or three-year job his whole life, so he knows the game inside and out. But uh, let's, I want to hear your scenario, Bobby. What are you thinking about this? I feel he's he's a citizen. He's entitled to play for U.S., but I don't think he should be playing this year. Okay. I, don't, I don't think he can declare himself a month or two before the, that he wants to play. Up until the last week, he was a European player. I think, and I do think players under him, you know, it's not fair to them. They're pushing him out. But I do think he, he's entitled to play here next year. That's just how I feel it out. And he's a great player. I think, you know, now he's, we, gonna, he's gonna make it a little more oh, even gonna, though. Yeah. We're not, <laughs> we might not get robbed every year. Yeah. But uh, I, I just would have liked to see him wait, you know, like a year clear himself next yep. year. He's young. It's not like he's, he's no, he's twenty two, I think. Yeah, he's a child. Yeah. So. So he, he certainly could have done it, and it would I think would have made, you know, like that uh, usury was playing how he's been chasing points. Yeah. All of a sudden, he all year he's been thousands, and now that's it. Yeah. Because they that's why I would have liked to have seen it next year. Uh, he's, it was a he's good, like, good break by Lucas, but unfortunately he didn't make yeah. a loss. Obama has a really good opportunity. Um, I don't see any trouble balls here, Bob. Really good. He could get a little five. He could get a little funny on the five. Well, I can't tell how good he got on the four. You know what I mean? Because it's going away from the ball. He can get to the bottom rail with ease. Yeah, so he had to risk a little. But he might have okay. He's getting a little issue here again now with the. This is funny angle again. Yeah, but I think he can buy that 10 ball this time. Oh, I, I think so. But it does make everything a little tougher. Mm -hmm. And when you're not winning, everything's tough. Yeah, he does seem a little bit out of sorts, right? He's not. I think he's fighting himself right now in every ball. Yep. You know, that little uh, heated exchange he had with himself. But that's not good. Well, that's a good shot. He's got a nice position here in the seven yeah. ball. He can go back and forth, or he can draw this however he wants to do it. He's in control. The second I would think he just to, uh, right to the rail and shoot the eight up. Yeah, you know, well, this is more angle than he wanted though. This, this pocket though, you, you coming in on this line, you got to hit it pretty good. If you catch that long rail at all, it it usually jars. Yeah, he jumps up. We talked about that a lot. It almost seems like it's his hustle move. Yeah. He makes them right. <laughs> you know. Ginky was a really good player years ago, and he'd jump up on it. Not jump. He'd stand up as he stroked. And, and he'd ball go right in. Played awful good that <laughs> way. All right, guys, buckle up. Buckle up. This is not over yet. This is a great, great matchup, you guys. And it looks like almost 10-9 mm -hmm. here. I think it's important for... Wamo to stay within that two that he was spotted at the beginning because then you don't feel like it's even you know once if he gets more than two behind now he's behind more than the spot that's a little extra pressure if he can yep. keep it within two he's always you know, still right fairly, there. fairly yeah. even and I think that third game would be big but uh, he got real frustrated mentally. he got real frustrated earlier and he's coming back so yeah got to give it to him um so another thing to talk about real quick um before I leave we're probably gonna leave after this rack but uh you know, the WPA, everybody's talking about that, and they came out with a letter saying that they can't play in any tournament. So if I'm having a tournament, they can't play in it, Bobby. I I don't know enough about it, Bob. But yep. the little bit I've been reading, I think they're trying to just dominate the game, and if you don't go along with them, then you can't. They don't want you playing anywhere. And then they put a line in about, uh, but you can come back to us if you want to be a $500 penalty and six months probation. Yeah. Well, what were they to tell the players this? I mean, it's not like these pool players are making millions of dollars. They can't pass up half the tournaments. And I, I didn't like that. Yep. All right. Reyes Gomez just gave uh, Dominic Donna a shout out, something about a tournament in Florida. Awesome. Good job. And then uh, Aldo says WPA will soon tank if they don't change their I, directions. I agree with Aldo. They better do something quick because I haven't heard many players who are. No, a, a the big names are coming out against them. Yeah. Not the small name, the big no, names. The ones that matter. Yeah. yeah. And I don't see how they're going to be responding to that. I thought Jason had a good thing. He said the WPA 
couple of years ago when he won that tournament, I think it was Dubai, one of those countries, he won 50000 They didn't pay him for two years. He said, why didn't WPA come up and help me get my money? You're representing us. It took two years to get paid. That's a great point. Yeah, if that, that's the case, I see no reason to want to have that. But I, I don't know the whole story. Yep. I just know my whole lifetime there's been one pool thing after another. And, and they and you've been in pool, obviously, a long time. They never really did anything that you thought was extra special for the players. The only one I thought tour in my lifetime, I thought, was the uh, Camel Tour. And that only lasted about three or four years. But that's the only real thing. And it, and it folded and... I think they went up the spots where I am sure both. Yep. You know, you gotta gotta give it up to Matchroom. I mean, they're just just rolling with it. They're taking advantage of everything. You they know, seem every... to be trying, yeah. Yeah. You know, I did wonder about as we're talking here, Lucas is just running just perfectly, beat, just yeah. this real simple position, not anything fancy. And it's just gotta draw this ball back for the nine. I would, I would think. There you go, perfect. perfect. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Sometimes it looks like there's a little angle. You know, two years ago, I thought Predator was trying to take over pool. Remember, they made their own tables, their own felt. They, they really, they, they still are, I think, but Bobby. I, but, but I haven't heard much about their tour uh, in the past well, year. Well, they're, they're being very quiet. They're part of that WPA. They're part of that WPA. Well, I didn't know that. So, yeah, they're really. They, they don't want to yes. say anything wrong right now. And honest to God, Bobby, I'm I'm telling you, I from what I feel, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm inside the world a little bit more than that. Uh, but I do see um, Predator almost. The, the players or the whole area are kind of taking a little step back. Predator might be putting pressure on WPA because I see more players now leaving, going to other sponsors. Um, I see people probably in, in the in the dark side talking about the Predator tour. They really don't love the race to four. I don't. I think traveling all over the world for race to four. Yeah, I think it's so phony. It's unplayable. And, and they can't say it because they're sponsored by Predator. Yeah. Or, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it's just, it's just a. I, I think you know. I I think it's good for pool that more people are getting involved. Yeah. And more uh, companies and. Jose I mean, Jose is saying Matchroom is doing a great job. I think Matchroom is doing yeah, it as well. From, from what I can see it. They're really trying to do a great job. Uh, they they really seem to be, you know, that Emily Fraser seems to be doing good things. She's so fantastic. I yeah. saw her at the US Open and she just talks to anybody. She takes pictures and, right. you know, it's, I don't know any sport in the world, she, she you know, somebody that's running the event can, you can just go talk to them. What's going on, Bruce? Smells like hot dogs <laughs> and ketchup. Oh, look at this. Lucas, Lucas oh. tries to push and he scratches. Oh, I missed it. Let's look at the replay. So look at this. He tries to thin the ball. Oh, and he, he, he does he miss the ball? He missed the ball, Bobby. He shot straight in the hole. He shot it right in the pocket. You leave? Uh, pretty soon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, come on in for a rack. Come on in. Come on, just so you can stand. Come on in. All right, we've got Bruce Defonzo, I can everybody. I see better in here than I can. My eyes are so bad. Bruce uh, is a grandfather. Oh, congratulations. Oh, yes, again today. Yeah. Awesome. Actually, yesterday was the end. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. What do you think of this little outburst that Guamo had a few right? <laughs> Why would you ask him that, Bob? Because Bruce, he knows <laughs> well, how you don't know, like the authority on it. No, something. but I, I thought that's the first emotion I've seen on him. And it seems to have carried over for a few games. I think now he's... So, you know, he got a, he got like a half a dozen bad rolls. Yeah, and, it, and it, it, you know, it's tough to do. Yeah. yeah, it's not a heel, man. No, really. I, mean, I know, I know you better than anybody. I'll tell you what. You know, you know who does deal with it is Lucas. When he has a bad roll, he doesn't. He never yeah, he, gets flustered. Like he, yeah, he's good. He seems, After the match, he'll talk about it. He seems really. I like the way he acts. He just sits in a chair, doesn't say anything wrong. Yeah. Nice shot right there, by the way. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. You made a nine ball. I'm sorry. I know it's so hard to tell. Yeah, I, I was. Uh oh. Yeah. That's not where he wanted to be. He yeah. wasn't supposed to hit that eight ball, right? No. He was it's, trying to come out yeah. off the table. It's a seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, ten. Seven, eight, ten. Seven, eight, ten. So now. He's got to go back and forth. But he's got to avoid this. He's got to avoid the, go the side, right? Doesn't have to go that far. Just go over here somewhere. For the there. for the eight? No. 
It's the 10, isn't it? No, that's a 10. He's got to make the eight. It's the eight. The He's got to go. Oh my God. I would say like a diamond past the side pocket. Yeah, so you try to come this way. He's going to trade across and settle for anything. Like Absolutely. That. I'm a big fan of these. He's got to hit it hard. You got to. These carbon fiber shafts, I, I think, they pick up so much spin. They, Oscar says three reels forward. I don't yeah. think he's going to own three reels. Yeah, well, yeah, you could do that. You could, but I wouldn't yeah. really bet my money and do that. Oh, well. Punch follow. Look at that. A, like a little punch follow. They hit it beautifully. Nothing wrong with that. Nice call. Oscar, get in the booth. Nice call. <laughs> you know, Carmen, you remember Rafael Martinez? He was around Bristol 20, 15 years ago. He was a great player out of Mexico. Yeah, I forgot who he came up with. I think he was talking in here a little bit. He On the chat, he disappeared. Like no one's heard from him in ten years or so. Mm -hmm. And I think he said we were listening to. Oh, oh, no. Side pocket. Uh oh. Wow. Oh. Bob is a rip in your. That's. <laughs> Bruce, have you ever done that? <laughs> 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 Those, those don't know Bruce Defonso is a great, great player. And he had a little little issue of anger back in the day, right, Bob? Or, or uh, I don't know if you want to elaborate on that, but. Uh, I love the one. It was a process. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still working on it. <laughs> I remember you were playing. What, what was the worst? Yeah, it was like one of the bad stories when he really, really went well, off I, the hinges well, a little bit. One I liked was Larry. You were playing Larry Gascotti in his room, and, and they were playing on the front table. And I don't know what happened. Bruce took the cue like a javelin. He, he, he threw it across the room and hit. He the, did. It hit the door. <laughs> it hit the door jam. Dropped on the carpet. And Larry says, "Bruce, I think you broke your cue." Because now I broke your door. Your door. It's a zamboni. There wasn't even a ding in the stick. Says, yeah, wow. I, just, I threw it. <laughs> <laughs> I threw it by the shaft. I actually threw it up by the tip. And I and I threw the butt end. And the butt end uh -huh. when it hit the it was like somebody opened a door it was a jar a little bit. It hit the end of the door right on the bumper. It hit and nice. It made, and it made a loud noise, you know, and it sounds like something had to happen, but it didn't. I got another. Uh oh. Bobby, I got, oh. I got another Bruce. We're in New London. There was a big tournament going on, and we're down to the final two or four. Oh, donkey Kong. The Donkey Kong machine. So every there's no one playing pool except the match. The room was packed with spectators. But they had a Donkey Kong machine. So Bruce starts playing this guy, I think it was Alviani. Like ten or twenty dollars a game. Now the room is dead quiet. Well, Bruce, I don't know how you screw up with Donkey Kong. I heard a bam. Bruce, I wanted to. He punched it so hard. The machine. The machine rocked, and the whole place turned around. And I'm with Bruce. I'm covered by face. It was like an explosion. Yeah, like Miserac oh, was Miserac right was, yeah. was playing the, that was the kid big. from uh, New Jersey. What was his name? Uh, so many back then. That was a great shot he just made. Yeah, it was. It was a big Margo. shot. Oh, Margo. He just died. He did? Yeah. Wow. Oh, he was a great player, he too. He could play. Yeah, he was a great player. Is chicken at the bar? Is chicken here? I have Brian Brennan it. just said chicken's here. Look at this. He got a little weird on the four ball. What's he going to do now, guys? Can he get past the 10? I can't. I don't know. It's a skinny pocket oh, to begin with. He got a... Well, uh, uh, you know, it was what, like the worst thing I ever did in the pool. <laughs> I used to play at Southington when they first opened up. And well, they, all... they answer stuff to you, Bruce. Is he? Oh, yeah. the story at Ultimate Billiards, the queue got, you got snapped. You snapped the queue at Ultimate Billiards? I, I play, I did snap a queue at Ultimate, Ultimate playing Pete one day. <laughs> every, he couldn't play for shit, but he missed. I, every time he missed, he never left me a shot. And I, that's it. I, I lost my mind. <laughs> uh, Lance says, Congratulations on being a grandfather. And oh, thank yeah, that you. was the one thank he had to say. Yeah. Absolutely. He was almost telling the story about that. Scott, what well, you say? There's one other big story you want to tell us? You said it was. Oh, yeah. I, was, I used to play in Southington and, and, and I had a tough one. Okay. We all know I have a tough one. <laughs> so one day I was playing, I think I, I, think I could be like, I, I had somebody like six to the six to nothing and I ended up getting beat. And I didn't really do much during the match, like yelling and screaming. I thought I just kind of I was subdued, but it was it was simmering for like really bad. I mean, really, really bad. Yeah. So we're, I was leaving. And I had the pallet of balls. Nice shot. 
I don't know how many people are in the pool room. Which? But you, <laughs> you, the whole tray of balls. I took the tray of balls and I went like I went like this. Um, and I slammed them on the table. Oh, that's like, so loud! And the balls like hit every wall in the in the pool room. <laughs> Nick says to me, "That's it. You're out. You're out for two weeks." <laughs> I was back in in a week. <laughs> You're not gonna be happy with oh, that. Wait, that good stuff. Out. Good stuff. I couldn't do any wrong. Any wrong. Believe me. All of a sudden, one night there's like 500 kids in there. They're all, and all of a sudden they're all out in the parking lot fighting. And me and Nick and what the heck was the kid's name? Eddie, uh, whatever. The house man. We went out there and I see Nick. He some kid had him upside down on on the hood of a car. Hell in order. I ripped the kid off of him, you know. <laughs> I was like, I saved the day. Nice. After that, I couldn't do any wrong. Uh, yeah, you saved the big brawl out there. Nice. <laughs> Apparently, chicken's in the bar. Boy. Yeah, we'll get him in the booth if he's he, here. He must have felt better because well, was... he saw there was 600 viewers yeah. and he said, I got to get in there. I was surprised he didn't because I knew how much he wanted to come. But he's been in the emergency room a lot lately. Look at this shot. You know, how about I, that? I called him earlier and he didn't call me back. Mm. Oh, it's good to hear he's here. Well, after this rack, I'm going to step out. I'll let Brian eat your food. I got to go out there. I'm going to go out there and ruffle his feathers a little bit. All right. <laughs> well, you got a lot, a lot of people watching, Bobby. We're six I sure nine. wish I could play pool still, Bob, you know. We got all of us. I'd be out there playing those youngsters. Yeah, they are young, too. Yeah, they really are. Lucas is going to be 22. just turned 22. Yeah, I saw that last week. All right, well, let's get back to the game here. What's he going to do with the six ball? Well, I can't tell. If he, if he, what I well, would he's got to kick at it or I would, put it in. I don't know. Can I would he, try can to he see it? play the rail and spin into the he's, six. He's got to kick it in. Well, I'm saying kick it. I would kick it towards the 10 ball. You know, get the short rail, spin it. So it's like a one I putt. I can't tell how like much he can get in back of it. Well, I don't, yeah, but he only has to get the edge of it like a one pocket shot. It'll go that way and the cue ball goes the other. I don't know. He played it. Yeah. Oof. That's not good. But this is not easy for Lucas. Oh, no. Yeah, yes. I don't think that's six goes. I don't think it goes. It's not in the side, anyhow. If he makes that six past the nine, it will be my hero. Oh, that, I don't think it's by that. Cut it up in the corner? I think that's... I don't see any... I mean, if you want to be offensive, I, I don't see anything else. I'll tell you what, though, if anybody can make that shot at well, this table, say, it's him. He's a straight shooter. He, like, he likes this. He likes this table. He likes those shots. And uh, when he's practicing, that's what he'll, he'll put those out there nine, ten times in a row. I have a table. I built my house around my pool table. But I haven't, <laughs> I played, on it. I haven't played on it in 25 years. It sits, really? It sits downstairs. It's got its own room yeah. and everything. And it's tighter than that table. It's mm -hmm. real. And I, when I quit playing, I could run out on the thing like tap water. Now. Chicken, what's up? This is not your hen house. Look at this, like a murderer's row in here. Oh my God. Now I couldn't run a rack of balls on that table if my life depended on it. Oh, oh Mama missed that. It's hot here. That's a big mess right there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to step out right after this rack and I'm going to let Chicken get in. So let's, said, I'll finish this rack. I just said I was going to go out there and ruffle your feathers a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, you did. All right, so Luke, Lucas has a. Mama missed that, and he, he put it in the wrong pocket. So he Lucas. Didn't call me back that's today. Nice Let me what's he going to do with this eight ball, though, Bob? Just, is he going to play the try to come I'll around the table and play the eight, or is he going to play the eight ten? It'd be tough. To, I think he's going to play the eight ten. Yeah, he is. Because I think it'd be too hard to try to go on the table and be in between the eight and the ten ball. All right, big shot here. This is a four game lead if he if he takes us. How are you feeling, Brian? Not too bad. Not too bad. Good. Yeah. Don't you got, worry. You don't guys worry, are guys. in for I'm a treat, guys. The kicking chickens coming in. He's going to hang out with Bobby Hunt, and they're going to talk a little bit more. But uh, let's see what happens with this shot first. We can tell more stories about He's going to play it off the rail. Yeah. He's playing That's it off the, the rail. Shot. That's the shot. Swing it off the rail. But I wouldn't be rolling it. No, no. You got to go in on it. Is that it? Is he trying to maybe get the eight towards the opposite side in case he misses? No, I was would... playing it off the rail. I, I was thinking. Very nice. Perfect. Very Great nice. shot by Lucas. All right, guys, I'm going to step out. We're going to let Chicken get All back right. in and do his thing, and now we'll be right back. Turn
Yeah. Well, I got just bits and pieces of it. Hello, everybody. This is Brian the Kicking Chicken. Just coming out the other side of a, a little little touch of the flu. Well, Lucas playing off a bit, Brian. Was it that he, swine that swine flu that was going around? Yeah, chicken can't get swine. Can <laughs> What do you need? My iPad is on the floor. I left the chip. Oh, Bear with us a moment here. Can you reach it? Is this it? Yeah, it's just a black iPad. No, no, no. That's not the box. There should be an iPad. I leave it on the board. That would be it. Uh, That's it. Thank you. There. All right. You missed it uh, earlier, uh, Wama. <laughs> had a little breakdown. There was a. I, I, I heard that. I, I, mm -hmm. I was thinking of some uh, Wama drama, right? Yeah, it was. He banged his cue a couple times, threw it across the table. Okay. I was surprised that he did it so early in the match. Um, but uh, it, in his defense, Lucas has been getting most of the roles. And on top of that, Lucas is playing well. I heard you commenting about. Uh, him staying within the within the spot, how important that is psychologically. That's a really big yeah, deal. Yeah, really, really is bank, remember? Oh, hey, yeah, good. Glad to see that. Yeah, if you're getting a couple of games and you uh, you let your opponent yeah. outrun it quickly and so he wants to stay within two. Get into the feed, absolutely oh, for psychological oh. purposes. Now he got himself stuck here. People oh, say. Nice to see you, Brian. Hey, Alex, thank you very much, guys. Alex Appreciate it. Just said it. Hey, Alex. Appreciate it there, brother. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of brisk viewership. What's there been, like 400 people watching? 500? Five or six. Amazing. Yeah, I don't know what YouTube is doing. Oh. Well, I think if he hits it, he's going to probably just leave the guy kind of tough. He's going to break well, just a little. Well, left him. Is he going to get it? Yeah, you got the yeah. rail. Oh, yeah. Could come a little tough, but not the way I, I envisioned it. I didn't see it that way. No. No. It doesn't look like he had to pocket, right? It worked out. I think he's going to put, I, I would say he might be playing safe. He'll go off the left side and you can see what he's doing. Bruce, you're like a moth to the flame. I've been uh, seeing you more than in the last you big stop action it, matches around here. No, don't think I'm going to keep showing up. Don't, don't even think that. Well, no, it's nice to see you. <laughs> He's a pool freak. We just, we just, we just weren't getting the stakes up high enough to get your interest. Now that they're uh, up in the big dimes here, you're, you're showing up. Too bad it was a big game. The way he played that, he couldn't come out of that safe. No. Well, how they've been doing for run out pool? Has there been many runouts? Lucas had a few. But I don't think there've been a five, four or five break of runs. Yeah, but they were all Lucas. Lucas. Oh, and he had. They look good. He looked good at the table. I got to tell you. And he's he got a night. He was picked up some a nice rhythm, and he was flowing through the racks. I'll say this: this guy really hasn't played bad. But a lot of things went against him. Yeah, if he didn't get so many bad rolls, he'd yeah, be a lot be closer different. right now. Well, that, I'm Spanish speaking here that none of us know what they're saying. We're going to get that translation option going. <laughs> you played for the side. Yeah. Tell you, then, when yeah. when Wama gets rippling, he, he could string some stuff together. The thing is, he's made this <laughs> little six, it looks like. What's their record? Is it two and one? No. Wama won twice and this Lucas two and won. one here, but I guess Lucas won in uh, Valley, New York, Valley Forge or someplace. So they say they're two and two, but uh, I think Lucas is stuck money though. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's for sure. I missed, yeah. I just realized how long of a bridge you have. What well, one observation, and you and I <laughs> talked about this a, a, a couple of weeks ago, Bruce. He doesn't jump up. A lot of people say he's jumping up. He's actually lurching forward. Somebody's talking to me, but I can't. Oh, there's Patty Masmani talking to you. you hey, missed, Patty. It moved so quickly you couldn't get to it. I yeah, they're it. bouncing along and pretty Cliff, quick. Cliff uh, Greenlight says, three musketeers in the booth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, green light, what's happening there? We saw a name pop up earlier, Brian. Yeah. Rafael Martinez. Oh, he was a he was quite well, a good pro player. He spoke twice in here, but it was all Spanish. And I was wondering if it's the same guy I remember from all those you know, years ago. He disappeared about 10, 15 years ago. Nice you know, I, nice shot, Lucas. The the Rafael Martinez we remember, he was a West Coast guy, I'm pretty sure. I, uh, I know he spent time back here, but I, I think he was a West Coast guy. But I think he, I, I think he got sick. I was wondering because I was wondering if it's the same guy. Yeah, who popped up? I didn't like the way he got on the ten, but just when you're young, it's not a big deal. Oh well, my God! Yeah. It was a big Wait a second. A big deal. What let's see it. Well, let's see a replay. Came, that was in the hole. It came no, out. It caught the point going in. No, it was, it, I don't look at, I'm telling you, that looked Can like that ball was in the hole. I think I'm, I think I'm too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. Well, he sure missed it good. Yeah. This is going to really. Uh, I'd like to face this. Where are you, where are you putting this ball, guys? So this, yeah, this is an ex <laughs> Nice safe. Uh, yeah, I'm already thinking, oh, four railer. Uh, he wants to know. throw that stick he, so bad right now. I don't blame him. Can you Alex play a Bosch song? Alex talking about you. Huh? Alex Bosch is talking about you here. You and KC playing a partner's game in doubles and there's a snowstorm. I don't know. I don't remember at the moment. Uh, Rafael Martinez. Well, that's, about as, that's about as good as he see, could have done. See, Rafael. Rafael. We asked if it was the same one. He didn't, he didn't answer. No, this says Rafael Eduardo. No, no. It's this one. Up top? Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, he didn't respond when we asked him. Oh, right. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's uh, in Spanish. Hey, Clint, what's happening there, sir? He cut these right in, don't he, they? He yeah. did. He, he seen it right in. And he stood up as he was hitting it. And he still shot it right in the hole. Yep. Lutin gets another one. Have you been here since the start? Yes. So they started late. Yeah. Oh, yeah. did they? Yeah. Yeah, 940. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, I was wondering because I'm looking at the score. I'm eight, thinking they must have got started late. Like 840 or 850. Okay. Huh? I actually ordered a hot toddy. I wonder where that thing is. Hot toddy. I haven't had one in my life, but Carla said get one of those. Like a, mm -hmm. like oh, a, is that like a Jameson. With, is that like, for that like uh, ailment that you have? Yeah. Soothe little, your throat. Yeah, and... a little syphilis in the throat. Or whatever right, is, yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A little touch, a little touch of the simplest. <laughs> the bird, somebody, the bird flew anyway. Somebody said, somebody said they heard I was a good host, yeah, so <laughs> jumped on. Uh, That's you, bud. Well, I think Lucas will probably play safe in here. I don't see much reason to try to make that ball. They thought I had COVID, and when they tested me, it came out to be something else on that panel, something that they call human. They see it wasn't a, it wasn't an avian, right? It was a human influenza para para influenza number two. I said, well, that sounds about right. I feel like about a number two. So what do we got here, guys? Keep one, the one to the two is tricky, right? I'm trying to keep up with the chat. Going so fast, I can't. <clears throat> yeah, he'll, be, he'll, he'll get fine, except he got to worry a little about that pink ball. He oh, missed it. My goodness. Edry, Edry Vargas. He had the cue ball right where he wanted it, but he missed the shot. We're at Yale Billiards in Wallingford, Connecticut. <clears throat> Anybody within striking distance, I highly recommend you swing by. Beautiful room. Nice. I'd say that's nice that's penitentiary ball. right there. Nice cue ball. Edry, he, he's he's is, got a possible hit here. Two we're rails. Playing in uh, Connecticut, Edry. Yeah, I just told him that Yale oh, Yale Billiards Bowling for Connecticut. So he comes two rails on this he one. He has a good it. chance. Yeah, he could make it. All right. You know, I I'd be happy for the hit here. He really doesn't have to do much to it. No, it's a pretty natural. Yeah, he's not fighting anything. Oh, 
you know, we don't want to make it. No, the two balls the problem. Oh, you missed it. <clears throat> I was watching at home and something came up and, and you guys were right. There was three fouls. So are they not honoring three fouls? Actually, they're uh, not playing three Brian fouls. Brian went out there and um, Brian Brennan went out yeah. there and he was talking to people on the rail and they said these they're playing three fouls. Well, they missed one because that well, was definitely a three uh, would, three foul. That would be Lucas's fault. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He, funny how he lunges at the ball and still plays pretty good. He 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 goes forward. Yeah. He like lurches at it. Plays pretty good. Yes, he does. I think he's is he think thinking maybe, about the three ten? I think so. I don't see why else he'd be right there. Side pocket or down the corner? In the corner. Looks like he's measuring for the side. No, there's, mm. there's no side pocket I don't shot. think so. There's no nah, side pocket shot no there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice shot. How good did nice he hit shot. that? <laughs> Nicely he done. He hit it like he knew what he was doing. That he did. Okay, back to the live action, everybody. This is Brian the Kicking Chicken. I'm sitting here with Bobby Hunt and Bruce DeFranzo, guest commentator. What a treat, huh? Yeah, absolutely it is. <laughs> it is. It is. Mm -hmm. Mike, well, he's getting a little he's getting a little momentum, uh Wama. It'd be nice if we could have Larry in this booth with us. You just give him a mic, but we don't say a word. Temporary Irishman. <laughs> that was a great break. Look, Look at, at this. this. And the one doesn't go past the six. Wow. What do you make? Six balls on a break? Two, five. Four. That's a beautiful, beautiful break. Play ten. So what are you doing here? Are you trying to combo or are you no, just hide I them? I put the one up the top and the cue will try to get behind the six ball. You're saying we have to fix the score, Brian. Are you sleeping on the score? Well, I just came in, so I haven't been doing too much. What do we got? Uh, you got a bunch of, you know, you know, oh, Lama. Oh, you know what? I, I tried to give him 10. Is that what you're saying, guys? No, I didn't Let say Let me look at the PT. Somebody league. there says it's. Uh, let's, let's, we want to get. Let's zoom it in here. It's close. 13 11. 13 11. Okay. A little bit weak, but I like what he tried to do. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, you know what must Thank have happened? Thank you for telling us. Thank you very much. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby, uh, when he when he exited, he might not have gave that uh, mm -hmm. that game. I heard you guys were talking a little bit with Bobby about the uh, WPA situation and the Federal Gorse situation. I like your position on Federal Gorse. I love that kid, and I think uh, I think waiting another year might not uh, yeah. have been a bad thing because there's some people that are fighting and clawing trying to get that that last spot that's why i said it yeah i i think that's a not a bad not a bad position as far as the whole thing with the wpa it's nice to see these guys are abandoning you know abandoning ship because there's there was too many limited opportunities for professional pool players now for an agency to come in and say you can play our events, but you can't play all yeah. these other events. You're limiting these guys' opportunities. Yeah. And they've been limited for the last 25, 30 years. He's got the side cut if he wants to take that on. 
If he can play in the corner, I'd rather see him do that. Does it pass the nine? Yeah, that's, that's my point. If he can play, so. I, I can't tell. Let's look at the overhead and see what it's like. Yeah. If you shoot it in the side, you're going to yeah. go an awful long way to get good on the next ball. Yeah, you're turning wide and loose. Yeah. So did it look like it went past the nine? Oh, okay. I don't think so. I don't think it does. And yeah, maybe it's time for a safety. They like and share everybody out there if you could. Getting some pretty strong numbers here tonight. Is that Rayito? Yeah. What's happening there, Mr. Gomez? I was talking with Rob Cole a little earlier. I assume they make it a game, maybe. I don't, I can't read the language. Rob Paul had a nice pool. Must not have gone. No, oh, he's in trouble. He's in, in trouble now. Yeah, he, mm. he might be able to make this. I think I need to. That looks like he's playing safe for us. I don't know. Oh, you're right. They don't have to be really swap and save. Here we want lunging. The lunger. The lunge. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but I'll tell you what, he stays mighty accurate. There's nothing wrong with that ball. It's a forward move. It's a you know, you it's a forward move. It's a positive move through the ball. It's just an extension of it. That's all it is. It's not like jumping up in the middle of your shot. I think it's way better than jumping up. It's it's jump, way jump, better. Jump, jumping up is there's, there's nothing wrong with it. Very big. It's no just an extension yeah. of your, your stroke. I'll tell you who's to jump up like crazy was uh, this guy Ismael Pias. They called him <clears throat> Morrow, another West Coast guy. You remember him, Bobby? Yeah. Oh my God, he used to jump up like like the Jack in the Box. But he played pretty pretty high level pool. He's had a little week, but he's still shooting. Oh, not that week. He's at the 47 yard line. Yeah. <laughs> On these pockets, uh, you want to give yourself every every odd you can. He he said, I, yeah, that's the thing, man. He didn't even hit the points. This is the he blood left, test right he, here. He left, he, left, he, left Luke, he left Lucas the hanger. Flat on the rag. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. He's got, the, he's got the top maybe one-third of that ball to Let's, play. Hey, here's the blood test. Let's see how good we are. Let's see how good we're feeling it. Who wants action on this? I'd overcut it. I would overcut it even nine feet away. Oh, well, yeah. But, yeah, you go into that safety mode quick, don't you? You're yeah. very very conservative. I, I may hit get, this with a, a slow, you know, slow roll this. Bruce would never play this ball safe. He's going in on this every time, every time. It's a crossover bank shot, chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you miss it, you want to uh, overcut it. That's for sure. This is the blood test right here. He's thinking it over pretty good. <clears throat> I think you got to get up and just fire this in. I don't know. I guess it, it, it all depends on how you feel, you know? He can shoot this in. Like butter. Yeah. Wow. What a beauty. Yeah. I hear everybody out there giving them <clears throat> applause. Well, well deserved. Very nice. Anybody unfamiliar with where we're broadcasting from? This is Yale Billiards, Wallingford, Connecticut. Back to the live action. Oh no, he's just, he's practicing.
Would Lucas take a break? I guess he did. Yeah. What is the medicine in it? It's a Mentos. All right, back live, everybody. Lucas is breaking at 1411. I gotta go home and get my sleep. Hey, is he keeping me up? You're installing a pizza oven tomorrow? Look, don't worry about what I'm doing. What kind, of pizza, what kind of pizza oven? I can't anymore. I gotta get my sleep. I'm an old man. I'm 67 years old. Brian, you're the youngest guy in the booth. Yeah, asking guys for uh -oh. weight nowadays. Kevin, now he's had a discussion with somebody. <laughs> What's going on, Kevin? <laughs> Keep it clean. <laughs> Tom, Thank you, Kevin. Tom McCluskey, uh, six months ago, this table was springier than it is right now. It was really hard to play on. It had some It had some uh, unpredictable rails, yes, really. It were, a... were predictably challenging. The worst of it, I think, was the head, the head cushion. The top one. Was yeah, awesome. I think that was tough because it had a tendency to come out faster than it went in. I think the nose height was a little... That's a good looking stroke. Did he get far enough here? For what? To thrank it? Yeah, well, I'm saying to well, yeah, he wouldn't have even had a cut if he came high. Is that what he was uh, is that what he played for? I don't know. Looks like he's going back the other way with it. And he did. Nice I mean, speed. He that awful thin. 
Nice speed. Yeah, but he's uh, left them. He's not going to like what he comes back to. Wait, look at the way that, how sharp that came off the rail. Yeah, I think Lucas might have the whole ball. It's nice seeing uh, Brian. I was, I was waiting for that to go to the short rail. Came right off. It's nice seeing Mike Check's back. We haven't seen him in a while. Um, anything. Yeah, hey, Mike Check. Been nice to see you there, sir. Months since we've seen him. Yeah. So you guys were talking to Dominic Dunn? Yeah, he's now who's watching. A lot of people watching tonight. Oh boy, get that bad. Mm, gonna get punished for it. Oh. <clears throat> Last time he had the shot, he overcut it. He did. You see how it's he a little is. harder than this one, though. Mm. Nice yeah, cut. Good. My speed wasn't very good. Do it again. Yeah. This one will, will drop inside. Well, he shot it down pat. How'd you hit it? It's still bouncing. He hit it. They used to have they used to have dogs in Ireland called lurchers. You ever heard of them? Lurchers? No. They were kind of a little bit of a like a greyhound uh in them. Lurchers. The gypsies, the Irish gypsies would have those dogs. Did they hunt for chickens? I'm not sure what exactly. You know, I have to Google them things. Well, that was a pretty good decision. Man, that's not a whole ball. I don't know what good it is, though. Well, is Lucas going to try to use the seven as a blocker? I would try to use the seven and eight as a blocker. Put the cue ball on the six on that side of the table. Mm -hmm. and that's you know, it's not easy. You're saying hit it real thin on the left side. Yeah, real thin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real thin. Come back down, try to get behind us. He hit it pretty thick. Did he make the ball? Did he call? Did he call that? Oh, oh he didn't make it. Wow, oh, come close. It's a problem with that. You go in on it. So you're betting the game on a tough shot. Times the safe's just as hard though. Yeah, because you're pretty much figuring he's going to run out from here. You're going to make contact now with the tent? I think he bumps it towards the side, plays it in the side, Bruce. Because I don't want to see him jacking up trying to hit the top of it. He can hit the full. Ten, I guess. Shouldn't I, have I, to I, be, shouldn't have to no, do he, that. He shouldn't have to, but okay. So maybe tougher than slid than slid through there, but yeah, you don't want to bang into anything if you don't have to. Well, he draws one closer, I believe. <laughs> Lurch and all. And the way he jumps up, thirty years ago, he would have made a ton of money on the road. Yeah. Here's a word from one of our feature sponsors, Viking Cues. Back to the live action. Got Llama breaking at 12.14. Boy, he gave a little extra oomph into that one. Yeah, Brandon, we're talking about the same thing. He, the way he jumps up, uh, uh, surprising how good he plays doing it. I thought for short off that rail. Yeah. In hindsight, yeah, I'd say so. I thought so, even. 
You know, so many people here. Maybe it's getting a little wet out there. And Chris, I would imagine Lucas playing. This is his own pool. He's looking pretty good here. Yeah, almost perfect. Hey, Joanne, how are you? Hey, what's happening, Joanne? I haven't seen Joanne in a little while. No, we shouldn't go to Pullman at all. Joanne's chiming in? Yep. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Me and her have some pool memories. She beat me one day at Rainey's. I got to tell the damn story. She beat me up playing a set of nine ball. I got beat by a girl. Can you imagine that? Let me tell you. If that, that, that be was... honest with you, she beat me that day. It's not like she got lucky. She beat me. That was a big news flash a few years ago. <laughs> Nowadays, it's... Yeah, there's a lot of people that are meeting up with uh, Ashley and a whole bunch of uh, Filipino girls and Chinese girls. And... Ashley's birthday was yesterday. Oh, did she have a birthday? Happy birthday, Ashley. She's one of my favorite people in the uh, in the pool world. She's dedicated. Johnny I appreciate says, that. This guy's almost as good as Johnny Rosa. <laughs> yep, that's what Julian said. Who's Johnny Rosa? <laughs> Excuse me. Am I supposed to remember? Still, he's within that too. Even his jump, his breaking jumps up. Yeah, he's putting some power into it, that's for sure. At least didn't break as nicely. You know, he's going to like when he gets back to the table. No, I used to put these late nights in when I was a kid. I'm not kidding anymore. Gotta get up in the morning. I'm hanging around with you two, Daryl. Except, yeah. Yeah. Bobby, you only had to get up for a very short period of time in your life. Yeah, I try to forget those days. <laughs> Squeeze them out of your out of your memory. Those are the bleak years. Yeah. How's everything on the soccer uh, circuit? <laughs> Did you have one of those today? Yeah. How's it going there, Grampy? It was uh I told him he's like a soccer mom now. <laughs> I told him he should trade his car in for one of those minivans. Yeah. It's fun watching him play. Your your granddaughter's playing like messy? <laughs> or is it just messy? Uh, actually <laughs> wanna to play today with Lily and uh, plays pretty good. Yeah. Uh her sister is the one that Yesterday, during the middle of a game, he looked over. She was behind the bench doing those TikTok dances. Oh, nice. Very good. Father said if you... Was she videoing them to put them up? No. Oh, it's just, just okay. While their team is, is playing. Yeah. By the way, that was a pretty nice attempt at a carom on that uh, on that temple by Wama. And he's uh, giving it again, right back. Again. Goes, How you like me now? That was some yeah. beautiful. We're going to give him a boom. We're going to give good him a shot. replay. Yes, yes. We're going to even give him a, a bead for that. Wow. Fantastic. I want to be like him when I grow up. All right, he's up 15 to 13. Bruce, Bruce Patty, uh, my son, is asking a question. I can't see that, Bob. He said, Bruce, did you cry when Joey and kicked your butt? <laughs> I'm still crying, can't you tell? <laughs> I was just going to say that. He hasn't, apparently he hasn't stopped. You know? She scarred him pretty good, apparently. She got me. Well, I, I never had the pleasure, but I know, uh, um, and Bobby, you've you've mentioned this before, but uh, Jeannie Belukas <laughs> might, might have been the best ever female player. Might have been. I see this. Certainly. Tell Bruce, me good, you good, we play. <laughs> <It's a> Spanish <laughs> guy, that. 
I played one night at Carmody's out in front of the cue stick. You play, you play, <laughs> one thousand. Nice break, and he didn't make anything again. I think can a two go by the three? Let's take a look overhead. Uh, it does not look like it. No. What did you, what did you ask me? Maybe about? maybe a carom though. Oh, he's breaking it up right now. There you go. Now what? I think you can play safe now. I was just asking about about Jeannie Palukas, her ability. I mean, she Jeez. left a, she left a, a a few guys in her wake as well. Yeah, I, nice shot. Wow, nifty little stroke there. I don't think anyone played any better. Certainly, nobody played as well as Jeannie back in her prime. But nowadays, I guess the women play so much better than they used to. Jeannie was putting things into perspective, though. If Jean Belukas was playing nowadays with all the new equipment and everything. I think she'd be a monster. She'd be unbeatable. I think so. She was beating the guys back then. What girl's beating the guys? No. Anybody? There's a girl. Uh, what, um, Donnie, Donnie Mills, a great player on Florida, a player. This Asian girl went to down there last year, played in three sets, 2,500 a set, beat him oh. two out of three sets. Bobby was that Simming Chen? I don't remember who it was. I think it was Simming. I think that was Simming Chen. But I, that was yeah. the first time I ever changed my thoughts because I didn't, up till then I didn't think a woman could play a top American uh, pool player. Uh -huh. Yeah, this girl could and flat out knows. play. Yeah. I think at the time, Bob, wasn't she uh, right. like 16 or 17? That Simming Chen when, she, when she played Donnie? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's quite a good player. Oh, there's an opportunity for Lucas. Is he going to come with his left duke here? He plays pretty good left-handed. He, he plays real good left-handed. Then he can almost straight in, or he's going to have a problem getting good on the eight. That eight, nine, that ten's in the way. Looks good. I think you uh, got perfect there, young fella. This one, he's going to want to. He's going to want to draw this one back about a foot. No, I no, think he's no. going to want to roll forward he a couple inches. He wants dead straight in if he can or close to it. Yeah, that's what I mean. I should draw it back. Stop up. it. Well, I think he's drawing back a hair. Stop oh. it. And he's going to just roll forward now. All right, well, like to me, it looks like he's heading a little bit toward the uh, he went, side pocket. Yeah, oh, okay, he had better angle. He had yeah, better angle. He was laying perfect. All right, you guys, I'm going home. You later, Bruce. Good, good hanging good out luck, with you. Good luck on your job, and uh, nice to see you, sir. Congratulations yeah. on the baby. Oh, you yeah, that. how about Wait, that? Congrats. Bruce is saying something here. Yes, I remember that, Lance. I was shocked. I don't have to win when um, uh, Kevin Cora won the tournament over there. Oh, at Ultimate. Yeah. I know. I had the. I won. I had her in the Calcutta. I won. A, I I bought her for eight hundred, and I won eighteen. <laughs> I think. I think she came in second one year, not too long ago. I'll see you guys. Up at Turning Stone. Bruce. Take care. You remember that, Bob? I think Karen Cor came in second. I don't know if it was second, but it was really good. If maybe it was third, second, something it, like that. It was really good. If anybody out oh, there wait. remembers, you can. Uh, I missed what correct happened. Me. Lucas didn't get out. I'm sorry, we missed it. Saying goodbye to uh, yeah, Bruce Snuggles I... DeFranzo there. So how did he miss the 10? Oh. Slept all right, well, he's going to go all in on the yeah, bank here. I, I slept on that one. I thought it was a hanger. This is that David Alcady versus Alex Kazakis world championship shot. What do you do here? He said, I'm going to just go all in and I'm going to make it center cut. Let's see if Wama could do it. Well, I'll tell you, if they want to bet even money, you'll I'll do it all let, night long. I'll let it? him shoot it till I run out of money. Yeah. And Lucas is going to have a side pocket. No, you get away with it. No, he's going to have to bank it. I know you're playing safe here. Yeah. Lucas, no, will, no, Lucas no. will be tempted to play it. Good decision. Well, Thank you, Brian. Decision. Well, 
Well, I would be putting the 10 up the top on the nameplate. Yeah, that's very nice. Very nice. Well, you couldn't hear that much better. Yeah, he's got this speed down pretty if good. If you can get behind it, though, I'd call it the side. And, and, try and let to it lock release it. down by the counter. Yeah, yeah, down by the counter. Let's see if he can get behind it. Hey, you went crossed over it. Look at that speed. Also very nice. Well, you can't get behind this one. I have a spin shot right there I would have liked to play. Yeah, you got this one a little soft. I think Lucas will go in on this. Those Lucas, I'd be trying to overcut it maybe. Uh, yeah, well, that's it. If you're going to, don't miss it to the to the short short rail side. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. This is Brian the Kicking Chicken sitting here now with Bobby Hunt. You're watching the Yale Shark Stream, Yale Billiards, Wallingford, Connecticut. Well, first one to blink. Okay, Wama's back live, breaking at 14.15. We got a good one here. We never heard from uh, Colleen tonight, if she was watching. Huh. She must be up to no good. Good for her. All right, what do we got here? She knows everything. It's funny sometimes. Like Bruce. What do we got here? I don't know. I think he's going to jump, try to make it. But I don't see him getting very good on the three. No, he's going. So if you can't get on the three, I, I, don't, I don't see a reason to try to make this. He'll play safe on the three. He'll try to stop it or pull it back a little. Yeah, he, did, he did try to pull it back a little. Cliff, um, I see you saying that, Cliff, but how would you know unless she was watching with you? See? Mystery solved. That looks pretty good. He did a good job with that one. I want to grab that jump cue again, Lucas. This would be a little tougher, though. It's a little longer, longer jump. Yeah, and, the, and he's time stretched out a little. Oh, he's kicking, oh, he's kicking at it. Yeah. I like this better again. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty good, pretty good result. Yeah, but it left an easy save. Yeah, let go short rail and uh, yeah, use those two balls as blockers. I would think. So too. Nice speed. Oh, I would have hit it harder than that. You leaving? I thought he had. Balls. I thought he hit the right speed, but he didn't. Oh, no, he I, didn't. He didn't bounce out. He hit it hard enough to separate them. <clears throat> You know, if Lucas can make it in the corner, looks to me the cue ball's going towards the nine, and they'll be able to make the three next. I don't know. He's jacked up. I can't tell if he's if that's what he's shooting. Uh, I don't understand. Oh, thank you, Cliff. I don't understand why. This is a pretty, oh, boy, pretty easy kick in. I'd place. Well, I'm doing, but, but where's, your, where's your three ball shot? Yeah. He's got to get lucky, which he did. He certainly did. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm guessing he's going to just uh, go off the cushion and I would, in soft speed. I would hit it firm like a one-pocket well, shot. Well, if he's coming off of this rail, I'm oh, going yeah, to firm. Uh, for long, oh, I thought he was. Yeah, this one oh. I would do firm. Yeah, I, I think so. And this one he did soft. Same as it thought. And he left, yeah, he left something. He may not have it, but he's going to be able to hit it. That's a rail. 
left him straight in. In 1514. Yeah, now it's time to giddy up here. Yeah, it's relatively quiet. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Really appreciate it. This is Brian the Kickin' Chicken. I'm here with Bobby Hunt. Uh, that was a pretty good block. That looks awful good, yeah. Yeah, I don't like this one. Well, makes the five or whatever it is four. Looks like he's going to get it on the five. Yeah, should do. And if he misses it, he has what looks like a likely uh, block. Main thing is he wants to get that cue ball swung all the way around to be on the five. I'm guessing it'll come unless he puts inside. I guess it'll come two rails back at it, which he does, did. Very nice. Is the seven going to mess him up? No. Nice shot. Pretty much the same thing here. Enough steam. Think enough on it to look like it. No. He will go in on this bank. I suspect. Boy, oh boy. I, I suspect it wrong. Boy, oh, it's close. Yeah, I think he's going to have this. See up top. I don't know if he could spin that in, Bob. It's hard to tell. Yeah, he's thinking about it. I don't know if he does. Yeah, the ten's impeding him just enough. And now he's calling it in the side. He eats these for breakfast. He should be out here. I think just have a little funny angle to get to the seven. What happened? <clears throat> hey, if I could ask you guys, where are you tuning in from? Yeah, I jinxed them. <laughs> I jinxed him up pretty good. On Colorado. Mike Matthews basement. <laughs> Lewis, Georgia. We got a Georgia man. Yeah. Palm Beach, West Palm. Little Rock. Well, wow. in South Texas. North of Dallas. <laughs> Arrow. Very nice. I knew him, Brandon, back in Maryland, 15, 20 years ago, Alabama. Mike Checks from Alabama. I know a brand, but I can't think of him. Baltimore. Real good hustler. Cars and different things. Back again. Oh. I wonder if it's the same person. <laughs> Dominic, I'm not involved in jinxing anybody. No, it was me. I said that Lucas made those balls for breakfast. <laughs> they ate them for breakfast. Yeah, he's rolling too hard here. Yeah, I think he's got to put it on the counter. Always tough when you're jacking, making that shot. He went for it. 
in this thing. He hit it with good speed, though. Yeah, good speed. Careful. Okay. I think he'll do the same thing. Should probably nip it. Yeah, I would think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just going to keep nipping at it, I guess. Step on us. Be snookered. Brandon from Baltimore. See the one I used to play um, backgammon and pool? Oh. Hey, Jason Shearman, I think I've had a dealing with you before. I think we did. We might have just talked about it, but I, th I thought we did a, a Q transaction. Well, I liked uh, Brandon a little bit. I knew him. I was always happy to see, I used to see him at Derby City, but I was always happy to see him. I don't think we ever played, though. I think he was smarter than me. I'm good for him. Hope he's doing well. Yeah, on A's sake. In fact, Jason, I think I, I, I think if I have you uh, the right guy, I think you're in Florida, and uh, I've seen you play over at uh, Steinway. Lucas. All right, Lucas extends the lead, 16-14. Appreciate every one of you guys out there tuning in tonight. Enjoyable action match. I must have known uh, Brandon. It had to be 15 years ago, at least. I spent a lot of time around Maryland. Oh, God, the 80s, 90s, thousands. There wasn't a better area to play pool, I thought, certainly in this half of the country. <laughs> yeah, I, I when I saw you over at, uh, at Steinway, you were hitting them pretty good. I am sporty indeed. Alex says, let's go, baby. All right, baby's about to break of 16-14. Uh, Gary, Lucas plays in this table every single day. I don't think the table's going to bother him. He whacked him pretty good, and he ends up with another try break. I think he's got to pick another spot. I think he should realize that one. Yeah. He's got a poke. The great area of the country back in the 80s and 90s. Yeah, you've always said that, Bob. Oh, it was tremendous. Big table, small table. And everybody was, had money, everybody was playing. One of my favorite uh, Brandon's was not too far from there down in Virginia, which was Brandon Schuff. I always loved that guy's game. And he's a he's a very funny dude. Well, I haven't seen a whole bunch of him lately. That was a great shot right there. He just when he jumps up is so Oh it's it's shocking. unnerving, he right? He plays as good as he does. Yeah. But like I said, if you watch what he's doing, it's more of a lurch than actually I think if he was jumping up he'd be way inaccurate. Hey, Colleen. Oh, what is it? Checking you and me. Hey, oh, Colleen. Me. You got action. Step, step right up, Oscar. We'll give it. We'll give it a try.
you know, this guy doesn't keeps fighting, he's always in the close. I haven't been around for a couple of weeks. Has that Nascimento uh, gentleman been, been by here? Well, you haven't really been here either. The guy, the Spanish kid from down Fairfield, Bridgeport. Yeah. When the wore the big chain. The ones who had the red hat had the, the girlfriend that came watch him play. I don't know. I haven't been here. Yeah, you haven't been here either. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, this is the worst of it for him here, getting that seven to the eight. Is he going to go right into the uh, long rail, draw into the long rail? Yes, he did. That's Went a little bit far. Yeah, he got too much on it. Now he's going to make somewhat a really good shot. Yeah. And, yeah. He should be able to do it. Got to come three rails into position. You got to worry about that 10 ball. The big 10 ball, right? I bet he wishes he was two inches further off the cushion. Well, at least he's not on the cushion. Yeah. So he can get some stroke into it. All right. Well, that's it's going to be a pretty shot. Jacking up. That makes it a little tough. Yeah. That's if he's jacking up, he's trying to do two rails. No, he's going back to the high ball. He's got to do a high. I don't know. It's taking so long. Unless it's just a tough that's shot. Good. Must be careful. He knows how big that 10 ball is. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. And even if he didn't scratch, I wonder if he if he had enough uh, enough yeah, get by that. enough speed on it to get past that ten. What I didn't like there, my opinion, I, I thought he should have grabbed the ball for Lucas. No, he's not worried about that stuff. Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to smack his cue again. Yeah. Yeah, he gave that one up to Lucas. Whoa. That one kind of kind of brushed as it went in. Well, he's back, Bobby. Uh, he, he's back to what you talked about earlier, Bobby. He's uh, he's out of that comfort zone where Lucas has ran past his spot yeah. and went up three. And so psychologically, that's that's not a that's not a happy happy yeah. thought for him. The few other times when we were watching him play, I didn't see him have really any any uh, getting down on himself yeah. or any of those kind of psychological issues. And tonight's the first time. I didn't see him. So what exactly happened? You said he started whacking a stick. Uh, he threw his cue one time across the table. Threw up. Really didn't he bagged yeah. it? Uh, yeah. He did get a bunch of bad rolls in a row. The score was only like eight or nine games. Yeah. It was too early to be getting upset. I think the only time you should really start banging your cue hard and throwing it is if you have a very reliable sponsor. You know, <laughs> want to make sure you're going to get another one. All right, Lucas is breaking at 17-14. Let's take a look at it from Lucas's perspective. Is he moving? Is he, yeah, he's changing his spot finally. now, finally. Xavier, I believe the bet, was it eight apiece? I don't think so. They might have went up. All I saw was uh, 10 in the middle, and I knew that that was going to change a little bit. Yeah, I, 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 was, I think it was 8,000 apiece. Once again, Lucas uh, breaks dry. I haven't seen him break dry four times in a row like this. Uh, I can't even think oh. when. I think Lucas actually has this shot. And the two is waiting there if he can make it. Nice oh, shot this would be. Like oh, even probably try. a good idea. Yeah, he gave up the shot, but I don't think he can get back to the two at, at all. Maybe play safe again. I think so. Whoa. Whoa. 
escape that one. Yeah, see, I don't like this I, this choice because uh, Lucas makes it. He's automatically in position for the next ball. I don't think he's going to try to make it. Okay. He was in a tough spot. And I do like the decision. That was, a, that was a great shot. Uh, the, can the two go by to five? Four? We can. It was great. Let's see. Nope. Yes, they are playing table eight. Is he going to go in on the... I think he'll probably use the four as a stopper and go, if, yeah, if he can't go make, down table. If he can't make it. Yeah, because he does. I don't think he wants to try to combo with it being froze to the rail. Makes it makes it uh, quite a bit harder. They might. That's a good idea. I like the way he played that. Yeah, I would have played the other way. Used no, the four nice. as a stopper, but he played mm. it beautiful. Still, Lucas has this whole ball. Might stick him on the eight with the cue ball. Uh, maybe not with the nine there. It's getting warm in here, right? Yeah. Might have to tap off to Brian. Your turn to what? take attendance. I don't know why. Uh, How do you miss that one there? You... Got attendance, friends. Was he? Think about the three ball. What? He's going to come two rails into it, I think, right? No, I think he goes over there. Hello. Sitting pretty good. Yeah, you got a nice little tap there. But I just got the jack up a little bit on this one, which makes it a little bit tough. They get good on that four, but they're not worried about the side. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, you couldn't hit that much better. No, you just draw back and. Uh... Be good on that five side. Yeah, I wouldn't play for the side, but I know he would. Yeah, he got a little less desirable than he wanted to. You now we think he's going to probably go down and uh, yeah. back up a little. Oh, he missed that bad. Mohamed doesn't look as comfortable as I've see, seen him play in the, in the uh, previous matches. Because he's been chasing. Him. That's he's doing a whole lot of chasing. He's got those two games back quickly. This would be a nice shot if he could make. He gets this and gets good in the seven. Oh, um, well, I don't like the way he played it, but he can argue with success. Good shot. Yeah, but he's going to have to do a little bit to yeah. come around for this. I thought he would just bounce into the center. He made, made a really nice shot there. What's he going to do here? Just slide into the cross table and out? Yeah, I would think so. Don't do much with it, just make it. Beautiful. What's that? No, he didn't want to do that. I see somebody commenting in Spanish about Rayito and Lucas in the same sentence. I'd like to see that match up again. Earlier, Rayito said that come up here and play. Again. Oh, did he? That'd be great. That was a lot of fun when he came up. Well, until the very end. For them. <laughs> until the very end. Yeah. He let him, Lucas let him off the hook pretty uh The young man just wants to play. Even even if it doesn't benefit him. Uh -huh. Well, this is a little bit of a steep cut, but if you make it, you should uh, work. It should yeah, work yeah. out pretty good. Can't use that bridge. 
Yeah, I think he's the big favorite. Oh, we've got an extender. Music. It's just so hot here, Brian. Yeah, I don't know. I can't open the door. I'm going to take a power break. Let's do it. <laughs> Earlier they had the air on. I wonder why it's off. I don't yeah. know. Brian says something to Bobby about it. It was on for a few minutes. What's how he uses the bridge? Why is he? Oh, he's got his elbow down. Yeah, look at, I've never seen. Yeah. Oh, he's got it on his shoulder. See it? Yeah, that's odd. It must be his own bridge. Yeah. Oh boy. You like to see them pin it down to the uh, table. It doesn't look comfortable. I don't even know what he's doing now. Yeah, it looks real awkward. He's hitting this one so thin, he's probably going to have to figure Go down up, the, down, and yeah. back up a little bit again. Wait. Not Wait. look comfortable. No. In a nice shot. Too hard, I think. Yeah, he overran it a little bit. I didn't think he was going to hit it hard enough. He went three feet too far. Oh, I don't care about that stuff. Is he going to play up top or are going to go into the side? I shoot in the side, but oh, these guys pocket better than I do. So you like the added possibility if you miss, it might get safe. Yeah, you got a chance of getting away with it. I hit it center. Dead center cut. Very nice. Four, 15 again. Back to the live action. Okay, well, he's got enough blockers, it looks like. I don't know if Lucas has the edge of that ball. I think he's trying to mess it. Yep, though. Okay, so Ramos Juan is going to have that. Yeah, I think we'll be with you in a second. Okay, we're back live. Hmm? I'm more game. I know. In here, they're long games. 
yeah, it's interesting when you're when you're playing them, they go by a little quicker. Yeah, they don't. What are you thinking, Dave? He's gonna kick his ass. Yeah, Lucas's dad. He's uh he's got his money on Lucas. I wish I had money. <laughs> Me too, man. Well, he got a little funny on that. Yeah, ball. he's come up short on this eight ball position. Too bad. That's gonna come. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Comes <laughs> playing for the side pocket. Yeah, well, that, exactly, Bob. All he right? did was make it a corner. Yep. And it would have been a hanger either corner. They try to play for the side, and that's too often. Too, too exact. It happens yeah. too often. I don't like his entourage. People don't like to clap. Oh. Are they clapping after the match? Yeah, okay. they were clapping. Oh. It's a, I, they, don't, they don't even know what insults are. I, I told them, I said, I have a, I have a monkey with I have a monkey with symbols at a mom's house. I can bring it here and do the same thing. Yeah, maybe when they play, they act that way. We don't. Uh, let's see. Well, he didn't hit that uh, hard enough for a good safety. No. That'd be coming a good shot to get him to nine, though. Yeah. Want to come in here? I'm just, I'm just watching. Make sure the monitor is doing it. All right, well, got to come with a good one here. Yeah, because he's going away from the nine ball. After he, if he makes the A's. But what about that? Where are you standing now? What about coming out of that pocket? Nicely done. Oh, I get that nice. Very nice. And he's got the angle to drag up. Got to be willing to hit it. Willing to get by that side. Dog it at all. It's going to scratch. Yeah, you might scratch. That's right. We got Lucas's father in here. Do you have any questions? Nicely done. Still doesn't look smooth, but he gets out. Long way to go. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, I'm going to draw us to within one. He'll be breaking at 16 17. Long way. Salado is the world's premier pool community. Playing your friends has never been more fun. Raise the bar with Salado so regular practice can become real pressure. With monthly prizes and cash payouts, Salado brings pool to the people. You can even submit match results to Fargo Rate through Salado if you want, but you don't have to. Your race, your place. Make your matches count with Salado. Download now and get started. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Wama's breaking at 1617. You know, I was standing when he uh, last break. When he hits him, it makes quite a lot of sound. You know, he, 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 gets a, a, he gets his body into it. Putting a whole nothing, lot of, a whole lot of body like into it. Scratch out. But, you know, neither one of these guys have broken. Lucas broke good early. Yeah. Well, there was the one break we watched yeah, this uh, Wama make, what was it, four or five yeah, balls? Yeah, but in the last, yeah. he had no shot. Yeah. In the last few hours, they, have been, they haven't been breaking. Lucas has been dry breaking uh, quite a bit. And he was breaking bit. great that yeah. first uh, hour. So you said man, the conditions might have changed. I think so. There's so many people out there. There was. Let's see. He playing at the corner. He's playing safe. Oh, wow. Should have played safe. I think he played it like that. I didn't see a real good save. In there. Is this guy thinking about the. No, he, he don't have the angle for a 10 to. Yeah. He might come back across and back again. And a tough shot. Yeah, I think he tried to try to run out. I think I would try to bump up it with a three here. That's even better. Yeah, he's good. Wow, I came off the rail farther than I expected. Wow. And I, I just dropped back six. a little for the three. Well, ball, four ball is going to be a little bit complicated, and that, that might be why he's, he's playing the 10 now. That yeah. might be why he's looking to make the early 10, because the four didn't have a home. I think he got too much strong. He said something to someone that was behind him. Well, to your advice earlier, Bobby, we don't know you, you don't roll it slow. Get that mm -hmm. ball out of there if you miss. I think he's a favorite to Jeez. make it. He didn't roll it, Brian. There was no roll there. Wow. He, like he, he tied the ball game up. We got action, 17-17. Yeah. Is this going hell hell? Of no course way. it is. We just, no, <laughs> we do so many matches that go hell hell. It's, no way. It's 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 bizarre how many times that happens. No way. Yeah. Hope you're right. My prediction, 27 to 21. Wow. Right. Well, that, that's a pretty big gap. We shall see. 
I'm not good at predicting nothing. <laughs> Neither am I, Dave. For anybody that tuned in a little bit late, uh, the game is a race to 27, and Lucas did spot Wama 2 2 on the uh, wire. And that's already included in the score. Spotted at all. Okay, so Wama's breaking, tied 17 17. Is Brian the kick and chicken? 739. Yep. Brian the kick and chicken sitting here with Bobby Hunt and Dave Werner. Lucas's dad. Well, he got kicked in. He scratched. And it was a pretty good break otherwise. He still didn't make any pretty Didn't good. make a ball, but he's got a good spread here. They're not breaking making balls lately. No, I'm not used to. Well, the two to the three is gonna be a, a, a little bit of a challenge. But no tie ups. Somebody he doesn't think the one two one three right now. I think he doesn't because it looks like the one will go up this way after Yeah, he, it's exactly why he's not doing it. They get past the four balls and the problem. He had to get that pretty good game. At least he takes the four out of play. It's the seven. It's the seven. Oh boy. Get rid of the seven. Oh, oh, I, well, now he's got a safety. He or car not the carom's not on. Got a pretty easy save. Yeah, just lock him up. Actually, seven. what would be nice too is going to put the three on the five. So it gives him, oh, he's playing for the carom. If I do this, I'd use a little bit of right hand spin. You think that carom? No, he goes, but it's tough. This is a flow of mine. I think he is. I think he is. I, I wouldn't hit that hard. He brought the three back in the play. Yeah. If he left it, I'd just slow roll it yeah, and lock up. And on the next shot, he could have played it again. Because it's pretty yeah, you don't even see it. Oh, did you get him? Oh, nice shot. He got him. Get to the left of the monitor. I guess that little tiny angle where the, uh, well, that's the importance of freezing somebody to yeah. a ball. That was nice. He took off an angle. It looked like he had it. Let's take a look overhead, see how. It looks like they kicks from the little short. Oh, yeah, he had a lock. Nice hit. Definitely a nice hit. Sure was. It's a bouncy table right now. But and look where he leaves him. The tree topper. Yeah, he'll probably get in the side. I think he might even, he might even play safe. Yeah, use the eight as a blocker, right? Yeah, because it's not like well, you can get a real. Now he did. Just barely. Just barely. He's going to make it tough on him. Did he hit it? Going to kick from behind, maybe. Maybe if he can't hit it, yeah. Oh, he got it. Oh, he had the ball. Oh, he left him a shot. A shot. Come on, throw your stick again. I need some entertainment. Very nice Some shot, Lucas. That's a really nice shot. Oops. Yeah, they made that thing look brand new. That's, that that table, that table looks brand new. Yeah. Really does look nice on the monitor. Yeah, on the monitor, yeah. You just happen to notice uh, the uh, tournament adjacent the room. How nice those new tables look. Oh, the monitors look beautiful. Yeah. I didn't see it in person, but it really does look nice. Looks like the lighting was pretty good too. Okay, you, yeah, the, the rassons are. Going to be tough to table those to deal with. Are they? Yeah. I've heard that from a few people. They're they're tight tables. Nice shot. Lucas. That's a beautiful shot. At just the right angle, he will drift down for the side shot. He's mad at himself right now. Been seventeen, seventeen. I would have played. He's that. telling that ball to slow down. Yeah, I would have played it for his. Goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get in trouble forward sides. No, but. Well, he's got a kick at it, I think. Yeah. Does too. he have enough of a, can he swerve it? You know, mm. even if he can swerve it, where's the cue ball going? Oh, yeah, you lose it. Right towards that corner hand. pocket. Yeah. It's mm. such a, so much against playing field side. It cost him on this mm -hmm. one. It cost 10 minutes. Twice to get in trouble on sound shots. Mm -hmm. Just hit it, Lucas. Don't, don't worry about it. Just hit it. Don't give him ball in the end. I think if he tries to kick it, he's got to do it with speed. 
just in case he gets lucky to make it. Two will still got to come back on his, to the side to get on the nine. Yeah. It's tough queuing if he wants to go across the short way. Oh, you're right. I might, I might come two, ra two rails. Get a jack over the point. Uh, I'd, I'd be hitting down by the counter two rails and try to get some separation. Yeah, yeah hit it with some pace and try to hit it pretty full. Let's see what's good coming for this. No, he's in trouble. And talk about, again, back to the psychology of the game. You know, the momentum is going to yeah. be switching back over to uh, Llama here. Earlier, I was just going to run right over him. Played so good for about an hour. And the other guy was banging his cue. Yeah. It surprised me. He got that upset. It was great. That quickly. What's going on here? He's playing two rails. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe keep on right there. Right? Mm -hmm. He's got to hit it firm because he doesn't want to be next to it when the shot's over. I actually got this ball in the tournament in a, a game. People were like mad at me. <laughs> I went one, two, inside. I couldn't believe I got it. Yeah, he hits it. I'm going to go away. <laughs> Didn't hit it with a lot of pace. Oh, hey, we should hit it. Ball in hand. Yeah, anything's better than ball in hand. Yeah. Oh. Well, I think he had enough backwards on that one. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. I would have probably thrown it around. <laughs> it, looked, it looked like you wouldn't yeah, be fighting it, right? Yeah. It, See, Matt, now that Lucas is down, this is just going to motivate him more. I hope so. That is pretty automatic here. He went to Pennsylvania and he, was, he lost his first match and he came back and took second place. Oh. It's a lot of pool in the loser bracket. Yeah. Yeah, the long way. Yeah. Yeah. He missed his shot earlier on the nine, on the ten. It's a couple of them. Well, that's Bobby's pocket of truth right there. Can get you, but it didn't get him that time. Well, he puts it. Yeah, he... makes you hold your breath. Okay, Wamet well, takes the lead. I don't know. If, is this his first lead since he had the spot at the beginning? No, he or was ahead. Back like, and forth. He was ahead about five to one. I was about to clap gonna, him. He was ahead. I'm going to throw this telephone right in the ocean. I don't know. How, I really, I don't know how how to stop it from making phone calls in my pocket. What's going on? Hey, yeah, what's up? Hey, how are you, man? We're down to a race to 10. Yeah. Yeah. They're playing a nice, quick speed. Yeah. Well, uh, they they definitely have the pace, but I don't know. I was just checking in. Are you guys uh, good for the rest of this? or Because if not, I'm going to go home and watch for my PJs on my sofa. Oh. <laughs> you guys are good? Yeah. yeah. Thank sure. you, Brian. Bye, good Brian. Man. Have a good night. Don't worry. You'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> Second shift, yeah. No, every time they play, they always... He gets all cocky and says, yeah, let's do it tomorrow. Well, it's nice to have this action around. Love it. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. This is Brian the Kicking Chicken. Pleasure. We're enjoying this match sitting here with Bobby Hunt and Dave Werner, Lucas's dad. Yeah, Lucas's music on. They're giving us our money's worth. Matter of fact, I think you got to pull that door closed because that, that music kills the microphones. Yeah. Yeah. Is he getting up? Oh, he can go forward, play the two in the other corner. I guess I don't see Yeah, it looks chance. like, yeah. He oh. didn't get it. He didn't get it. Yeah, he didn't get it. Come on. Can he hit the edge of it? Maybe. He didn't want to kick this if he doesn't have to. He must be able to hit at least. Yeah. Looks like he, looks like he could just better it. Is he going to go through those balls? Is he going to hit right into the seven? Go above the seven. Are you trying to make it? Oh. Wait, bounced off that way. Look at that touch. Oh, yeah. I like that. Very nice. You might be able to swerve it. Can you see if Lucas has his like headphones in? I did. I noticed that, yeah. Does he have his headphones in? Yeah, he. I saw his ear. He had the... Uh... And they're playing his music. He's coming out, yeah. 
I thought he had the headphones in so he could. This is probably what he was listening to. Miss it. Yeah, he uh, he hasn't missed yeah. many hits. No, he's he's good. He's a very good uh, good kick kick he's kick a shot. Very good person. He's, he doesn't. I mean, I don't understand what the hell he's saying, but <laughs> I'm probably sure he's normal. Oh, a hateful one, and he was. That's a nine ball. That's a nice ball. That's nice. Seven balls blocking. Yeah. I think it. Oh, eight, yeah. And he did. Yeah, he left that just two ball right inside pocket. Yeah, he still got his earphones in. Whoever put this music in for him. Yeah, Dave, that actually has to get pulled. Yeah. Nice shot. I mean, that's like the four balls are pink. Yeah. I always get screwed up with that. So do I. I've been doing this for two years. Mm. I still make mistakes because of the colors. I play playoffs at it snap. I play playoffs at snaps, and I got three balls. Hey, what? I got three balls. I scratched on the break, and oh. I, got, I ran five balls. Five, five racks. Well, that safe looks pretty good. Can he get by the seven? I think he might be able to get behind the five. You know, come behind a uh, rail first kick and stick, I think. Mm -hmm. Am I seeing it wrong? Let's take a look overhead. See, up. maybe, maybe I'm. He's tying up. The oh way. no, this is yeah. No, he's this is. Tie it up. Let's see what this does. Give it to him. Four. Yeah, five, it, it, look, it, look, it looks like the seven shot will be able to. Yeah, I think so too. Break break that uh, nine ten up. I thought he had a decent shot of hitting that, uh, making a hit on that six ball. Oh, five ball. He's got to try to bounce out farther than he is right now. Very nice. Because it's come a long way. Yeah. Good player. I was just... Can't tell that he got out far enough. It's close. I think. It, yeah. I think. He, I think he has an angle to brush it. He wants to pop it. Yeah. Get those balls separate. Oh, we had a whole oh, bunch right. of it. But look! Look what oh, happened. He you don't think he can make it? Well, down here, it doesn't look like he can make it. It seems like he's... Well, he's shooting right at it. Oh, good. Okay. So that's what he was. Oh, the eight ball. Okay. It, it, yeah, nice yeah, shot. I didn't even see the eight ball. <laughs> like the, the nine ball. I'm like, oh, my God, that's we, a terrible shot. We do it over and over, Dave. Yeah. His black stripes are tough. Well, he's going to get this game back. There you go. The 18-18? Yeah. Okay, we got action again, 1818. Oh Okay, back to the live action. We're all tied up. Lucas breaking 1818. Go, Lucas. He made a ball. He didn't have a shot. Oh, he got a bad kick. And wow. now he's kind of tied up. Oh, it was a little trouble, too. And that was a bad kick because that was laying pretty good when he first hit it. He's going to jump it. He's going to play the save. Think he can stretch far enough to jump that? Oh yeah. Yeah, I do too. I think he can. He, he loves, he he loves jumping. To, he's gonna just push out. I want to see Lucas on the Moscone Cup? I really do. There's a lot of people that do. Fedor wants to see him on the Moscone Cup. 
told me in Virginia. And Federer, Federer's going to make an amazing addition to the to the Moscone Team USA, but I agree with Bob. It's really safe. Seems like they could have held up one 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 yeah. uh, one season. Okay. Nice speed. Very nice. Well, look, is it like a grasshopper for jumping? Yeah, he's looking. Yeah, he's looking for his short stick. Side pipe is he going to call? Oh, he's going to go that way. Look. Oh, what the hell happened to me if he's shooting this good? I don't love jumping the shot. Give the generation. You're really guessing where it's going to wind up. Yeah. You couldn't really win with it, but you could get hurt. Oh, no. It's so, in. Don't go in. Yeah, you get... I mean, there's no future. Well, no, it's not bad because. It's, yeah, I mean, it's going to have his choice. Work with the two balls. Yeah. Makes it pretty safe. I'm know. surprised he gave it back. It was his shot. Are you surprised? I'm surprised that he gave it back. I mean, there's a, a safety opportunity. Well, I think oh, shot. the other guy got lucky and made it, right? So it's up to Lucas who shoots next. Oh, that was... Oh, no, Lucas. Lucas. Oh, you're right. Then I am, too. Yeah, no, no. It, Mama had oh, his, boy, he, he didn't get it. Oh, he must I guess he made the right choice. He must have been tougher than him. Than yeah, it, yeah, it had to be. I thought he had the uh, Yeah, I thought he hit. Had the whole edge of the ball. Well, and he fixed oh. the problem. How about that? The 8 9 are not good. Combination looks pretty easy though. Yeah. But I don't I don't like any combination. I hate combinations. I hate combinations like I hate his red hat. <laughs> it's like a he looks like Elmer Foot. I think he shoots a little better than Elmer. Yeah, I just can't yeah. get I can't get away the stroke. Play so good with it. Waska we Lucas. That six is it. That six is like transparent over there. It is the key. Yep, this is the one. Yeah, does he have angle to come down table? No, I think he's going to draw it straight back to that rail. Okay. Then he will play the uh, combo. And we'll see. I would have thought he'd get a little farther down. Want to be closer, right? Yeah, because you got to control the eight ball. Well, that's the thing. Him staying good on the eight yeah. is going to be a, 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 a challenge. He didn't want to be on the rail because all you can do is hit topspin. He's going to be careful to 10. Wow, he hit it hard. I would have rolled it. And look how he comes out. It came out pretty good. I guess you can't fault that, but it was an awful fortunate roll. I think he'll just slide down middle table and hit the rail Get in the back. back to the center, yeah. Just like so. Whoa. Came a little soft, yeah, but he should he, be okay. He, he missed one of these earlier, yeah. but it was a little less steep than this. I'm sorry, it was a little more steep than this. I think Bruce called it the 47-yard line. This is a bit easier. Okay, he went ahead again. You might have just taken a break, Brian. Oh, he's on break? Okay, I think we'll go to a commercial here.
Okay, back live. We got Wama, excuse me, Wama breaking at 1918. Is the three ball combo available? Or is that the one stuck by the corner pocket? It's the one by the corner. Oh, okay, so he's gonna have to push. We haven't had anyone talk in the chat. Well, he's, looking, he's looking to he's yeah. looking to play safe. Gonna roll that. Thank you. Oh. Tried to hold it. Hey everybody, if you could like and share, donate if you're so inclined. Keep this good shark stream content coming your way. No, you don't need much. That was a nice shot. It's a big ball right there. He, he almost looks like he can play, and if he makes it, he has automatic position. Yeah. Go. What do you mean, go rail first? Off the long rail, rail yeah, yeah, with a running English. I mean, yeah. it's not an easy shot, but you get a chance. Uh, he just plays safe. Lucas gets to take it over. That was quite a good break, actually, because this is this is runnable. He does break them hard. The first ball is the worst of it here. He's got a little funny getting on the three. They hit a little stroke. Ball must go in the corner. Yeah, past the eight. I didn't think or it is at the eight or the ten. The ten. That's the ten? On the spot, yeah. Mm. I, I believe so, yeah. I see a blue ring around it. I think he can just drop into position for this four ball pretty good. I think he's gonna draw it back now. Yeah. I don't want to get straight again. Stuff on himself. Yeah, where's this going? Oh, yeah. did he get the Anderson window? I think so. If he did. He was lucky. Must be close though. Yeah, he's looking at it a long time. And nobody's commented in over half an hour. Oh, is that true? Yeah. We lost the chat? No. Hey, no. anybody out there, if you could hear us, please uh, say hello. Let us know that the chat's still working well. He had more than enough. Hey, you might be right. I feel we might have lost our chat. No, I think people just aren't talking. Oh, here we go. Chat's working. Okay, those two guys are on YouTube. Thank Is anybody you. anybody from Facebook? Uh, if you could say hello, appreciate it. Might be we're missing uh, missing Facebook. I think he would have liked to have gotten a little closer. It kind of died off that rail right there.
Get that Lama's back. making a move. Yeah, he got two games back. The momentum's coming his way. In his mind, he got back four or five games. What's going on with the scores here? Twenty to eighteen. That's what I got. All right, well, I was breaking up twenty eighteen. Did you make anything? I don't think so. No, four eight. Now let's see, Lucas. One, a little window on the email. A little careful. Play shoes quick. I like the way you played that. Yes, it's confirmed. Our Facebook is down, so bear with us a moment, and we'll get that back up and wow. running right in there. How'd that ball go that far? It wouldn't stop. Oh, my. I didn't even think it was going to be within two diamonds of it. Should hit. Oh, it's too late for replay. Man, that went long. Well, nothing preventing him from getting out here. They made it a little tougher than he wanted. Right, right out of the gate. Yeah. Got a ball in hand. He should be perfect on this ball. Well, he might be going into something here. I would think he would hit like all right and just get back to the middle. Okay, yeah. he missed it. Good recovery. It's a little more adventurous than he wanted. Now he's got to avoid the eight. It made it a little tougher than he would have liked. Yeah. No. I think he went. Maybe he played it perfect. It might work out pretty good with this nine ball where it is. He's going to make it a three point lead. Yeah. Nice out. Okay, well, Lama's turned it around pretty good. He's up uh, three at breaking at 2118. Well, we got a little bit of a back cut. Actually, it might go past the six. I think it does if he wants to shoot it into that corner. That works. Then he can play the three. Oh, it's going the other way. He's going to back cut it. Okay. Yeah, I think I played the three in the same pocket. Okay. You just got there. Well, I mean, I don't see any problems with this. 
five, six. Except for going back and forth a lot. It, it really is uh, surprising me how good he can play with that stroke and the way he jumps out. Oh, boy. Now, you might have put the jinx on him. Gave him a nice compliment. And... Yeah. Oh, kind of a nice compliment. Clean save. Not a bad choice. Yeah, I've never seen that. He, he, he ran just a one ball too many rotations. Oh, he hit that good. Hit halfway beautiful. to my car, and they said I should try and see if I can fix your comments. No lights on? No, you you leave this door open where everything's good. Oh, thank you. Want the uh, yeah, I sit there for a moment. Sure. Want the inside fix on? No, I'm fine right there. I just I'm gonna try and get your comments going again thank before I leave. Much. Thank you very much. There's the mics nice. anyway. There we go. It's a dumb question to ask why these things happen. I guess glitches happen, right? Yeah, I mean, the internet's a funny place, so things can happen. Okay. And Brennan to the rescue. Yeah, I'm doing the best I can, but I don't know if I can get it to reconnect. Chat. Without interrupting the stream, anyway. Yeah. It might be. It might be worth it if we have to. Yeah, we still have four hundred and fifty people tuned in. All right, Lucas gets one back. Am I okay to uh, score? Go ahead. Well, that only controls whether or not it shows up in the corner. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks for filling in for me for a while. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think I was going to come. I uh, I'm on the tail end of this. Uh, never mm. even heard of it. Human. It's it, no, no. I'm, I'm <laughs> like, no, no, no. Listen, I'm on day thirteen. I'm not. I'm not contagious. I was gonna say, hopefully, you're out of no, contagious. I'm, I'm, if I feel sick tomorrow, I'm, Brian, I'm, I'm coming at you. I'm, I'm not that guy. I would never do that. <laughs> I am Mr. Considerate with that stuff. It's all good. Let's see. That's the new restream password. Yeah, Bob said not to uh, not to shut the stream down. No, I don't think shutting the stream down is a good solution. I'm just trying to get this system to log back into the comments section. Get it to do that. I think we updated the password. TV It's being a pain in the butt. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like I can get. Without shutting the stream down, I can get the Facebook feed because right now there's some kind of Facebook error that we're getting. So unfortunately, Facebook comments will still show up in the booth, but they will not show up on the stream. So what? What? Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna open up this guy here. Okay. 
And what will that do? Well, I'm hoping if I leave this window open. If you're on Facebook, go ahead and throw us a chat comment real quick. Am I on mute or no? You oh, chat sorry. off. Oh. The mic's still on. This is chat. And that just changes the chat. The mic is live. You can actually see by looking at the oh yeah, I'll bars up there. Uh, let's see if I can send us a Facebook comment. You can see. Oh, were you asking me to do that? I no, I was I... just going to do that real quick. I got it. Oh, you can see it on your phone. On okay. your phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to do is get a way for you to see it on the screen. So that means it'll actually work for the viewers. They could take it. Uh... Well, the viewers will still be able to talk to you guys if I can do this right. But it won't show up in the video. I, I, but, but on their screen it will or no? It'll show up. Oh, they can still read all the comments oh, okay, that are showing okay. at home. But you need to be able to see them yourselves to interact with gotcha, our gotcha. many viewers. All right. So here's how it's going to work from now on. This 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 window here that has this icon. Do you see where I'm pointing? The little Mercedes looking thing. This the, yeah, this little guy here. Mm -hmm. That is this web page. So the comments will show up over here. Okay. So we'll just we'll just limp along and that I way think, for the rest uh, of the night. If I shrink this window a little bit. You're going to have to because it, it would require starting. Yeah, that's okay. Or starting and stopping the stream, and Bobby doesn't want that. So we can handle that. So here's how we're, here's how we're going to work around it. These are the Facebook comments right okay. here. That would make me mad. So you can sort of see if you ever see, like, I don't know how many people are still talking Spanish, but you can actually click on C translation sometimes. Right. Yep. Yep. So you still have your preview screen, you still have the comments section. He's too likable. All right, so this is what you're going to use for the comment section. If you click on anything, let's say you click up here, it's going to want to vanish. Well, I won't click anything here. I, you know. But in order to get this back, if for some reason you click somewhere, okay, just click on this little green and blue icon right here. Okay. So, like, let's say that happens, you yep. can't see anything like, anymore. But if you click here, it then that it. window will come back. Okay. Okay. So now you can see the IT specialist saves the day, Kevin Malley, uh, vamos. All right, and then here's the other thing. I don't, looks like Facebook's not doing the translation thing. The IT spent, all right, so you can actually see by clicking on get translation, you can actually see the Spanish translations, but this is the only thing we can do right now. You'll be able to see what, what they're YouTube? saying. What about YouTube? YouTube and Facebook, well, YouTube will still come up on here because it's still connected on here. Just that one, okay. Yep, so you'll be able to see that in this little general area. Okay, but not it won't be. It won't, this is only Facebook comments. All right, all right. But there's like ten times more Facebook comments than there is yep. the other one. Yep. So you, as long as, like I said, if you, we're just gonna click here, so you have the projector. You can doodle and stuff if you want. But this window, like I said, if it disappears for some reason, just this, this is the button you want to click. The on. one just to the left. That's of it, the, right there. Yep. Nuclear. <laughs> Very good. So YouTube will show up in this area. Got it. And the other one will show up. Their Facebook will show up here. Yeah, and those ones just stay for a moment and then they, they only disappear. stay for like thirty okay. seconds and then they disappear. No, no problem. I appreciate it. Ah, no problem. We'll, we'll limp along this way. Right, well, Thank you. Give it hell. It looks like something disconnected, but there's nothing we can do about it without starting the stream over. Got it. Thank cool. you. All right. Did I go find Bobby? Did he run away? I don't know. If you see him out there, just tell him to come out there. Thank you. All right, everybody, you heard the whole conversation. We had a problem with our Facebook chat, and it went down, and so we've got a, uh, a reasonable facsimile we could look at for this uh, the rest of the way. Lucas gets another one. So he'll be breaking at 20 to 21. Salado is the world's premier pool community. Playing your friends has never been more fun. Raise the bar with Salado so regular practice can become real pressure. With monthly prizes and cash payouts, Salado brings pool to the people. You can even submit match results to Fargo Rate through Salado if you want, but you don't have to. Your race, your place. 
Make your matches count with Salado. Download now and get started. No minimum play per month. Eight, nine, ten ball. You choose. It all counts. Okay, Lucas is breaking at 20 to 21. Thanks for bearing with us. We had a couple of uh, little IT issues. Brian Brennan, they lassoed him on the way in the parking lot to his car, and he was able to get back in here. Thank you, Brian, for getting us set back up. Looks like another uh, another dry break, right? Yeah, made some. Did he make? Oh yeah, one ball down. Mm -hmm. Five ball. Well, he's got a good good first shot. Leads to the uh, two ball that's hanging. Three balls down the same neighborhood. Absolutely. I think the seven balls is the issue, right? Yeah, it's tough. He looks like he's already trying to take a yeah, I'd be looking take at, a whack at it now. Well, I wouldn't think I'd be trying to do it off the six ball. It's, it's easy to get from the four to the six. He breaks it now. He's got to hit it pretty hard, but he doesn't get behind those balls. Well, valiant effort. And you're right. I mean, he might have got stuck behind the seven. The speed he hit it with, he, yeah. had, he had a good chance of getting stuck. Yeah, I was, I was out there watching, and the table sounds a little dead now. Oh, yeah? A little bit. Maybe, maybe it's just acoustics. There's nobody in the place. Right. Well, he's in good shape. I mean, really, to, he's he's eyeing up where he wants to be to get the breakout shot on the seven. Basically, going to just come underneath the ten ball. And that's pretty good. Yeah, Lance, I'm not looking to hang around all night here. I'm hoping it's over by then. Hey, Crystal, this is Brian the Kickin' Chicken sitting here with Bobby Hunt. Bobby was in here with uh, Brian Brennan was covering for me early. I wasn't sure I was going to make it over. Finishing up with a little touch of the flu. He just can't roll this. He's got to hit it. Why is he using inside? I'm not sure why he did that. He went for the bank shot. I thought it was laying pretty good for the uh, break shot. Yeah. Well, we'll find out now. You know, and making this bank, he's not guaranteed to get up. Well, it'll be tough on the eight. What if he's, he's going to go just go all out safety? I, I don't know. It, Try to get him behind the eight ball, maybe. He was looking at it like he was. No, he's perfect. Nice shot. <laughs> he's shrugging his shoulders, but I think he's good. So what, why is he upset? I know it goes. I, I think it, it just didn't go where he wanted it to, but he's good. Well, barring a disaster, I think we're going to have another tie ball game. And we do, 21 all.
Okay, back to the live action. Lucas eyed it up, breaking 21-21. Somebody in the uh, chat says, back it and stack it? <laughs> We've had this conversation a few times recently. I say, I'll uh, back it and put it in drive and drive it. Oh, I made a ball. No, I got on my, oh God, look at that prison. I see a good push here. Yeah, where are you even pushed to? It's such a bad spot. I think all you could do here is just move the two a little bit. Oh, yeah, I think so too. Yep. Yeah, he's got to go think about it. I think we're on break.
this is drudgery. Okay, we're back live, and we're going to have to see what Lucas wants to do with this push. Oh, that's a good one. You can just put it on the side rail. Yeah, you can kick at it. It's not like that. This is one of those ones where Brian Merrick would be licking his chops. He didn't make the hit. I think he'd be lining right up to put the uh, yeah, one into the 10. In a match he lost. He had a ball in hand on the 1-9. Uh -oh. And it was only a foot from the pocket. He missed it. No. Oh, no. That's his, that's his signature shot. Yeah. Uh, not to not to beat the horse here, but Brian would be figuring out a way to draw into this ball oh and, and still call yeah. the 10. I think he just pointed to the 10, which is what I was talking about jokingly about he Brian. He just banked the 10 one ball straight home. Oh, okay. I thought I he pointed to the... Uh... I think he just barely got there. Yeah, he's got it, it looks like. Oh, that was surprising. Did Lucas get it? Can he nip it? It looks like it. He's spinning at it like he is. Nice shot. Yeah, he's got he gonna, a little steep on the three. How's he gonna get on that four, five? I don't, I don't see anything good here. A good shot. Even better. Look where That's he's going. Really good shot. How about that? Very good. Lucas, you deserve a boom on that one. That's good. That might be that might be the first kick I saw him miss tonight. Well, let's see. I don't see any problem here. Tic tac toe almost. Yeah. Ben's hanging, so no matter where that winds up. Yeah. I went to it. I went to it different. See, that's pretty good. Oh. Laying pretty good. He, he had the shot before I missed it. And I saw him practice. And I, I, I saw, I was, yeah, I watched him miss it as well. He just wants to make sure he maintains the right side of the seven ball for the eight, and he did. He might just come to this side of the eight ball. That goes straight anywhere he likes. Yeah, and he's got a little bit of a little bit of a steep cut here, but should be okay. Should end up on the high side of the side pocket, so no worries there. Me too, twenty one. Yeah, deep. Predicted the other guy. I mean, I was only going to get 21. Is he going to be able to hold them? We shall see. All right. That was a nice out, Lucas. But he had given a gift for that one. Yeah, he did. Yeah. What do you want? Anybody yeah. watching who's not familiar with where we're broadcasting? Yes, is Yale Billiards, Wallingford, Connecticut.
Okay, we're back to live, and Lucas has reclaimed the lead. He's breaking at 22-21. He has been making some adjustments with where he's breaking from, trying to get a better result. I don't understand. He is making these little adjustments, but they're not working. Why don't you go drastically away from center? Yeah, he's not moving it much. It's true. I mean, if it's not working, try something else. Well, he's going to get that back. <laughs> nice. Can he? I assume he's going to shoot a jump shot. He's going to give it back, I think. Oh, he. Oh, I, I thought he had to shoot it. Am I right? Do I have this right, guys? I don't know. Yeah, he gave it back. Let him start off with the jump. Okay, now Lucas has the 210 if he wants it. He might. He might. Getting late at night, might shoot it and just try to kill it back to the short rail. At least leave a long shot. And, no, I can't do it. But he could also play that seven inside. Hey, look. Yeah, he didn't get down far enough. Oh, I thought he... Yeah. He wanted that cue ball underneath. Look at that 310. Yeah, that's pretty juicy, huh? Yeah. I think he's going to be looking at from behind the five ball in a second. Oh, I'm sorry. I played it differently. He's going to get under that 10. That might even... Yeah, that's better than what I saw. Oh, and he got rid of that, too. Oh. That was a good shot. That was a great shot. Nice hit. I think he's going to put him back right where he was a minute ago. I don't see yeah, he could certainly put it there, can he? Unless he thinks about playing the, the six right now. He's going to hit the no, right just... side. He came a little bit too high, I think. But he still gets... Yeah. Uh, look at the 10-9. Oh, I think he's got the shot. Yeah, that's the problem with the 10-9. Well, the three could fix it. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. Hey, thank you very much, Crystal. And uh, Brandon, too, earlier, you had a nice, uh, nice compliment. Thank you very much, sir. Very nice. Let's get this. Will the will this nine go past the ten? I think so. Well, it's close, Bob. I mean, if not, he'll have a safety play. He may, if he wants to, if he wants to run out, he may have to tap it one more time with the eight ball shot. The good thing is the the seven's hanging, so it'll be easy to get whatever you want on the eight. Yep. 
So he can pick the spot he wants to play up, you know, the eight to the nine. Kind of funny he stopped there. I would have thought he'd gone past the side. Now it looks like he's going to come up table yeah, and back that, down. Now it's tougher. Oh, he's going to go three rails. You have trouble getting to that point. Wow, he hit that nice. Does he have enough angle to get over? That's the thing. I I, I, I don't I don't know if he does. Boy, he just he powered it over there really well. But we'll know in a second if it goes. Oh, he's shooting the answer is yes. Hesitation. Really nice shot. Finishing up strong. Very nice. Yeah. Starting to hand out the booms here. Eyes are getting tightened up. Well, can he can he go four more without uh, allowing Wama to get one? That'll make uh that'll make Dave a soothsayer clairvoyant. Dave Burner. Oh yeah. Right? Yes, he does it. Yeah. Sorry if we're not as responsive on the chat comments. Uh, we've had a little IT issue going on, so we're limping along um, in a slightly less than uh, desirable Check the score if you can, Brian. Yeah. Dominic says uh, okay. that might be off one. 23-21. No, we got it. 23, we're all right. Thank you. It's kind of a Justin Hall, is that Justin Hall, the pro player? Nice to see you, sir. I sure like the way Justin Hall plays bank pool. He's like shockingly good. Dominic, I don't have the energy to run down there and move the scores. <laughs> oh dear. Somebody would like us to flip to the other view once more often. You like that view? Which one do you want? BTZ? I don't know. It just says flip. How about that one, guys? We're here to please you. That's a quite a nice shot right there. He makes his uh, return hits pretty good. And I think he's got Lucas here. What yeah, do you think, Bobby? Got to put a swerve on it. Yeah, yeah. That's an awkward spot to get a swerve. But look at the overhead. I don't think he can. At least he's at least much. he's a right hander. I think he's gonna have to kick at it. 
There's a tiny space there, but yeah, but you got to get it pretty high to get around yeah, over that seven the, ball. The kick might be the thing. Well, the good news is the one ball's not not fastened to the cushion, so it makes it a little bit a little bit more potable. There's no future. Yeah, the two ball's going to be tough position. Well, he'll just take a safety here. Beautiful shot. It's going to run too long. Yeah. Who on the other side of the eight? It looks like he has the whole ball. Can he, can he get in the four? Doesn't look like it goes in a lot of pockets. No, I think it only go it only goes that side. I think. Oh, boy, this is tough. Well, I just love the fact he can get in these positions yeah. to okay. address the ball. I'm surprised oh, he missed boy. it. And he left the line to get to the next one. He's going to make it perfect to the four. Yeah. There's a five. I'm going to put a draw on it and just draw over. Like so. Yeah, this is going to lead nicely to this ball. Wow. He overran it a little bit. He made it tough on himself. Yeah, and it's funny because, I mean, the shot itself is not that much harder, but it gets into your psychology a little bit mm. when you overrun them like that. That's You've got to think about this uh, corner pocket with the cue ball now a little bit more. You should have played safe. Nope. Well, he went into the 10, and he's going to risk that a lot. He's going to have a tough time getting yeah. on the 8. But he's got to make the 7 first. The nine's a big ball, right? Is he going away a little bit from the... Uh... Is he shooting a seven in the corner or side? I think the corner. Oh, boy. Good shot. Got to get good on an eight. Now, when you like, can do that... Like, you know, like nothing. Yeah. Yeah, get that pretty good. He says, I've got some fight left to me, folks. He's been fighting from behind the whole set. For just this past half hour or so. Yeah, he doesn't have any quit in him. Oh, my God, did I jinx him? You certainly did, Brian. Wow. Wow. Well, Lucas is going to have a little bit tough cueing here. He's going to want to spin yeah. this ball in. He's got a big static. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. like a free roll getting yeah. to the table. What's he going to do, Bob? Come all the way down and play the side shot? I think, yeah, I think he's got to cinch it and get so much side spinning down the floor by scratching in the top pocket and just settle for anything down this end of the table. He's, he's comfortable. Yeah, the queuing don't look bad at all. Yeah, I thought he was jacked up. Well, I still like that. He's got to get enough spin where you don't worry about the side pocket. Oh, look at this, Bob. It's nice what I just... Yeah, it's just... Yeah, you got to know to know to overcome that <laughs> obstacle, that issue. I hope I hope he doesn't end up uh, having to think about that when he puts his head on the pillow tonight. Dave Lago says, "Keep it up, chicken." Oh yeah, I'm going to shut my mouth on, on my beak. Keep my beak 
Somebody got some duct tape? I'll just wind it around. Hey, by the way, it was Bobby that mentioned about the possible scratch. But I've scratched that a thousand times. Yeah, I've had that scratch you a few a, myself. Don't be that you got hit with a rose. Yeah. You wanted to like, drive it into the side rail, you, right? Yeah, you wanted to like hit it as if you're trying to draw it. Come into almost two rail position. So you, you get to that long rail fast. Yeah. That, that ball but, right away it wants to scratch. It does. Good call, sir. Someone call you the worst jinx ever. I probably am. Well, actually, t technically, I don't want to be, uh, you know, uh, correcting you, but, you know, that would make me the best jinxer, not the worst. Hey, <laughs> uh. <sighs> I don't think I've seen any YouTube comments. Have you seen any come up on the yeah, screen? I haven't noticed any. Yeah. Are they in a different spot or are they coming up here? They're supposed to just come up there on the top. I haven't noticed any. No. I would think he'd play safe if he can hit the whole ball. Kind of hard to tell. On this monitor, it looks like he can. But on mine, it doesn't. Were you thinking to play it? I'm sorry. I was thinking just shoot it and stop it behind the eight and two rail the one down by the bottom ball, you know, the other end table. Let the one release down under, like under the well, nine and all that. Can, why did he call it? Oh, he's banking across side? No, he just called just it. Just called it in case, yeah. He's going to end up with a, a favor from the eight ball. Hey, he might be able to. Ticky the uh, outside of the ball. Let's have a look. Oh. Looks like you can hit it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? He feels comfortable to go this way. I guess. I think I'd ticky it <laughs> down table. How did that not scratch? Well, he didn't. He didn't give him an offensive shot. You don't think it goes past the eight, uh, 10 7? The way I'm looking at it, I don't think so, but. I think he's playing safe. I think you're right. Of course, uh, it went. I don't have to be oh, right. Oh, my goodness. See that position right between right the there. 7 8? The 7 That was seven, seven, pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, if he played it, that was great. Well, Dave, uh, Dave Werner's not a, not a clairvoyant. Mm -hmm. oh, boy. oh man, how did that go in? Uh, I'll just, this is 10, isn't it? Nine. Okay. Not real complicated. I'm not saying it's easy either. No, <laughs> it's just not it's, complicated. It's kind of worry about maintaining the five. Where's yeah? It looks like it's, to me like it's going to go offside. Like it wants to go towards the uh, seven ten. I might send the other side of the five ball. Try to put the cue ball behind on the other side of the seven ten. Alternatively, he could stick that cue ball under the nine if he wanted to. But yeah, your way you get an extra blocker. Well, he went for it, and he uh, he didn't win. He might have got away with it. Yeah. Lucas is pretty easy to kick this ball in. Yeah, and then what? Well, he's got to figure out the getting good on the <laughs> six. Kicking his in is tough enough. I mean, this is a pretty routine kick in. I would go for the two two rail hit. Like that, and that gets you out mm -hmm. for a 
top corner. Another tough shot. They get in that seven. Getting on the seven is going to be a, a, a trick. Yeah. Eddie wishes that six ball was up about another foot or two. I think he's shooting. They can come out two, two rails to toward the side. Seven. I had to get there. You have to push out this. You can have a little trouble holding it for the seven, I think. You think? Yeah. Oh, I think he's got this easy. I know you're going to end up right. <laughs> you were right, because that's why you played it like that. And look how lucky he came out of that. He wasn't trying to hit the 10, was he? I think he was trying to go back and forth. I would he hit it with the speed I thought to go back and forth. Yeah. But he hit it so good, maybe he was playing it. Boy, oh boy. Because he hit it dead square. If he meant to hit that, that's but I think he was trying to play the rails. Yeah, because if he was just looking to go into the ten, he didn't have to hit it that hard. He would hit it pocket speed. Half speed, you know, half what he hit. Yeah. Got to come with another good position shot here. Is he drawn into two rail position? I don't think he can get Come through the 910? I think he's going forward. No, he didn't. He went through that 910. Yeah, how good did he hit it? He hit it pretty good, but this is a challenging oh, shot here. Shot. The good news, I think, make it and you're home free. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's, not home free. He's going to bump that nine. Where's it going to end up? I think I would draw this ball and stay on the top side of the nine. Makes the shot a lot tougher if you try to draw it. Well, not a whole bunch of draw. I mean, just, just, just barely like a half tip under center ball. Oh, once again, Bob, he did what I said. And you end up uh, with a pretty good analysis wow. because that took him way out of his uh, way out of his accuracy. A tough turn to try that shot. I don't know. And he might have got lucky. Though. It doesn't look like that goes anywhere, does it? Well, the only thing I could see, and it's a flyer and a half, is hitting the left side of the, uh, of the uh, eight and calling it up in the corner. So I think you got to play safe here. Yeah. Try so, to use the 10 as a blocker or some, something. Yeah, yeah, see the best save. Oh, he's going for that 10. Uh, Doesn't quite get there, but he left him really yeah, tough. That's pretty good. I was wondering how he would get down behind there. Yeah, we're coming down to the uh, the home stretch. Everybody's getting triple careful. Oh, we did get a comment coming in from YouTube. Mm. Hey, Clint. What's he doing? He's called the cue ball. Oh, he's called the eight back there. It flew off that rail. Look at the speed. Is he going to get a block? I think so. Uh, I can't tell. Wow. On my monitor, it looks like he's got the shot. And that one it looks like he's got the shot. I think he's got the shot. Yeah. Well, it could be wrong. It's 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 tight. I think yeah, it must be because he would already shot it. And you know, you, you got to come back for the nine ball. Are you going forward? Are you drawn? It looks kind of straight to try to go for what's he oh he has to kick it. He doesn't no. have it. He's measuring this up for a kick. It sort of looked like to me. Wow. He's jumping. Oh, so he didn't have it. I had this monitor. 
like it's a hanger. I got one that looks half a ball. It's just a, it's a heck of a long Ooh. jump. He's going back to the kick. Oh, boy. I mean, I do like this system. Can you get to that spot? It's kicking chicken approved. Yeah, I think you can. It's close, but I think you can get it. The only problem he has then, if he doesn't get it, that cue ball's going really close to scratching across the corner. Yeah, I would still, I would hit it with the pace to get it down table. If you don't scratch, you're at least creating some distance, hope, hopefully. Depends how he strikes the eight. Oh, how good they did Mike, it. Mike, uh, that, 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 that system was, just paid for itself right that there. That was a great shot. Nice touch, too. Oh, what a beauty. That's how you want to see your horse gallop on the home home stretch, right? Thank you everybody for tuning in. It's so still good. you could like, share, oh. donate if you're so inclined. This is Brian the Kicking Chicken. Enjoying this match on the Shark Stream with Bobby Hunt. Thank you guys for tuning in. Nice shot. Perfect. Very nice. Sounds like Nick's clapping. <laughs> yeah, maybe, right? Yeah. I want to make sure everybody hears it. <laughs> that was a good out. Yeah, one monitor looks like a hanger, the other one you didn't look like you can make it at all. So if you're Guam, if you were if you were his his quarter man, his coach, what would you tell him right now? Nothing. He's, he's down twenty two, twenty four. He's playing pretty good. I I can't do anything different. Yeah, I think he's got a pretty good head on his shoulder. Yeah, he yeah. knows what to do. That easily could have gone the other way, and he'd, you know, he'd be even right now. Lucas came with a great shot. Yeah, I think just stay emotional, neutral, and just mm -hmm. keep grinding. You know, he's, he seems yeah. to be a pretty good grinder. That's why I was so surprised when he had those couple of... little meltdown? Couple mini, of mini meltdown, yeah. Twice. I'll have to go back at the tape and, and see that. Early. The first one was early. Yeah. Like 9-9 or 9-6 or something like that. All right, we got Lucas breaking up two at 24-22. Well, he put everything into that when he finally makes a ball. Yeah, is he going to get rewarded? I think nope. oh, not. How did it miss that two? I'm going to tell you something. He's jumping this ball. Well, he shouldn't have to. This should have been a hanger. He hit it so good. Yeah, well, he's going to jump it, though. He's too good with the jump stick, and this is just like a total hanger for him. I'm sorry if I jinx some guys don't come at me with an axe. Oh, boy. Yeah, what is it? Temporarily. I'm done complimenting. My complimenting career. I'm turning my credentials in. Oh, he didn't hide him. That Carol saying he got him. He got him some pretty good distance, though. How's that seven look, uh, Carol? Maybe yeah, it, it doesn't pretty look close. too bad. Hard to tell. But you're but you're betting the game on it. Is the safety a better play? You know. You have a message there from Dominic Dunn. <laughs> I, I know it's I know it's not going to be good. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think he played the 10. Nice shot. Oh, he's got to play a safety here. Use the five as a stopper and come two rails by the ten, right? Got a big tackle as long as he doesn't scratch. 
Don't scratch. It's a big pocket. Hmm. Oh, boy, okay. Unless he got on that ball, he left him the one ball. Looks like he left him the whole ball. Yeah, he's shooting right at it. Oh, wait a minute. Made a couple of mistakes lately. Well, he hit it 200 miles an hour. I don't know if that affected yeah, it. I don't understand. And then he didn't get on the two anyhow. Yes, Spencer, I agree. I think you got to draw back here, right? You can't go forward. I think because I don't think it passes the five. Of, you know, I think you draw back because even going forward, where are you going to play the two? That's what I mean. Yeah. Because at least this way he's got to get out. Uh, it went too uh, far. That was tough. Try to hit that. Mm -hmm. I think he'll shoot the two, four, a five. I wouldn't, but. He shoots straighter than I do. I think he's going right put, past it and play yeah, safe. Yeah, put the kill behind the five. Oh, how nice. That was that. quite a good decision. Very nice. And he makes another great hit. Well, how are you getting on this three ball, Bob? I almost think you might have to draw it out of this mess. Because can you go forward and meet miss the eight? Boy, that's a lot of missing you have to do. Yeah, I mean drawing. Then you got to really hit it. It'd be a great stroke. He, you know, he could bank it too and get back there but to do that. Yeah, that ball what, didn't. What was it being gained by hitting at that speed? Yeah, it's the. You were never getting to the three. No, not like that. Maybe he just wanted to get a view. No. And and he developed the nine. Yeah. A little better than it was. Nothing. Nothing stopping him here. Uh, Kevin, would like to know how much is in the middle. I think it's around ten. A little more. Is more sixteen? Oh boy. Oh. Wow. He's made some mistakes these last two. That's that's pretty amazing. Going back to that easy eight, he missed on the side. So yes. He's been making mistakes since then. In the previous rack, he missed the one. Right up yeah. The top. Yeah. Oh, Lucas missed that by a lot. Okay. I'd he, have to replay it just to just to see he, uh, what the heck happened here. Look at this easy ball. You know what, Bobby's because he's fastened to the cushion. I, I hate that shot. Uh, dear. I can't tell if he left it for him or not. If it goes, take a look at the overhead. Um, it might be on the break. Oh, it looks like he's got it. Yeah. Yeah. That was big. At this at this juncture, you bet. No, we I know we're pretty empty now. No, oh, there's hardly anyone there. Like five people. The diehards. Didn't I see him on America's Most Wanted? Dave. Mm. <laughs> it's cleared out pretty good. Right You're here. right. That was Nick's clap we heard. It just fuzzed up a little bit. Oh, cleared up. Okay. Yeah, ready to go. Excuse me. Mm hmm.
Oh. Boy, Let's see if I'm, oh, he's got to get a, a bridge Boy, or something. It, it looks a lot tougher right now than it did a minute ago, doesn't it? Well, what's adding to it? I think well, he wants to put some insight on it. Yeah. He doesn't want it to start heading so towards the nine cube? ball. He wants a I should get little extended. straighter seven shot. Those extenders are great. There you go. Even then he went to find any water. Yeah, but I think he wanted the, this angle so that he could just play the eight down. You know? What's he going to do? Does he have an angle? I think he just wants to roll roll through it, I think. Go forward? And then just play oh, the eight boy. down. Because he's, he's got a nine hanging. Nine, ten are like automatic, right? I hate shooting that eight ball past the side or whatever it is. Well, he'd prefer if he could. He looks like he's doing uh, He looks like he might be uh, drawn underneath it. No, he played it that way. <laughs> I love your stroke. <laughs> right, it's it's all forward. It's it's the lurch, the lurch stroke. It's working. Uh, I can't get over. How do you not play this pin? One of the best. Back within the two range, huh? Oh, back to one. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You're uh, you're talking about his his initial spot. Yeah. All right. Lama drew one back. It's getting real interesting, folks. He'll be breaking at twenty three, twenty four. <laughs> Okay, back to the live action. Wama's breaking down one, 23-24. Well, I wish I could hit him hard. Oh, you can Look hit him hard. That. that came out loud. That looks pretty good. It's going to get on the two. It's going to be hard to get on the two. And then the two to the three. Well, he's right-handed. Maybe it looks a little easier for him. He could lean over the rail and just yeah, if he could, draw, if he draw could into draw position. Back, not hit that uh, five ball. Yeah, and then you got to worry about the, uh, the nine's kind of a big nine. ball. He's got some work to do. Well, he yeah. got pretty good. Yeah, Dominic, he did rush it. I mean, he probably so excited on that five ball that he got a chance to shoot. Oh, wait, wait, did he just hit that with draw? Or forward? This shot here? No, the last one. Get on this position, yeah. draw. He drew it back. But now is he gonna have a little trouble? Give enough angle to spin the oh boy. That's what oh, happened. Boy. He tried to do too much. Well no, he didn't give anything up, I don't yeah. think. Doesn't look like it. Can he cut it to the left? Once again, let's look overhead. I can't tell. I don't think so. Mm, no. He's going to call the 10 on the carom here. Yeah, that may as well. He's, he's jumping. Well, he got to hit. See what happens here. What about the eight? What about the side pocket? He got it. The eight did its job. It. The eight got him blocked a little bit. Now he may be able to swerve this. Yeah. Is he gonna kick it? No, I thought he had. I thought he had a block. It's probably a smart move. And I think Luke is going to go over this bank. 
Hey, he might even cut it. You know, he can cut it from two rails. Are you right? He might be banking this. Well, how about that? He's had nice. He's had a really nice. Good shot. It's like a like a match winning shot. You know he was tempted to go in on that. Man, he banked so well. I thought he had like a free shot at it. But you're gonna you would have got down here in the three. <clears throat> but I like what he did. <clears throat> Excuse me. You call the ten? Yeah, he's gonna try he's gonna try to kick Karam into the ten. I think I'd be calling the side if I was, well, the flyer anyway. Well, he left tough. Yeah, was he going to do a, a Z shot safety? I don't think so. Even down uh, by the counters? Key. Yeah. Came off sharp off that right along the rail. Yeah. Nicely done, but no cover ball. Wait, I just turned it around. Let's go for it. May as well. It's that short rail. You're going up table towards the three. May as well try it. I don't see any safes. And he completely oh, missed boy. it. I didn't expect that. Neither did he. He's been he's been brilliant on his kicks. Yeah. I only saw him miss miss one since I've been watching. Just got perfect. I think. No. No, looks good. Yeah, he'll be okay. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, he got the front that night in quite a little bit. He didn't want to shoot jacked up like this. Yeah, and I think he almost wants to stop this ball. No, I think he just wants to make it. Well, of course, yeah. Does that mean the way he's stretching? Like he's going to go forward a little bit. No, oh, he stopped it. Fine. It was fine. Nice shot. Seven, eight. Oh, yeah, he's just going to get straight yeah. on this eight ball, follow it down a little bit. Slow down. <laughs> Julian Cordova says Cuomo's choking like the Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I haven't paid that much attention to the Dodgers since, oh, man, Tommy Lasorda and yeah. Oral Hersizer and all these guys. Yep, he got steep on that. He look, got look, steep look where, on that eight look ball. Where the was going. What was he going to do with a nine? Oh, I'm surprised. He's looking like dead pop a minute ago. 
Yeah, this, this, this does look like tic-tac-toe. Yeah, it's funny because he overran it a little. Now he's going to have to play both of them in the same pocket, maybe. maybe. Right? I don't think he can hold it to play to 10 in the same pocket. Yeah, so I think go. he's got to bump to 10. Well, I don't think he's trying to draw around it. He hit yeah, it. he bumped it. Oh, good shot. Yeah, but look, he leaves himself a, an interesting backup. You know, he's probably a 98 percenter. He has been making mistakes. Lucas, geez, Lucas didn't capitalize on him. 24. Yeah, that's one that, uh, that's one that you know, Lucas kind of put a bow on that one. You have to call in sick to work tomorrow. Yeah, wouldn't that be something? What would that yeah. be like, huh, Bob? You can imagine. <laughs> hey, thank you, everybody. Sincerely, thank you for watching tonight. Appreciate your tuning in. We didn't jinx him, Dominic. No, nah, I kept my mouth shut that yep. time. He did it all himself. All right, well, I'm just going to be breaking tide. We got action, 24-24. You know, I used to love when I was a young pool player, getting home at 7 in the morning and passing all the traffic, driving into New Haven, going to work. And I knew I was going home to go to bed. You had a fun night. Even if, I was, rest. even if I was broke, <laughs> yeah. I was still happy I wasn't going to work. You didn't have to go to the salt mine. You're no, like, what's no. a salt mine? <laughs> Well, you did it for two years or so in your life, maybe three. Yeah, you did it for a bit. Yeah, you got a, you got a taste of it, and you, know, you didn't, didn't uh, you didn't acquire the taste. Well, I didn't like someone could tell you what to do. Yeah. The biggest problem was they wanted me there every day. You had that yeah. one other job they wanted you there every day over in Vietnam. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, that's probably that's probably one of the smartest things, and one of the worst things, but one of the smartest yeah. things you ever did. Hey, I was making two eighty a month. Oh, you were living large. <laughs> but you, you had you had three hots, sort of, and a cot. No, there was no hot. Sort of. And there was no cot. <laughs> it was a hammock in the mud. That's it. Um, and eat and eat eat uh, MREs, right? They weren't bad. Some of them were bad. Some of them were most just, of them were crap, but some, some of them were just the worst yeah. thing ever. Remember the Salisbury steak and the oh, they had some weird stuff going on. They used to make some like pound cake and peaches. Yeah, and you would trade all your stuff for that. So that was that was pretty good. Yeah, that was tolerable. Remember the P thirty eight? Yeah, you know what that I is, know, right? Is. Yeah. Anybody out there in the military? They probably don't have them anymore. But back in the day, P thirty eight opened. That's what opened your food. Kevin is saying the MREs are delicious, huh? Well, Stalsberg was their favorite. No, yeah. that what, that is a. It, like the hardest break of the night right there. And look at the last ball. Am I too late to it. see this again? Look at him get into this. Go forward, too. He Man. Develops that stroke. Look at that last ball got him. You know what weren't bad? The K rations weren't bad. Mm -hmm. you, you know, if you just added water and boil it. Yeah. That's the only thing the helmet was good for. Cooking your dinner. I think it's funny. I watch these war movies and they wear their helmet with the strap on. Yes, yeah, yeah. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. Those helmets were good for sitting on and cooking food. Imagine helmets are better now than. Yeah, can't cook in the new ones, I don't think. I think they're uh, plastic -y. I think there's like Kevlar and all that. Oh. You know, to make them lightweight. Back when you were in. And, uh, well, when you were in, what were they made out of? Stones? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Granite. Yeah. Yeah. Red Flintstone. Let's see what the... He hit it. Wait. Got, a, got a good hit, and I he's going to he leave him safe like a little. Got away. Oh, wait. oh, wait a minute. No. It's split those... Split those wickets. Yeah. Looks yeah, like I think he's, he's got, the, got the shot. Yeah, I think so, too. How many ulcers do you think are out there uh, brewing on the rail? <laughs> he keeps you. He keeps you sweating. 
Oh boy. I got nothing to do with that, Dominic. I have to pull the door. I think somebody I think somebody's trying to uh infuse Lucas with some some heavy metal. Yeah, by his father. Well, I would bump right into this five ball now. That would be my would be my target. Uh, Dominic wants me to start commentating on uh, Lucas. I'll be up in a second. We'll see. Oh, I thought he would go into those balls and open them all up. That might even be better if he, unless he bumps into the five right now. Which... Yeah, it looks like he's going to go in. Oh, he true. I hate even those easy combinations. I played that for twice with one pocket, and I don't think he ever missed one combination. Didn't matter if they were two feet apart or two inches. Made every one. Yeah, that was the thing with him. They didn't have to be close. And he just, yeah, like they were hangers. Boy, how do you get wow. on this ball? Didn't like his choice, but he hit it perfect. I lost track. It's hell. It's for twenty four each, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mom is about to make his move. Blue team takes the lead. He wants you to hit them. Brian, uh, Brendan. Like that, Brian? Oh. Yep, it's 24-24, and he's going to put his up in a moment. Is he putting it? Did he put it up? Yeah. Right. See? Hey, Robert. Lucas doesn't like something about the rack. Who's that that said, hey, chicken? I just saw that for a second. I looked up and, and it disappeared. Let me figure out the what's in the middle. 12-ish? I don't know. I've heard different different things. Okay. Somewhere's 10, 12-ish. Between 10 and 16. Huh? More than I made so far this week. All right, you got Wama breaking up 25-24. This breaks all forward, too. Well, there it's helpful. But it doesn't seem to be hurting him in the rest of his game.
well, it's not going to be terribly challenging, but this three to the four is, I think, the only real, real issue. Potential, I should say. Mm -hmm. That cause a little problem. Would four, you stay four above the, the ten? Four to the five, too. Oh, underneath. Okay, nicely done. <clears throat> Coming in hot. We'll play the side pocket or the thing. has got either one or the corner. Yeah, we'll probably get over there on the five. That's what I'm wondering if he cuts it into the side. I don't think he I think he wants to play the corner. But how do you get on the five? We're, Robert, we're sweating the match. We didn't expect it. He starts later than expected. Oh, hey. Okay. How you doing, Robert? I haven't seen you in a little while. All right. He's going to accept this. But it was close on the overhead. Yeah. Yep. Oh, boy. Well, he left him a little jack up there, but I think he's going to overcome that pretty easy. And he's happy to be at the table. Absolutely. Yeah, Lucas, Lucas, Lucas left himself a real challenging five ball there. Yeah. Doesn't seem like such a good idea now letting you go home, Brian. <laughs> yep. I couldn't agree more, Space Boy. You know, it, but, he said if the ball was orange, it would have went in. But Kevin was saying, they blocked him on Facebook. That's why he went to YouTube. Oh, is that what he said? Because he said he said MREs are good or bad or something. He said that's why they blocked him. I, I don't really understand that. I don't. What, what, they could block you for saying that? No. What do they think you're meaning? I, I don't know. I mean, he that a little short. Now he's got to come with another good shot. People who make the MREs must have good public relation people. Well, maybe they're better than they, they were. They get maybe. you flagged. Yeah. 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 I don't think the MREs are like C-rations and K-rations, are they? No, they're just meals ready to eat. You don't have to do anything but open them and eat them. Are they better than the C-rations and K-rations? Nah. I, I mean, it's just a more modern version of pretty much the same thing. But with the K rations, I mean, I did have some of those, and you know, you, you like you cook, you actually cook them. Doing bad, you just yeah. boil them in your helmet. I, I didn't mind it. Sometimes you'd uh, eat the food in the local shops. Usually, you'd be paying for that for a few days. Oh, okay. You mean the native stuff? Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice shot. Boy, he, he, didn't, the point, he, didn't, he didn't get there. Yeah, the point, the point yeah. beat the cue ball down. Yeah, yeah, he's he's shrugging. I didn't know that about him. Yeah, he used the ten ball pretty Boy, well. Pretty good. Look at the speed too. Yeah, it's gonna make this tough. Oh, Lucas might get two rails behind that. He would just better be happy with whatever whatever hit he gets, but I think he's going to try to get behind it. And then you got to watch out for that scratch. scratch. It's a big pocket. Oh, he beat the scratch. Oh, oh, he got away with it, Brian. He sure did. Looks like he's got him snookered. That was exciting. Yeah, it had everything. He almost did scratch. Are we sure he doesn't have this? Yeah, he does. Boy, that's close, Bob. I think he's going to play safe, but... Yeah, okay, he didn't have it. 
It, that was a really nice save. Again, his speed from is that pretty, position. Pretty, yeah. pretty darn good. It's a really nice shot. Does Lucas cross over <laughs> and send it down under the tent? Right in the middle of the counter. Dominic says his baby needs a needs a diaper, but the kid can wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I know the feeling. Uh, cool people. I wasn't much of a father. <laughs> well, you're making up. <laughs> you know, I did you're my... finishing strong. <laughs> like a soccer mom now for the grandkids. My favorite. When I was, uh, my son was young, I, I'd be out all night. So I'd be sleeping in the daytime. I had a big sun deck. So. You know those dog collars? Not yeah. The, not one the neck. It goes on your body. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, the I, harness. I used to strap Jonathan. In like, the harness? Yeah, and I'd let him play in the sun deck. Figured the worst that happens is he just falls and dangles. Oh, yeah, right. It's not going to be like it's on his neck or anything. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay. Oh, hey, I would be. Now, at the same period of time, my wife went somewhere for a weekend. I was broke, so I sold the waterbed to play somebody. She, the water bed. Yeah, she came home and it was a mattress on the floor. I lost. It's a pretty conspicuous thing to go missing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole I, water bed. I thought I was stealing. Oh, uh, look at the speed on that one, boy! I think it went too far to cut it in the side. Yeah, it's not cuttable. Yeah, it's not even. You might be able to get behind it and do a again. Mm -hmm. You know, a oh, kick kick it down table. Or you could just again do a Z shot with it. It's not going cross side. I think the knife's uh, blocking that, right? I so. oh, it's too bad the nine's there. It looks like it was straight across. Oh yeah, that would be uh that that would be on if the nine wasn't there. Oh Daryl, I was never father of the year. But I am trying to make up for it as a grandfather. That you could always call it a night cross side. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know what he even did. Oh, boy. Wow. That was huge. That would have put him on the hill. Yeah. Last 30, 40 minutes, he's got an awful week. I know he's going to drive you crazy, but he's going to set up for the cor uh, the uh, side pocket here. Well, in this case, I don't mind too much. Mm -hmm. pretty, pretty simple. Well, how many times have I said this so far tonight? 25. We got action. All right. It is pretty exciting. <laughs> Salado is the world's premier pool community. Playing your friends has never been more fun. Raise the bar with Salado so regular practice can become real pressure. With monthly prizes and cash payouts, Salado brings pool to the people. You can even submit match results to Fargo Rate through Salado if you want, but you don't have to. Your race, your place. Make your matches count with Salado. Download now and get started. No minimum play per month. Eight, nine, ten ball. You choose. It all counts.
hey, we're back to the live action and it's ex exciting. Lucas is breaking at 25, 25. So a race to two. Three ball going in. Still breaking the same spot. Right break. Well, I assume he's gonna. Oh, he can reach it. Yeah, he's gonna. He's gonna make this ball. That's a good shot. It really was. Well, three to the four, four to the five. That's all a problem. Five to the six is a problem. It's a tough rack to get out. Once we get to the six, the seven, eight, nine are pretty yeah, easy. Let's, let's, uh, let's see how he does the three to the four. That ten yeah. ball is such a big ball. And, this... and then the four to the five. He passed the first test. That's a pretty good shot. Very nice. I think he could just leave himself on the rail now. If he has angle, he could drag draw or just uh, just just leave himself uh, the underside of the can eight he, position. Can he make it? He's got to get out here so well, he can draw. Up. Okay. Yeah. Well, he had, he had the other out. angle. He wanted to get on the six. He had to get an angle. But I don't think he got enough. And the 10 really uh, it, it interferes just a little bit for if he wants to go low on the cue ball, you know? And he does. Boy, it's going to be a heck of a shot. Because he's going to try to drag it. He's going to try to drag it right down the rail. I don't think from that distance he can get enough. Yeah, he, he wishes he can keep his cue flatter. Yeah, Lance, I was thinking about the bang, like a one pocket shot. Get control of the cue ball. Yeah, and if you miss it, you just play the speed to leave it by the badge. He that was too hard. To that, use. That, yeah, but he was trying. Uh -huh. And did he get away with it? Looks like he got away with one. Yeah, if he could if he could swerve into it and get it up table two rails. If he can hit it, yeah, he's got to hit I would pretty, call it in the side, but send it up table. He's got to hit it pretty full. Yeah, he needs to keep the cue ball like right where the where the five is now. But yeah, you, that's the key. You got to you got to hit it full, right? Yeah. Might even try a jump shot. Is he thinking about kicking it in? Yeah, it looks like that's what he called. Wow, that's that's a ballsy move here. Yeah. And he got the ball. He hit it pretty good. Well, still not easy. No, he's he pretty made straight a, on a six. He made a good shot. Not too late to give him a boom, right? <laughs> he deserves it. And does he have an angle? He's talking about going forward. I was thinking he might draw right to where he's standing and out. It looks to me like he's straight in. Yeah. He's going forward. It's like he's going to stun it up. No, he did go back, go back and out. So he had a bit of an angle. And my dad used to say that all the time. What is he, what is he, what is he out there looking at? There's something on the cubo, I think. Oh, he wants to clean it. You know, Lucas is... I don't see him doing anything that isn't honest. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he has any deceit in him. He keeps hanging around with these pool players, though, it's going to happen. Well, he needs to develop some. But yeah. To be better. Because he really is a. He's a good, to he's be a good kid. Very I good. say that in jest. He really needs to stay just like he is. His demeanor, he's a good, good, good guy. Yeah, well, like you, Bob. I've never been accused of that. <laughs> never been accused of not having treachery in you. I don't have it anymore. But... I want to tell people something they need to know about Bobby Hunt. We were here um, eh, like two months ago, and the power went out all of a sudden. And you know what the first thing he said to me was? I wonder what these ladies are thinking about their pocketbooks. <laughs> it's like it's the first thing that came to his mind. 
<laughs> he said if it was if it was 30 years ago oh yeah kind of robbed him and then helped him look for him yeah yeah Lucas gonna get to the hill first he's working it out my goodness be chalking that stick pretty oh playing for the side oh I would have <laughs> I'd rather shoot in a corner if I have a choice. We just heard a loud gasp. And he's he is so fortunate how he missed that ball. Where it ended up. Yes. I think Guam is thinking about thinking about spinning it in. Wow. Oh. Otherwise, you know, he's got to go all safe. I don't know how you, well, you could put a safe complete with a bank shot. The problem is, is, you know, you can't, was it frozen to the cushion? I don't think you, you can't, yeah, well, you can't keep the cue ball up there. The cue ball's going to want to start mimicking, you know. And he might be spinning it. He might try to spin it in. I didn't see him call it, but I, if he, uh, he might have. Maybe he's playing safe. Oh, he's playing the safe. That was what really a nice, nice shot. You know, have, have those young eyes. And I'm going to give him a boom. That was a beautiful, beautiful shot with what he had to work with. Did Lucas, Lucas just, just put it aside? Is he, is he... Oh, he's going to go behind the kick. I like that. I like that. If he doesn't make it, he doesn't catch He'll the have a safe, yeah. Yeah, you know, unless, unless he gets the point. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Get that boom. shot back up. Replay. Let's make a reel out of it. Yeah, things are getting real. R E E L. What a shot. He missed the hangover. That's before. about as excited as you could see, Lucas. You see him? He, He's pumped. He missed the shot it straight in, and then he kicks it in. Comes back with that. Red team on the hill. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. This is Brian the Kick and Chicken sitting here enjoying this exciting match with Bobby Hunt. You're watching this on the Shark Stream, Yale Billiards, Wallingford, Connecticut. Big thank you to our feature sponsors, Viking Cues, Andy Gao, Simona's Cloth, Aramith Products, Salado, all of our local sponsors. Thank you all very much. And, of course, all you guys that are tuned in, thank you. But it's been fun. <laughs> what a shot. That was great. What a that great, great shot. And it was a great idea. I mean, you know, you don't make it, you're likely going to get a decent safety out of it. Lena Mike says he's starving. So do I. I've been in the booth for five hours. Eat something, go to bed. Yeah, this is exciting. All right, let's see if we can get a good break here. The break, same spot. Final, oh, still didn't, it's just oh, off a of hair. Cue ball, though. All right, two ball. Yeah, look at the cue ball. Yeah, the, the one and the one, yeah. Yeah, he might want to kick this like he kicked that last one. He's taking a make it. Right there.
Well, that's one of the best shots I've seen in this position in the game. The one Lucas just made this out. Oh, yeah. It was really nice. Hey, we saw a good one with Moritz uh, a couple of weeks ago. He made a kick, too. He made that kick into the side. This, the might, have been, this might have been more impressive, actually. Well, Lucas actually had a tougher angle, though. Just a straight line from where the ball was to go into that side. That was brilliant. They got to put a clock on them. And he gave it right back. I think Lucas knew that that was going to happen. I think he should be able to just uh, come behind it like he's That's sizing it up. Like and he... The key here probably is to try to do two things, to hide behind this three if you can, but avoid that seven. I think you want to thread this one ball to get past the seven, if if possible. So he missed the part about the three ball, and he left him the one ball. He's going to have a lot of trouble if he tries to get back on the three now. Well, he's shooting fat. I thought he was going to hit it. Yeah, might not be a bad thing to play safe here, but he's... They draw this side of the nine ball and come out two rails just like that. That's how you get on the three. Mm -hmm. Can get on the four? This could be. Oh, I think it leads right to the four. Except it might be kind of, it might be coming in too hot. I don't think he'll be able to hold it. Yeah. Him. I think he's going to go past it. And play it up table. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, boy. And finally, that motion got him, right? Mm -hmm. He missed that one by, by a pretty fair amount. Did he get Lucas? We'll know in a second. He, I think Lucas has a shot. He's not looking too upset. Yeah, by the way, that shot that Lucas made, that might have rattled the uh, llama. It'll, it'll jar you right out of your uh, right out of your rhythm. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're free stroking, Brian. I'm, I'm thinking they're getting like pretty careful. Like everything's got a got a backdoor safety attached to it, or safety net, I should say. Missed it. He missed it. He overdrew. I uh, overcut. You know that's going to hell, hell, Brian. <laughs> it's a lot of racks. You yeah. got to see them all. Look at me. <laughs> well, I think this looks pretty uncomplicated. What's the worst of it? The eight to the nine? Well, Just have to work well, around the ten. Yeah. He went a little too far. He wanted to be short. Yeah. Now he's going to go somewhere. So by playing it short, he, he would have to do this. Now he's going to come with a shot. Yeah, because the cue ball almost wants to start heading towards it wants the middle to, table. Yeah. I, don't yeah. think he, I don't think he can hold it. Is he, he going to do a big... Uh, well, he held it pretty good. It's better than I thought. Yeah, now he's just got to avoid the uh, 10, which looks, yeah. looks very uh, reasonable to do. Yeah, Brian, lucky Bob. You know it's going to go hell, hell. I'm curious what they're going to say if it goes hell, hell. 215. 
No one wants to bet the whole thing on one rack. Well, we shall see. Two racks. Nicely done. Check the nerves. Like Bruce said, blood test time. Except this one's pretty pretty straightforward. And we've got hell hell. Is that something about doing anything? Dominic down there scoring me. How many has to get over to that diaper? <laughs> That makes so over poor. How many times? <laughs> how many times I've said that? I stopped saying it out loud. I guess they're betting it on the one rack. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, double check it. Well, I know this is a tough table, but the advantage always goes to the to the breaker. So he has a little edge here for the win. See how it translates. And I love that. He does whack them pretty good. Yeah. So jealous. People break them that hard. Well, he made a ball, right? Yeah. Yeah, so he's got one in. I think it's the two balls that's gone, right? So he's got the one to the three. The three doesn't pass the five. So straight away, he's got some more work to do on the first shot. Yeah, it's not an easy one. Looks like he's going to draw two rails into it. Right at it. Wait a minute, it's going to get him. Nope. Yeah, now he's going to play safe, I, I'm assuming. <laughs> I think he'd like to get the cue ball attached to the purple five. I think he's playing safe. Yeah. And he does that. Did block off that long rail, short rail? Yeah, he didn't lock him on that five. I think he left a tiny bit of space there. Pretty close. I think he's going to have to go long rail hit here. I would think. Well, yeah, it looks like he can get one rail. One yeah, rail. The one rail, yeah. I could reach. I'd rather do it two rails if I could reach it. He's he's looking at that. If he can get yeah, that, he'll, he'll it, get better chance for separation. If he can reach it, yeah. That that angle looks a little bit tight though to do that. Exciting. I thought at Hill Hill there was going to be some discussion. Oh, it's all I like it. all the marbles here for the one rack. I bet does that look like he can get two rails that angle? I think so. If he can get the two rails, you, yeah, he'll he'll have a better so. better separation chance. He sure doesn't look comfortable, does he? Oh, I'm surprised. Docker, yeah. As good as he banks, he doesn't kick a little better. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think yeah, he he, he I don't know that he had that, that, that angle. I don't think he had that angle. He went too long. He went long, Brian. So he had plenty of room if he went. He went too long on it. No, he needed to go deeper. No, and he need, he needed he to go think, further down the rail. You don't think he could have? He needed to go further down the rail, Bob, to get that to get that hit on that on that three. So no, no, he did he 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 didn't have it, or it was too close. He misplayed it. I, yeah, that's what I would think. Yeah. Goodness, that Brian's getting quite a kick out of us here. He's home comfortable. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. I do appreciate you getting us set up here with the uh the improvised 
chat. Thank you for that. Well, I'll tell you what, you can hear a pin drop in this place now. Yeah. Remember, remember well, might might not have had it with you with, with your with your drill sergeants, but when I, when I was in basic training, that was the big thing with the drill sergeants. They say I want it so quiet in here, I could hear a mouse pissing on cotton. And I was thinking I never heard that before, and that's mighty quiet. They were very uh, uh, creative in some of the things they said and did. Oh boy, drill instructors. Like this is my weapon. This is my gun. This I is have... for killing. This is for fun. Yeah, I, did. yeah, I, I had a, I had a little, I did it, little session out in the yard with that one. They don't let them do too much of that stuff anymore. Where's the cue ball going here? No, I don't think he was playing for the side, but he's gonna. Oh, he had it. That's what. Well, the he, ends up pretty good. If he makes it and he just rolls it in the side, he should be perfect on the seven. But nobody wants to shoot this shot. I mean, he wanted to be up by the seven. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, again, it starts getting into your head how you, you just blew your position by a pretty good margin. And he's walking it off to get his, get his uh, nerves right. He's still here. <laughs> Awful quiet out there. Well, he's not going nowhere. Five balls from the finish line. Can you get there? This is a tricky. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put him on PTZ here. See how he looks. Yeah, Bob. That's that's a little steeper. Oh, it's tough. That's steeper. But if he makes it, I think he'll be fine. Make the seven where he's standing. But it's tough. It's Cubo's gonna be going. Closer to the eight than I thought. Boy, I should get so far on the line. He's playing safe. Yeah, he's sending it down table. Oh boy. Yeah, he he can't decide. Oh, you know, Buddy Hall said, if you don't have a good safety, uh, go down swinging. You gotta go down shooting. You gotta go down swinging. Oof. Where's the, if you had to play a safety, Bob, where's the good safety here? I think you would you kick it up here and try to put the nine, I mean, you know, between the nine and the ten, you know, like on, yeah. on the numbers. Yeah, he's looking to send and it the, down. In the cue ball will go area. to that side rail and bounce out a little bit. Yeah. Be awful lucky to snooker him, but you're going to leave him distance and distance. not not so, not a straight in shot. I'd yeah. rather get out shooting than, than ducking. Yeah. Well, now he's back to the shot, it looks like. Need the drum roll here. <laughs> Well, it's like a. It looks worse now than it did when we first saw it. It's like a ten to fifteen k mm. shot right here. Yeah, yeah for me here it doesn't. On my monitor, it doesn't look so bad. Oh no, the, no, the no, the mm. eight wide it doesn't look this oh, bad. Boy, this is, That's steep. That really is. The cue ball's going it's, really close to the. I still think he's got to shoot. I mean, this safe is half-hearted. You're probably not going to get a snooker. And you are playing somebody that's going to shoot back at you. <laughs> And he tied hate seeing the jack up. What's going on here? Don't start negotiating now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby's going to go see what's going on here. Oh, 
oh boy, he I think he sold it out. No. No, he did not. Well, he played the safe. I could have heard a six ball when he hit it. Went clunk like it popped like it went skids, you know? Oh, did it? And that could mm. probably saw him lurching. That could, ball needs to hurry up. I think he could see it. Look at that going speed. to 28. Look at that speed. Going, what? going to 28. <laughs> Are they really? Well, I'm going to ask him when he was out shooting that six ball. I knew that. They... Lucas said deal. So one rack. So Lucas knew he was going to get a shot again because he was going to play safe. Yeah. But I think Lucas said, I'd rather have taken a chance with winning. Well, the word from the boss is they're going one more. So we're racing the 28. Uh oh. It up. What do you guys make of this this last ending of the match? You, you, what do you think? Well, I, What's your synopsis on it? I know it's early. I but... feel that uh, Lucas should have lost the set about an hour ago. He's uh, he the guy. I'm all, yeah. He's made a bunch of easy outs where he made a, you know he made mistakes, but then Lucas came with one of the greatest shots I ever saw. <laughs> that, yeah. that, kick, that kick into your skinny thigh. Really did. That because, was magnificent. But I thought that Wama beat him to so many shots in the last hour that he didn't do anything with. Yeah. But right. earlier and, he was. And conversely, Wama missed. He missed. He, he missed a lot of shots that's that were early pretty, on. Pretty straight. No, towards the that's okay. down 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 that's the stretch. That's here. what I'm saying. The last yeah. hour, he missed a bunch of them. He was. But Lucas still made a. It was a great shot. That, oh, that shot into no the side. Died. Was, yeah, we even heard that, that cheer into the wall. Yeah, the seven, the side. Oh, the ten ball, the kick side was crazy, right? That yeah. was crazy. We got Dominic Dunn here is telling us his kid needs needs to change diapers, but the kid's got to wait. He doesn't want to leave. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to leave the room. <laughs> okay. How about that? That was a nice advantage. Advantage shot right there. Advantage nice Lucas shot. here. Oh, yeah. Fun. Big, big excitement. I mean, Lucas uh, missed a bunch of like, key yeah, shots early, yeah. too. Like, he had a, yeah. a four ball. He followed up the rail, and he followed all the way I didn't in the pocket. Was, when he hit that, I thought that was two rails short. But then there was a couple times where um, Wamo, where he he made a big mistake, and Lucas followed it up, missing my right back. Missing, yeah. He should have, I thought. Yeah. yeah, that's why I thought Lucas had this. A couple I thought they both already. did. As my, yeah, I wasn't yeah, saying yeah. just one of them. Right now, Lucas I know you're saying easily could have won it earlier, yeah. too. Interesting, interesting. So but they're they they're 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 playing pretty tight now because they everything everything they're shooting now has a safety net attached to yeah. it. Yeah, I, I, they're they're myself. I shoot just like kick two rails, try to hit the eight towards that side. Don't forget, everybody, we're going to twenty eight now, so we'll change it in a minute. But oh. good hit. Mm. He's made all, but I think two hits all night. He got uh oh. That's going to reveal itself, right? That's shootable. This game is literally by inches, like oh, the man. safeties and the shot. Yeah. Like Lucas said that not, at Guama missed the nine ball, and Lucas scratched on it on a, all the way up table. He didn't try to spin it in no, I... over the 10. Yeah. Lucas has had some areas in his safety play that he could have improved a little bit with. But, One but thing overall, too, pretty good. His break isn't working near the middle. And I, and yeah, and he has to move. We've been watching yeah. for hours. Why didn't he move out to the edges? You yeah, know? he he seems he seems he, stuck in the man. Yeah, he's like in the sides, and yeah, he's it's, stuck in. Earlier on, the first hour or so, his break was working. It yeah. hasn't really worked in the last few hours. I I know most ten ball, you know the the most ten ball breaks. The the, the strategy is to break from generally the middle. You end, up with a, you end up with a better break, but I think both of them. The you don't get not married. Working, right? you, don't, you don't get married. Yeah. You don't get married to. Uh, you know, you watch the Filipinos when they gamble. Spot. They break from the rail when they play ten ball when they're gambling. Mm -hmm. What nice a big spin, shot right there! Nice shot. Lucas. Now he's wishing he didn't extend. Yeah, <laughs> but he's on the hill. I think he's kind of happy right now. So, <laughs> all right, guys, one more rack. Here I'm we going go. Maybe back. two. Even if they extend, I'm leaving after two racks here. <laughs> yeah, we're almost done. Listen, you guys are troopers. I, I know you guys are loving this though. I mean, this is oh, live, this is live for classic, this. right? Live for this stuff. Yeah. The shark streams on fire. We got hundreds of views. There's thousands of people commenting. It's unbelievable. Excellent. Good. Well, they're getting a real treat. This is a uh, 
this is good quality content. Happy that they're getting it. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's so funny when I've seen a couple guys just commenting, oh, they're missing. Listen, you play for that kind of money on a stream when everybody's watching box. in a tight box and see how well you play. Oh, yeah. Listen, the tight box when you so so here's a quick story. I'm watching I'm at the uh, Shaw's place, right? And they have the new tables, but they're four and three eighths. Yeah. I saw two seven packs, a bunch of five packs, a four packs. Yeah. We go to the US Open the next week. I saw two two packs. Oh, that that the water that, four that, inch that, pockets. That quarter of an inch makes a difference. What a difference. That does. Unbelievable. Yeah. Brian's telling us we better stay put. <laughs> you better get in your car and come back I over. Think he should come down here and finish this match. <laughs> he said he told me he was taking a break three hours ago. All right, they're what talking. Happened? They're what talking. Happened? Wow, he just he just he just started moving the ball. Did he touch his rack? He, he touched his he rack. Didn't, he didn't like the rack, so he just moved it up so mm -hmm. Lucas couldn't break. Now they're playing. Now playing a little bit of games. And now, now it's yeah. That, that's a shark. That's a shark move right there. If you don't you like any of these moves, Bobby, before, you know, all of them. <laughs> did you write them? And, and he's, done, he's done all of them. Did you write them? Yeah, I write them. Few. Yeah, you know, just like starting late. I always, I always showed up later than I was supposed to be there. This is part of the game. Get them off their game a little bit, right? Yeah, Whatever it takes. Out of, hit, out of rhythm. The guy stands there hitting balls by himself for an hour or two. They're not going to play like they should. Yeah. I've had it done to me too. So, what's one of your best shark moves? Biggest shark moves. We used to all, while the guy was shooting the nine ball, we'd be counting money just in their periphery. <laughs> As old timers. <laughs> or I remember the old, the old mobsters I knew. Every time you shoot the nine, you'd see them unscrewing the two. Yeah. I asked Paulie one time, I said, geez, don't you wear a joint out doing that? Don't, sc don't scratch. Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, boy. What a great break. He was perfect position. He finally made two. a ball in the break and resulted and, with that. I, mean, I might have missed a kick, but... That's what a he, terrible he got, move. Yeah, he got kicked over the tour, so he yeah. kicked him over. And he wears a stop, so he has a shot. Wow. Yeah, that's brutal. Yeah, let's see his control. I don't see no problems here either. Well, actually, Bobby, on his first ball, he's out of line. Because that's got to go in the side. Yeah, he's got to he, come he back and been, forth, huh? He should have been another foot up and shooting it backwards. Yeah, now he's got to travel gotta come, a little bit. He's got to come in a really good shot. Well, it should have just been a stop, stop. Yep. He's shaking his head a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's going to go down to the counter and back up, maybe. I think he has to, doesn't he? I don't think it goes over past the six. The only other thing he could do is just go. No, he's. Did he talk to Lucas about extending again? Yeah, forget it. Just shoot. I don't think so. I, would, I don't think Lucas would extend. He's, he's run. He's run into trouble here. He wants to discuss it. Don't forget, Guam was on the hill last time they extended. Yeah, he's not on the hill now. He's got to win this one. Again. Oh, that's right. That's almost tied. Oh, look at this. See, that's me. He butchered getting it over there. And why would he shoot that in the side with left English? It's got to come over here. But in his defense, he's out there, and we're not. Mm -hmm. And it's much different. And this is all Lance Lascotti's fault, you know that, right? Oh, he was, oh. He's been pushing Hill Hill since ten ten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we got a lot of Hill Hills, me and Bobby, for some reason. Race to thirty. No. Are you serious? I'm, I'm going home. Bob. It just changed it. I don't want to see it. Why would Lucas because do that when he's up by a rack? I know. I was pissed, but yeah. he said yeah, he what did it while he's up a rack. Yeah. <laughs> They so figured it would be 27. Yeah, but he didn't he didn't do it until after he was stuck on the two. Wait till the guy makes he, the shot. Yeah. Wow. Well, I think if you heard that out there, they're going to 30 now. I understand that theory. I really don't no. know. Especially not with the lead. That's the dumbest thing. No, no, and then he's out of position. Like I said, he, out of position the first time got, because he got on the first ball. You know what I mean? Out of position with the first ball. And David went, oh, now they're on break. Oh, didn't make any sense. No. My God, it's dark in here. Yeah, that's tough. Oh, boy. Well, stay tuned, everybody. We're going to go a little bit longer.
So he told me kicking chicken said to extend the race. Oh, of course, yeah. Well, blame it on somebody. Yeah, that was that was probably not the best move. No. He got outmaneuvered on that one. But we change the uh, race then. You have the keyboard. Oh, here. Is Bobby's going to finish or no? I don't know. Turn the lights up, yeah. The overhead light. Oh, I'm gonna miss that one. So you could see. Let's go to. But it's easy enough. You don't need no stinking lights. Uh -oh. Be careful, man. Uh, yeah, that's good. Me. Looks good now. Right? I wasn't stealing the sheet, Bobby. I was just fixing the scores. Oh, it's... it's the 30. Lost the chat, so that's okay, though. We only have a couple of racks left. Did we? I think so. I can't believe Lucas did that. Oh, he said just push this button if it. Did you do that or did I? Okay. That didn't work. Brian said just touch this and it should go back. All right. Let's just. 28. Well, Lucas needs two racks. How about that, folks? Oops, I gave one more rack. That's why Bobby Hunt has to be in there. He's in charge. There you go, Bobby. <laughs> good. Hmm? Yeah, we good? I'm scoring me. Eight, eight, six, yeah. Okay, well, you might have heard we lost our Facebook uh, chat, guys. Sorry about that. But we can't see in here. We're not going to know if Dominic's kid got a diaper changed. Hold on, I might be able to see it on my phone. Okay, so we could see it on here. I didn't know who he was choosing. All right, back to the live action. I think Lucas needs to tie his sneaker. There's something going on. The other guy keeps coming to the table. I would have a problem with that. <laughs> Go sit down. Can you get the one? Doesn't look like it. I think it went too far. Well, that's too bad. It was a nice break. But I don't think you can get by the seven. Well, let's look overhead. He might be able to bank it away for safety. No problem with banking it. Gotta hit it pretty firm to hold it. And not worry about scratching. You kind of lost the cue ball. Yeah. Good shot. Yeah, he managed it. Really he nice. managed it, yeah. Easy kick, though. I mean, jump. Surprise, he's not jumping, calling it. Oh, that's a nine ball. Never mind. Yeah, this one, yeah. If the, if the, yeah, if the yeah. nine was a money ball, that yeah, would be the thing to I, do. I thought I'd get a nine and ten mixed up.
Well, what I'm seeing in this game, we're coming down to the end, is there's a, a lot of gamesmanship. Definitely some sharking going on. Yeah, but I don't think any of it's by Lucas. None of it. Zero. Now, let's see. Get in there. Nice to be young. Didn't want to go this far, though. Now he's forced to go forward. See? Yep. Forced to go forward. Well, he went right for his jump stick. He knew what to do. Yeah, but he... I, 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 the guy's got to stay away from the table. You know? It's not a tournament. Yeah, but... Yeah, that's how gambling is like. Yeah, I know, I know, but, you know... On the other side, I'm t I'm well, requesting. Well, it's up to him to do something. If he doesn't like it, yeah, it's his responsibility to say something. You know, he, he allows these things. I still can't believe he extended. Can't see that stuff. When I get tired, my eyes get, get blurry. Well, he's think, more likely going to play the Z shot. I would think so. But if he's feeling uh, frisky, he might go ahead and try to pinch it. Yeah. You got the nine ball that can be a helper too. If you go over a little bit, I like the I like the Z shot here. Safety. So did he. Yeah, he's coming a little high. Yeah, he lost the cue ball. That should have been near the rail. Uh, I think he left the yeah. home side of the ball, man. And I, I want to make something clear. I'm not saying that he's not an honorable guy. I think there's just some gamesmanship going on. Hey, it you? is what it is. I can see. Oh, the big one? No. Yeah, we watched the big one, too. It's funny how the monitor, on this monitor, a shot looks impossible. And up there, it looks so different. And it's the same view. Yeah, yeah. Just make a little shot with a nice angle. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, And it fell. Wow. Oh. That was huge. He overcut well, that because that's why the cue ball, no, cue ball took off. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I think uh, Phil had some action on it. He was so upset he left for the extent of the race. Well, he's got a right. He's got a Lucas he shouldn't have done it with it. No, get the lead. I know. Get you guys out of line. He didn't know. Hopefully it'll, it'll still work out. Yeah, he did last time. So this is a big yeah. game, huh? Oh, yeah. It's a three game lead or, or one game lead. And we'll just put him on the hill if he wins this one. What am I doing here, guys? Well, I, I don't know what. You know, I like. He could cross he over. Can, he could hit the edge of the six to the left without scratching. I kind of like that. Put the cue ball up there and leaving the six. Cue ball up by the eight, ten. Yeah, someone's up there. But it's yeah. laying in such a funny spot. You know, like that Z shot. They. You can't quite right. do it here. It's tough to get the crossover yeah. without without catching a and, double and this, a double hit. Yeah, it's just it's a funny spot. <clears throat> I think I'd still try to cross over the cue ball, like you were saying, and just if you let, just it, let the cue ball up. release to the bottom by the counters. Make a bowl with six. I mean, one rail maybe between the seven and ten. Yeah, I was just thinking that's what he looked. That was so nice, he went yeah. the other way. Yeah. That was really nice. Same, same, mm -hmm. same, same result. Just switch yeah, the balls same. around. He looks so unorthodox. And yeah. he, when he makes a shot, I'm always shocked because he's jumping and moving. Hmm. Well, Lucas, how about Lucas? Was he? I thought he had a pretty clean run. He got stuck behind that ten ball. Yeah, it was the eight sloppy. Yeah, that, that happened because the ball before he let it go on the rail. If it didn't go on the rail, yep. that doesn't happen. Got to play a nice safety here, right? Yeah. Get behind that eight ball. Oh, he's coming all the way around. Well, that's nice. That's if it doesn't bounce too far. Oh no, 
a far post. It's not a good shot, but it's a shot. And when he, <laughs> it's not a good shot, but it's a shot. Well, it's better than if he stayed near the chalk, which I then he'd be, you know, kicking. Here he has a shot. All he has to do is make this, though. That, yeah, that, that is the problem. Bob. There's, there's no yeah. position. If he, he makes, just it, makes this, he he's should gonna win have the game. A, he's going to have a side pocket shot it for sure. He makes so many big shots. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe that little poke stroke is better. Is yeah. it, there's he no wood wobble. You no, know, he does the jump up. Yeah. He does. <laughs> he he hits some good. Oh, oh, he. Perfect. Did he get straight? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was getting the nine and ten. Oh, yeah, no, he's eight, boys. Got yeah. the eight, then he stopped for the nine. Yeah, I think he's going to play that nine right in the side. Yep. I was surprised when he played safe on the nine, the, on the six and the side, a rack or two back when I went out there. Yeah. And I was, it, it's, oh. I haven't seen him miss any 10 balls. Well, he did earlier. Obama did? Yeah. Um, and Lucas missed it right back. Yeah. 27, 28. Yeah. Yeah, Lucas would have been over if he kept it at 28. Yep. Now we got another or 27 two more. He, he no, he would have lost at 27. Did he got 27 first? Yeah. No, he did. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He did. Yeah, you're right. He did. Let's have a word from our feature sponsor, Viking Cues. Looks great. All right, here we go. Guama breaking down by Iraq. Breaks the 30. He got a nice break. He hits him hard. Yeah, he does, right? I, oh, I wish I could do that. Did you, oh, 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 oh. Know, can you go a little over it? Ten might have got him. I don't know. How's Looks it like look? he can make no, that. He's, he's like got he's, that ball. Like yeah. old ball. He's got trouble if he makes it getting on the two. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of traffic he's to avoid. Go, yeah, he's got to go down and back to get on the two. Boy, there's an easy safety there. And he can lock him up on that four ball. I, I think uh, he, he goes to the safe quite often. If, he thinks he can lock him up. I think he will. Yeah, I think that might. Does he be want to put right. behind that four ball right now? That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I just don't see him holding it behind the four. He's pushing out push here. Him. How about that? Gonna push oh. I was not expecting that. Lucas going to shoot. He's too good to not shoot. But I think it was what you said, Bobby. It's coming back and forth with that two ball. Yeah, that's the point. That, that's the he's problem. already aiming but for you the can't, safety. You can't. Yeah, you can't let your opponent shoot a shot he can win with, you know. And even though he didn't hit it very good, because you feel sick if you say shoot and then the guy makes it. Absolutely. I was going to give a shout out to uh, Team No Sleep. All four of our guys are in uh, the qualifying rounds in Vietnam. AKA Team Spain, right? Yeah, Team Spain, <laughs> the whole team. The that whole, was a nice shot. The whole enchilada. Oh, yeah, good. FSR, David Alkiti, Ona Alberto, all, all four of them, so one round away from being top 64. So there's 72 tables or 74 tables? No, that, was, that wasn't even the place. That was oh, a pool was hall. Else? That was a pool hall. That okay. was just a regular pool hall, and they said they're packed every single day. My goodness. And uh, I, I guess pretty, the place is just like, serious just like a there. matchroom event, just like 20 tables. It's just like the U.S. Open. They have a main table and... How do you like those tables Jason has? I like them you a lot. Were, you saw them in person. Yeah, I played a little bit. And, How do uh, they play? Yeah, a couple of racks sitting around with the guys. But uh, I thought that they played really nice. Uh, and they're really good quality. They look nice. I know. Um, I as far as that's a true. business perspective, it might be tough to keep clean. Besides that. Because they're that like maybe niche, because lot, light, right, Yeah, light people color. are going to do a lot of uh, chalk. And, but I guess we're only going to allow the gray chalk. Oh, I, yeah, someone else. Oh, well, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh. I thought he was going to get right over it. <laughs> you know, it's going hell, hell. Dom, Dominic, Dominic Dunn says, the post the post I'm going to make about Lucas if he loses is going to go viral. Oh, you're, you're not kidding. <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. So I guess he might Listen. have a little action on Lucas. That's great. 
Yeah. It's unfortunate. And he actually, he did the same thing last time they played here. Go back and watch the video. Um, he was up 18, seven or 17, 16. Yeah. And a race to 18 and they extended the race. And he, he was then down 21 to 17 and he came back and won though. So why it, you, winning cures all just so you guys know. Does, you're right. Does, <laughs> if you don't win, then why would you make a deal when you're, you're on the hill first? Yeah. You wait till he catches you on the hill. He'll yeah. make that same deal the next rack. And when you say winning cures all, so when you win the cash after you make a decision like that, you still have to put a portion of the winnings toward your ulcer. Yeah. <laughs> of course, everybody else's ulcer. Yeah. That is. Yeah. He doesn't care. All yeah. oh, right. That's he true. does not care. I should, you know what? I should write a book on some of the things that he's done, like <laughs> for matches. I can, I mean, so many stories, like he's playing in one pocket and It'd be like he, he doesn't, he forgets the, the count yeah. and he hits the balls. So he loses because the guy only has he only has seven. Because he miscounted. Who did his shot? Then, well, what was that? Uh, I think he was trying to get closer to the ten. Yeah, I, th- I he, think he gets on this nine. But I that think is he a makes thin, thin cut on he, that eight. He's got the he's got that all day. These long. sides are brutal, man. Yeah, they where they're shaped. I mean, I mean, he might make it, but my God, he made it tougher than he should. I can make this with my old beat down eyeballs. He's got to avoid the corner, too. I mean, it's a small corner, but he's still got to avoid it. He missed it. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was worried about. These sides are not easy. No, they're tough enough just to begin with. Yeah. That still makes that shot. Luke is kicked in the side so much better. That yeah, I know. Part, I mean, it was perfect. You know, as soon as he hit it, you get see I said, Jesus, that's going to be close. Yeah. And he split the pocket. And I and I haven't seen Lucas get that excited. I mean, he was pumped. Yeah, when he made that shot. Yeah, I'm sure he was. So yes, <laughs> he he did some like. And you were here when that time when he played. Uh, he went all the money in 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 bankroll or in in nine ball rotation, and they gave it all back playing a game he never played before. And I said to him, "Oh my he God, played before." He doesn't, doesn't listen to us either. Here, I was a part of that. I was... We don't. He doesn't. Look, I mean, you have a lot of experience here to maybe. Drop an ear, and I'm not picking on a kid. You know, I no, care about him. He's obviously. a good kid. He's a good kid. He makes shots like shot. that. Just... What a shot! I mean, give the boy. How do you get mad when you boom. make a shot like that? We're gonna have to get a new boom button. Yeah. Are you wearing it out? Wearing it out. And he plays it for the side. Get, huh? that, get that side pocket position. Never play for the side. No, especially in these sides. That was rough. Oh, man, I'd rather play in the corner. I don't shoot as straight as he does. All right. So now he's on the, the hill. hill so again. No, I got another one for you. So I got many. I got to write a book. <laughs> Dominic, Don, if you're listening, make sure you write all this stuff down. <laughs> so <laughs> so we're, we're, we're in New Jersey or Pennsylvania, in the Pennsylvania. And we're at Hona, Alberto, me. And we're going to work a deal with the tournaments. You know, we'll, we'll split the money. We'll do whatever. Lucas sleeps late, wakes up late, almost late for the tournament. Goes to and out, not even like, you know, so everybody's pissed. And, you know, because like they're going to bed on time, they're getting ready, they're doing the right things. What does he do? He beats Kwama for 4,000 in the middle of the night. And then he goes, wins, he wins the, the pro am to escape. Yeah. He wins the, so he pulls everybody back to par. But I mean, it's just un, so unorthodox, Bobby and Chicken. Well, that's when he, that's, that's when he bids uh, $2,200 on himself in a Calcutta. And he ends up winning the whole tournament. He makes a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it can go on and on and on and on. Is yeah. right from a different. Did he make a ball? No, nothing in yet. Right. A different spot. No, that, that's that, not that, that nine ball's got a little tied up. Though. Oh, did me. Oh, you say? Oh, he did Something's make a ball. In. Something's in. Oh, he did make a ball. Oh, good, good. Well, he's got to worry about that nine. That's six nines, but yeah. the only issue out there. Three. And again, uh, this is Bobby Hilton. I want to give you guys a shout out, everybody, for watching and sharing. There's a ton of people. We really appreciate you guys listening. Support the Shark Stream. Please follow yeah. and like if you're on YouTube or Facebook because, you know, without you guys, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. That's for sure. Yeah, it went a little too far. It went way too far. I mean, What's he going to do now? Playing aside, but I, I, I mean, you know, I, I could be wrong. He may have played for a side. 
I myself would have just stopped it and shot it. Seems like he's falling in love with these sides here yeah, a little bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, can't fault him. He's running out. But they got the six nine. Yeah, that's. I'm just trying to see how you get into it. You you can't get on. He's got to get on the four to get to the six. Yeah, he's looking at that now. But he can play the safety on the six if he yeah, gets down there in a good spot. He gets near it. Yeah. It's pretty good position right there, actually. Uh, but he's not. It, does he have enough angle to get to the rail and back? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, two rails. Yeah, hit the long rail and well, head toward he, it. If he he's doesn't, avoid the corner, obviously. Well, well, that, just he's, back. he's playing safe then. Yeah, he's going to just nip it towards the nine and get the cue ball up table. He didn't want to miss that nine, though. Not bad, not he, bad, right? He wanted to hit the nine and stay there. Yeah. Give him I, a little room to go to the overhead on chicken. See yeah, if he, he can see the top. Well, he no, must he's not. kicking. He's, he's kicking. kicking. And he must not be able to see it. No rail. No, no rail. rail. So that's ball in hand. No rail. All right, so Lucas is five balls away. But must mm. go in the bed? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> no, no, we're playing another one, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, that's right. They agreed to an, an eight ball set after this. <laughs> no, no, back pocket, back pocket. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's in the contract. This doesn't even look like it barely goes by. It's funny that the different monitor side. Yeah, of them, they look different. A little straighter than he wants. He needed an angle, I thought, to try to get over there near yeah. the eight ball. Got to watch that he's ten. He's going, going to make an angle here. How's it's, that? That's a beautiful. Stroke. How's that? Is the oh, that's an angle. Oh, that's a little far now. Actually, I yeah. thought it was going to. I thought perfect. it was perfect when he hit it. This, these reels are a little bouncy. You know, they played. I think it play, plays a little bouncy. I think it plays good. He's going to come flying across this long rail and out. All he wants to do is just get to here, I, and he wins. I, you don't think he can just pull it back seven I just, inches? Well, he, I think it's an angle. Maybe. If he pulls it back, he's got to worry about the 10. Yeah, he's got to pull it back behind the 10. That's it. A couple inches. We'll see. Seven inches. Nice. Oh, he didn't just have to like do anything. Yeah. It was straight in. I thought the 10 was in the way. It was a little now, deceiving. Lucas is extending again, is he? Oh. No. Yeah, yeah, say, say no this time, please. <laughs> and, uh, Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Really appreciate well, it. He made it. Brian made it the tough, Kicking though. Chicken. He left himself tough. As man. tough as he could. Yeah, really did. Oh, my goodness. This is Brian the Kicking Chicken sitting here with Bobby Hunt and Bobby Hilton. Thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Big thanks to Brian Brennan. Sat in here, did yes, the, absolutely. And did you the guys, early, the early chicken. shift. You guys did a great job. Appreciate you appreciate doing the three of you today. And then Bruce. Bruce was in for a little bit. Yeah, Bruce. <laughs> Dave Verner, we don't want him in the booth again. What do we so, got yeah. going on here? There it is. Congratulations, Game. Lucas. I'm going home. And uh, just, I, <laughs> I just want to say one thing. Six and a half hours. Lucas escapes. That's what he does. He escapes. He, I he mean, did he is the escape he, artist. I like think Houdini. Dominic should still write that post. That's just me, though. <laughs> <laughs> just like Houdini. Good job. All right. All right, guys. Thank you very much for signing off. Well, that was fun. Have a good night, guys, and we'll see you again. There will be... Great content coming at you shortly, I'm sure. Bye. We want to give a shout out to all of our sponsors here on the Shark Stream. You have Connecticut APA, Sigma Wear, Agency One Group, Jacoby Custom Cues, Women in Pool, Mabel's Tables at Michael's Deli, NM Billiard Sales and Service, 11 Hall Avenue, Wallingford, Connecticut, KM Maintenance, JT's Pool Cue Repair, Slaughter App, Mark Anthony Home Improvements, Tommy's Tattoo Supply,